massive tournament tonight. The first late night of post rotation format. And like it's crazy because it took just a week ago, this tournament had barely over 100 people. And now we're probably pretty close to. Yeah, we're over 300. Pretty crazy. What a difference a week makes. So playing very similar control list to a couple of days ago. I mean, we're starting off round one up against the Lugia, so let's get it. I mean, Lugia is not one of my more favorite matchups. It's winnable, but it's not amazing. <laughs> there we go. But yes, not quite the same, but yeah, same basic idea as what we ran on Monday. And, con and control been kind of frustrating me, like... um. I've been playing it a lot off camera and it's not like it's weird. It should be so much stronger this format with the way like how weak the meta is against it. But it just feels worse. And like I've reached the like some of it I could chalk up to poor variants and be like, well, bad prize cards, which you now now is like a new new loss condition basically. So I could say my opponents drew hot. Some I could say I drew really bad. But I feel like it's happened a lot. In It happened a decent chunk of the time in my uh, testing so far. So I'm not, we're not, uh, I don't know. Like I, I'm still not like giving up on control. I'm sure there's a perfect list out there that's really good and beats most of, if not all of the meta. Um, I feel like my list does pretty good into the meta too, which is like consistently beating it, like just setting up is the hardest part. So we're, we've abandoned the pokey gears and we're doing something a little different tonight. Um, cause yeah, last stream, the uh, pokey gears were, uh, kind of, kind of brutal. Helps if we, uh, do that. Broken. Yeah. Deck today, it's in the description. Have I seen Owen Cameron's list? Um I don't know. I might have. I like is it from an online tournament or something? I'd say the Lugia match is probably pretty close to 50-50. If anything, like it's hard to say it's too favored. Because it can really go either way. If the Lugia player draws incredibly hot. Um, feels really scary. Oh, is it the one with like the heavy Luxray? Uh, baby Luxray? And all that? I didn't know that that was Owen. But... Um, we get to go first. That's good. I don't really like baby Luxray. Uh, we open cloth. That's not amazing, but this hand's this hand's pretty okay. Bonnet control busted. Oh no! All right, tell, double turbo off the top being bad. So Jiggly puffs in there. So is the Wiggly tough. Um, let's see what else we have. All the Arvins. Fighting his prize. Come on, I. Egg. Okay. Because like we have like Ultra Ball for a bird next turn, which could be the move. Like we, I, I think we we could just go Pidgey, and just basically just rip Iono after that. Like I wouldn't be super. Um, I wouldn't be super mad about that actually. I hurt Baby Luxury's feelings. That's fine. <laughs> I just like. If that is the way you beat Lugia, it's so easy for the Lugia player to just play around it. And just like, if, if the Lugia player just is like smart and just doesn't take prizes until they take two, you can't knock out their Chinchinos or their, um, yeah, because like the, the big thing is you, you knock out their Chinchinos and then you can, it's a lot easier to finish the, the game once they don't have any big one hit attackers left. But like, they have to, dang. I don't want to Iono, but their hand's not great, obviously. Or maybe it is. Lugi is weird. Sometimes you like swear they're just they have nothing going on and then they just have it all. Yeah, 
it's it's um they play four three chinchinos so taking this care doesn't like do a lot um i don't think he, it, taking out the archaeops doesn't do a ton because then how are you taking out the manchinos after that if they just load up a ton of energies and play okay we go candy like i'm torn <laughs> i uh... like part of me just wants to be like if you have it you have it and just be and not be too worried about it but also they like didn't okay we're just gonna let's go get an arvin get ourselves nest ball for a seal stone nest ball for rotom for a seal stone for the jigglypuff attached to the jigglypuff um and yeah th this is fine yeah, you use Luxury to KO the Chinchinos, because once they're out of Chinchinos, they don't have a big damage threat left. Um, and you can deal with just, like, Lugias. Uh, but it's, it's pretty easy to play around as the Lugia player. I didn't hit a lot of other instant charge. Uh... It's okay. I'm hoping that their starts kind of slow just based on that hand. Like, I could have gone for an Iono, but I was just like, doesn't seem super worth it if they're, like, they, they do a great ball call. So, like, obviously don't have an Iono of their own. Or maybe maybe they do. Sometimes these lugs just hold chops, <laughs> double chops, and... But, like, if you have double chops, well, you, you'd play that anyway. Right? And we know they have one. Okay, there's one. Cloth, yeah. I don't really want to start. Well, Cloth start would have been okay if we didn't price fighting. Oh my goodness, they actually go solo chops. Well, <laughs> they must have some big play lined up. It's like, do, do they like boss KO Pidgeot maybe? That'd be the only reason you do this. No? They're just stacking energies? Oh, did boss kill Jigglypuff? I guess, or Rotom? Okay, they just lost the game. <laughs> it's already over. Yeah. They literally, it's like... Wow, they played that way too greedy. Cause now we just KO the Arky up. Like you might have to bench Luminion to do it. Um, I don't think like how are they ever taking their last prize through through this. Like, Lumen finds Boss. We quick search for Mist Energy. Ultra Ball away Candy Sisters. Yeah, Lumen finds Boss. Even if they have another Gust, like how are they taking their last two prizes? I don't think they ever can. Like Wigg Wigglytuff just knocks out this, and then like they can't ever get energy established. <laughs> um, not necessarily. Like it would still be recoverable, cause like I, but it would have been, it would have been weird for sure. Cause like th they would only have one Argyop, so like. They can't ever go for like a Chinchino Gus, like big Chinchino hit. It, so I definitely could have came back, but it would have been weird. Is Yakumo still in the deck? Yes. So like you, they can't ever get through Yakumo plus Cloth. And they can't ever. Okay, there's a fighting energy. That's really good. Did, did they do play a lost vacuum, which is something to be potentially scared of? But like they hit this for, for 200. Um. Okay, yeah, that, that, okay, so we have to be careful about that. It's just not to lose to, um, what's it called? Lost Vacuum? But their deck is massive, like. Yeah, I think we're. I think we're, uh, we're chill with this.
Uh, let's get the hero cape. And owl pad is fine. Like, even if they do have vacuum, the next turn is penny up luminium. So, it's it's quite okay. Counter catcher? What for? Um, I mean, I could kind of... Like, yeah, what am I... What am I counter catching? Man, next time we go Sharon Clothheads knockout, right? Right? <laughs> yeah, I think I, I I guess I could have grabbed CC so we could go Sharon or we could go yeah, yeah we could go Sharon plus CC. That probably would have been the move actually. If Serena KO fish. Well that's That's a little scary, right? No, I just go Yakumo, get rid of the energy, then they're capped out at 120. I KO active. Yeah. The Riz. Yeah, this is... This is great. I was, I was playing some test games against Lugia today, and I prized Hero Cape 3 out of 4 games. It was, like, really, really annoying. And I... Um... Right, yeah, because they're yeah, they only can get one energy on the board. Next turn, like we always just chase down whatever they put energy onto. So yeah, we're we're chilling. They like they don't have radiant Charizard or anything, right? No, so yeah, this one's over. I mean, or, yeah, I, actually, I can just like Iron Sharon's carry. Yeah, I am. Because it, it, like, it can be heal Pidgeot in a pinch and also is pretty vital to the whole Wakely Tough game plan. I don't think that... No way, Rubik. No way. Because you can't set up the bird in that matchup. I guess if they have, like, no switches. And like, <laughs> open crown and then we can... Like, most of us are playing Psychic Energy now. And they're playing switches. Like, I wouldn't call it a bad matchup for bird. I think it's fine. But, like... I, I, it's definitely not 70 30. 70 30 is like a Charizard tier matchup. It's definitely not that favored. Okay, if it's not another Lugia V. The answer might be Noivern. I mean, it could be. But also, it's like two. I guess it depends on how much, like, how popular Future is. Because Noivern's really only good in that matchup. And the matchup isn't even that bad, really, either. I mean, it, it does make it pretty favored, right? But, like, you'd be, be good for one matchup that's already kind of okay. What's up, Elias? But you already beat CPOW. Do I know how to hand shuffle? Oh, yes. What's a crab for? Not situations like this, where their Arky ups are dead. And they, if they ever hit me back, they lose energies. Oh, future box? Oh, that deck's not real. Okay. <laughs> oh, you never thought about like the iron leaves and all that crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I misunderstood. Ready beat CPOW? Yeah. I mean, like, they can't ever bench the barrel, or they just instantly lose to. Hold up. Or they instantly lose to retreat lock. So, they cannot at all deal with a Wigglytuff with a tool on it, tailing back Caliber plus Iono to a low hands. That just instantly ends the game. Because they, they can play around it by benching the barrel, but if they do that, they just... Yeah, that's the plan. It's either either KO all the Archeops or KO all the Wigglytuff. Because like once all their damage is gone, Cloth becomes pretty threatening. Um, there's only one energy drop a turn. Or either one energy drop a turn or no way to one hit it. They constantly lose energy if they keep wanting to do that. I would say Chin, like I would, I can feel like I can comfortably say Chin Pao is favored. Like it can go off the rails if they hit like an early Shuriken or something, but they can't really do that multiple times. If they back the charm, like they, they just can't do, do damage. 
<laughs> I just caved. Um, yeah. But they're at, at minimum two turns away from attacking. Can this have double backs? Sure. But then the issue isn't necessarily backs calibers. It's like with a three card hand, no bib. How are you hitting 450 HP? How are you getting eight energies in play? Because even, even if you hit like SCR off of it, or you pokey, you still pokey stop stuck in play, and you can pokey stop into item cards. You just don't have enough cards in your hand to discard. So then if you're just like sitting there like that, I just keep knocking out all your backs calibers. <laughs> Crushing hammer is broken. Yeah, let's just Iona them down to two. So there's less of that to uh, worry about. Um, sure. I don't think this actually like. Yeah, I think I think we're fine. Yeah, they cannot bench Bidu for that's just an easy dub for us because they play Prime Catcher as their only switch. Ah, broken. We just penny next turn and win with a Wigby Tough. Yeah, they definitely played way too greedy going for the one chops. Like, I just. As soon as we knocked it out, the game's pretty much over. Yeah. I think my opponent was hoping that they could just, like, get far enough ahead, but I guess, like, control is just so good against people who don't understand what it does. Like, you can just punish, you, you just get to punish misplays so well with this deck, which is one reason I really like it. Alright, so, there we go. Round one's up against Lugia. I take that. Lugia is always scary. Yeah, we take those. <laughs> Pro tip, don't go solo chops against control. It's not going to work for you. Well... Against this version of control, maybe some other versions. Yeah, like Snorlax Stall, they might not always have the exact card they need to punish you at that moment, but Pidgeot always has it. So um, that's why I, I really like it. That's like probably one of the reasons I like this deck the, the most. Alright, so starting off 1 0, and now we get to see this massive group of people 322 players tonight. What everyone's rocking today. See how actually the most played deck tonight. Um, did I miss Snorlax? No, I mean, now that Gardevoir is gone, you don't win with Retreat Lock that much anymore. If anything, I play one Lax, but I don't think you really need it. Like, like Mimikyu and Zard kind of do the same, or Mimikyu and Snorlax do like the same thing against Zard. So it's just like I can I feel like I can put a more impactful card in there instead. But yeah, there's there's there, there's no Snorlax, there's no Erica's. There's no sort of Daisy's help arc phone. It's um This is very different than what a lot of people are playing. I do really like like I think this deck has like a pretty favored matchup spread across the board. Like the only matchup I would like I feel sort on the sketchy side is Lugia, because cause like if they, but like Lugia in general, but high rolls it beaches by everything. But it also its low rolls hurt so bad. So I feel like this like this concoction has a pretty good match spread across the board. Um, but I, I did want to like touch on since it's like early in the stream, all the uh, all the uh, viewers are still here, right? or all the VOD watchers are still here. Um, I don't like Daisy's help plus Arc Phone. Cause like there's not really too many cards that are just insta game losses i mean like in certain situations prizing tough or prizing an energy really sucks or prizing one of the supporters but i think if I, like if i were before i ever put in daisy's helpless arc phone i would just add an additional copy of whatever card i was super concerned about prizing what's the plan against zard so we we push mimikyu early so they can't really go aggro Zardiax. Um, and they can spend all their bosses to get around it, but that won't get them six prizes. So 
once that happens we just like want to push it we want to they, they retreat into charmeleon and start hitting us we keep using counter catcher to bring back up that charizard and if they kind of commit themselves to that charmeleon line cloth is actually a really good card in that matchup like if we can get rid of their lost vacuum or get rid of their max belt um they can't just like every time they, they hit cloth they lose an energy so that's like we, we can keep pending every single turn um and then yeah of course they do have like the the whole retreat lock is a massive loss condition for them um but yeah like between buffalo and cloth we can really run them low on energies uh like with with Lee tough can prize trade through the charmeleons like Pidgeot can prize trade through the charmeleons like all these people are uh like i faced a list last night that was playing turo pad and a switch now it's really really annoying that technically gives them five bosses which is super annoying just daisy's help to know a card to take when you get ko's i don't actually hate that i don't think i ever play arc phone but i guess daisy's help would be pretty good yeah i'm like i'm just so tired of breaking with this deck because it feels like if i get into the game i beat you and i was playing previously i was playing two row toms four nest one ultra three gears and the gears were just not hitting arvin as often as i would like like it would just be like okay i <laughs> gear hits penny or slightly in turn two and it's like well that's great but it doesn't really do anything for me so we have more more outs to row tom to pidgey to JPJP Puff going first. And now we have even guaranteed increased Arvanau's turn two. I also have the second forest seal stone in here just because prizing that card feels so bad. I, there's so many different ways you can go with control right now. Like that's why I've like waited to make like a vid like I've gotten asked that so many times, like what's so when are you making another control video, another control guide? Like I feel like it would kind of be irresponsible just to just like put out a control guide when I'm like changing my list super frequently. Uh, so like by a couple days later, my list is gonna look a lot different. So I like I like once I settle down on like a sixty, I'm really confident with. I'm maybe only flipping one or two cards. I'll make a video about it. But right now, like it just give me like the streams to see like the progression of my list and um yeah. Don't really need more than one area because we, we can. I mean, prizing it sucks, but we also do have luxury to, to control the hand. The card is really good, but uh, I think with luxury in, like, with luxury in the list, one is enough. Yeah, it's very adaptable. How no hands guide? Yeah, no, no hands in this economy. Interesting. So yeah, lots of sea pows tonight. Like like sea pows and zards. We'd like to see that. I think it's interesting that like Lugia has had a really like I don't know how many of the tournaments that it's won post rotation. But it does seem to be pretty consistently right at the top. So but, like ever since like last Thursday when the first tournament was, its usage rate has continued to drop. I think that's that's kind of interesting. Like it was the most played deck, or the second most played deck that first tournament, or maybe even the most. I don't remember. Um, uh, but now it's only out of four. So this is the 144 player. Uh, wait, was that? Yeah, th th this is also my list. Yeah, this is my early prototype, basically of the deck. Uh, it's like why were the changes made? so with these up alone wasn't enough it needed something else so that's why cloth got added to further enhance the lugia matchup retreat lock isn't as good as it used to be so snorlax got taken out Thornton was always mid um since retreat locking and trapping isn't as isn't as good like erica's is not as necessary uh cart was always like a luxury card i mean it stayed about the same aside from that Lugia is definitely on the inconsistent side, but his power level is so high. I tried my list out for a ninth. That's awesome. Yeah, so th this was like the OG list, and it was always kind of inconsistent. Or not always, but it just kind of felt inconsistent. So we we progressed. Come on. Please pop up the history tab. 
we progressed over to this maybe include the cloth so we could beat lugia the joanna's charisma so we could get things loaded up on one turn um and we, we would pokey gears to try to set up more consistently but pokey gears were not enough so now we are playing we're playing ultra ball plus luminion to really really try to set up um i would go second blinds if i, if I approach a 60 card mirror with this deck I would always try to have a basic fighting energy banked up on my Bufalant. Uh That way, if they ever go in with their Chi Yu, um, we can just loss in that energy. And I think I, if there is no threat of the Bufalant punish, I would just spam Jealously Cinch. If they ever do build, like, because it's such a powerful tool of getting rid of resources. But like then I'd probably I guess if I could like using Bufalant to like slow down their Bufalant could be really cool using Yakimo to try to slow down whatever they have going. It'd be really interesting. Like Luxray seems really good, Aerie seems super good. Like both players have a hard time keeping their important cards. So that would be quite interesting. Like both players had Bufala, both had Luxray, Chi Yu, Yakimo. Yeah, the mirror match would be crazy. But yeah, Bufalant would be a pretty key player. I guess I'd probably try to put Mist Energy on my Chi Yu. Um, especially if I could bait out the Yakimo and get them to discard um energy off like Lux or something. Cause then like they couldn't go in with, with Bufalant and punish because Mist would block Lost Headbutt. And hopefully I could get a ton of value out of my Chi Yu. But yeah, we'd kind of have to learn as we as we go through. That matchup would be kind of a mess. Are we always using Joey? I've used lead a surprisingly I've used it several times to go search out an Arvin. Like if you ever happen to start it, like it's not a bad like it's kind of a perk to playing the, the way we tough line is you get a pretty solid starter. Um like usually like in the matches where Wavy Tough is super good, you don't want to like put it in harm's way. Well, like, if you, like, open it up against, like, Charizard, where it isn't super good, you could just search for Narvin. Wait, do I still have Silene? Yeah, I, I, I put two Silenes. Uh, that, that ain't, yeah. We have the two Silenes. You start milling? No, I think start, like, milling is a good, is, is, uh, is generally good. I tried Ursaluna, but I didn't really care for it. Now, I don't think like lead is that good that, you, that you'd want to play Relicanth. Well, I think Jericho puts him to sleep. I think just the consistency boost of lead is better. The hardest matchup for this deck. Hmm. Like everything I feel like is beatable. Arc Dina with Tomb. Um. I guess the hardest meta deck would probably be Lugia. But even that, we just beat. Like, it's definitely... Like, everything feels very beatable. Uh, I guess Lugia or maybe, like, Arctina would be the worst matchup. But those are very winnable. <laughs> Bro, Benjamin, spam it five more times. And I might check it out. <laughs> Try to Lugia aggressively targeting uh, JP Puffs. Cry. Um, yeah, that's certainly an issue. Um, you just try to. I, I, like we have a rod, we can recycle it, but it does get really awkward. Like, yeah. Usually, like Lugia, like Lugia doesn't always have the capability of like bossing on the first two turns because it has to set up. But those games where, where, where Lugia hits, like, and they're just either boss killing Pidgey, Chinchino turn two, like, that's really bad. Or if, because, like, hopefully we go first and get it evolved. So, like, boss isn't necessarily a big threat. Um, but, yeah. That, that, that's why Lugia is such, such a scary matchup. Because, like, if we can more, like, they, 
Even, even if they just keep like turn two, like they get the turn two Lugia, they just join a boss, they hit whatever we have, we have active. If we can just like respond back with our Wigglytuff play at like KO and Archeops, the game feels totally fine. It feels very winnable. I feel like we're definitely in, in control. But those games where Lugia just hits, it can go off the rails pretty quickly. Um, I think Tough would, would, would I win. I'm going to energy search in this deck. Uh, just, I mean, it's not like a horrible card, but like, what, what card would it be better than? I guess. Because the space is really tight. Like, there's not really any one card I would feel amazing about, um, feel amazing about cutting. Like, maybe the Bouflon, but Bouflon's pretty good. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it just seems like too mediocre of a card to, like, take something out. And also, I like, for the, the, the reasoning behind no Switch card, is I feel like early Luxray is not quite as... Like, I think I'm using Luxray a lot less this format. Than I was last format. And, I, and like, I played a pretty solid chunk of games with this deck, and I really haven't used Luxray a ton. Like, I feel like I was like leaning heavily into it in most matchups. I definitely see cutting Luxray, but the card is just so, like when Luxray is good and like it's super good. So I don't know. Like, I'm like, that card just has so much power. I don't know. I could see Daisy. No, I'm not, I'm not. I'm never playing Arc Phone, but I play Aerie instead. Why not both? Luxury is great against Giratina and Lost Box deck because it like forces them to commit to their attacker. Why am I playing the fish? Because breaking sucks. <laughs> I'm tired of tired of uh, drawing poorly. Like I can confidently say that most of my game like a huge majority of the games i lose with this deck are because pidgeot does not get going until it's way too late or pidgeot does not get going at all so any more cards i can play to maximize my probability of getting pidgey like i found ultra ball is much more consistent than pokey gears so we're going from there hey we're on okay hey, Aaron, i'm not playing snorlax but no, I, I I had Aerie. I I would I'd be adding another Aerie. Aerie's way too good not to play at least one copy of. But like if I were to cut Luxor, then maybe another way to interact with like an, an additional area to interact with the hands would be um would be good, is what I was what I was saying. We're definitely playing Aerie. That card's pretty good. So up against Shin Pao. Um Let's see. I just, they have just Prime Catcher. They do play a Lost Vacuum, which is kind of nuts. Um, that's really the only like, I guess, unusual card they're playing. This matchup where like I kind of want to go first, just to decrease. Nods of my Pidgey getting sniped. Well, three Aries and four Temples. That's fine in like Snorlax Stall. Cut for Hazard. Playing Radzard, you kind of have to. You have to do a lot with the list, I think. If I play another Fire. And. I mean, I'd say Bouffant would be an easy cut. This is pretty good. You definitely cut Bouffant. And. I didn't. I don't know what else you, you, you'd cut for another Fire. Man. Oh, they open dupe. That's why they hit, they hit us with the uh, thumbs up. Okay. All right. I'm going to drop the artisan. I'm not just straight up opening heavy ball since uh, anything worthwhile priced. No. Because then I want ultra ball to be, I want heavy ball to be ultra ball fodder. Right? So, yes. I 
And I think if you're playing Radzard, you could go to a Yaochi or Silene split just to get more Pokemon recovery. Um, but like I I still like the two Silene. Um, because like if I if I'm gonna have one in a game, I'd always rather it be Silene than Yaochi. So. Um. I'm just playing playing out two Silenes. How do I win against Lost Box? I'm playing more than they're playing two Psychic Energies. I mean, we have Buffon deck and Lost in them. Whitby Tuff can take prize in as awkward for them. Eerie and Luxray mess with their resources. Uh, it's actually a pretty interesting matchup. Is Chiyu good in Snorlax? Yeah. The, fu so the future matchup is scary, for sure. I mean, with this build, we do have like the attacking options. I think Nezo covers Pokemon with the- yeah, fair. Sick with block legs, yeah, seems good. Alright. Um, Temple of Sinnoh is the main one against, like, a Tina. I- I guess Puffin would be- would be better here to get- because it would also have gotten Jigglypuff. Yeah, I, mean, I don't think you can bench Pidgeot in the in that matchup. So this is kind of awkward. We don't have it, unfortunately. At least for the turn. So I want to get Charm for my Pidgey. Like, hit me with the thumbs up again, bro. Chill. <laughs> Just calm down. All right. So I'm gonna get down. Second Pidgey, I think. Bro, imagine they like hit me with like the lost back and everything. That'd be so funny. Let's put the charm on there so they can't go double KO. And we just tempt. And the next turn we have it. We can wrote we can nest ball for Rotom for Forest Heal. Like like, like tempting trap forces them to evolve. Or forces them to play Prime Catcher. Goes for the Iron Hands straight away. And Iron Hands would be... I feel like that'd be kind of tough to pull off. But maybe they just have like a really gas hand. Maybe it's just... It's just crazy like that. I think I, I could... I A Lost Vacuum would be kind of interesting instead of Artisan. Uh, cause like, you don't really like having C-Pow keep Pokey stop. Um, also you can like bounce max belts and damage buff tools that could be pretty good too. Or capsules against future. Your own brain can't comprehend. Oh my goodness, that's Prime Catcher. Well, I... <laughs> I think... If they just chill, I go Nest Ball for Rotom and Forest Sealstone for Airy and just get rid of the Prime. Yeah, they, 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 as soon as they drew it, they had to spend it. They probably pull up my uh, Charmed Pidgey. No, they're, that's, that's their own Pokestop and it, it did work for them. <laughs> Okay, so they can't hail blade whether they have backs or not. Man, Airy oh. I guess this is pretty close to an amp. It's interesting. Yeah, they're just gonna go for hail blade, it looks like. Yeah, we have the We have everything. We just go retreat lock for barrel. And, um, yeah, we, we just have to have to uh, penny loop after that. All right, let's go get ourselves Rotom. We are in for candy plus bravery charm. Cape doesn't really make, but we can get the, get the fast. Cape doesn't make a difference in the barrel math, unfortunately. I should get rid of their superiors? Nah, I just pull up the barrel. <laughs> this is... We can do that later. This is... This is pr pretty good. 
I guess they do lost vacuum if they lost vacuum and coin flip heads in the same turn. One thing that we could do as well is like pull up the iron hands, force them to commit three. I mean, nah, we, we we could do that later. We'll see how this this game ends up playing. Cause I don't like it that these sea powers can kind of slow play. I had that happen yesterday. I played like I wasn't really planning on playing it, but I did a tournament last night just kind of for fun to keep working on this deck. And back to back rounds, I had sea powers that were that were like slow play me pretty hard. When literally all they could do was just go tail smash and they were totally locked out of the game. So like if they, if they commit three energies here, we can then pull up the iron hands, get them to, to commit four there, then they would only have two left. So if they set up a back's caliber, um, we just tempting trap that and they have two energies on it. So they could never attack with it. So that's probably the plan since they, and then yeah, if they do commit those energies, we just pull up something else and uh chi you so we, so we we can win faster it's crazy in best of one we had to like really factor in how to not necessarily like the most like if if this were best of three like i i'll this game can take as long as you want it to opponent like i'm i'm fine here we can just go eerie we know there's good cards in hand um yeah we have to have to find creative ways to finish games faster in best of one. Okay. Sure. <laughs> I guess if we deny back's caliber ever being in play, we could go a lot more aggressively with Chi Yu. I mean, yeah, there is. Oh, there's four candies in this build. I mean, still, it's fine. Oh wow, candy and vacuum. They have to pop those right away or I'm just gonna pop head back in Aerie and do it again. Like I don't really care about the SERs anymore. They like they play so much energy recovery, like those energies are gonna get brought back eventually. I'm um, just getting rid of their candies, making it so no backs could come down. Would be a way to win faster. Take my tool away. Okay, they do have a Bax Caliber and the Superior Energy Retrieval. So they do get a Tail Smash here. That's interesting. Uh, oh, they don't want to evolve a two, the, the two retreat, dude. Yeah, so they do get a Tail Smash. <laughs> But um, okay, this is actually kind of kind of interesting since we we can go quick yeah we just go quick search for Arvin which is a super rod tool and we super rod then we ultra ball we get the Mawile back up and we are uh, we're definitely gaming hello moon kitty. We know they have the superiors in hand, so we're definitely, definitely tail smashing. <laughs> Imagine they do all this just to whiff. Like, not whiff, but tail smash fail. And it, it, it is kind of annoying, like, if it does come down to the point where it's just like, they're locked at the game and just tail smashing. It's really annoying when they get like, Oh, they don't understand what my attack does. Two of thorns, nice. <laughs> what are they doing? Seven? Oh, we just boss backs. What are they doing? <laughs> they don't know what I'm doing. They didn't read my cards. <laughs> Andy is worth for good enough for Chin Pao in this format. Uh, yeah, Tusk and Ancient would be pretty bad. Luckily, those decks do not seem to be very good. I would think Zarg would still be favored. Um, the Arc decks, I don't know, because Judge and uh, Max Belt. 
And the sisters? Oh, yeah. I'm glad they just decided to make it nice and easy for us and not even... Like, they can't even tail smash. If they do commit energies as well, like, like they commit one or two of the backs, then we can pull up their, um, Bridgie and just start using Chi Yu. So for, okay, wow. <laughs> they, they play nine energies, right? Five, eight, yeah. <laughs> we just pull up the Friggy and they're stuck. And that's big sad. Yeah, we just quick search counter catcher. Are we probably double catch it? Interesting. It's all right. Ah, um, yes, this is good. Oh yeah, I did. <laughs> oh shoot, I just pitched the heavy ball, and the thing is not in here. Ah yes, well played, me. <laughs> I thought we price checked and everything was in there. Come on, chat. You're supposed to help me out. It's fine. It is okay. We will wait a turn. Oh man. Should have checked with the um quick search. I'm so goofy. Okay. At least we uh miss, we use up all the misplays on the night and these wins. So yeah, we And then we save all the super smart big brain plays uh for the more sweaty games. Wouldn't want to waste them in one like this. <laughs> Never let them know your next move. No way. My phone is like probably wondering what the heck I'm cooking. Yeah, luckily it's like even without Chi Yu, it's still 100% over. Like, they have zero way of it coming back. I probably would have checked the deck more diligently IRL. At least I'd like to think I would have. I tend to autopilot a lot on PTCGL. If you uh, watch the streams frequently, you probably uh probably have uh, seen it. There we go. There's the Chi Yu. Oh, yes. We found it, child. It wasn't that hard. <laughs> Scooping if it happened. Yeah, just the just the uh shame scoop. What's up, Orf? Should the deck be changed for a best of one IRL format? I think it's fine. Like we have the Luxray and the and the Chi to be more aggressive, and we can proactively take prizes. Like this deck, definitely more so than Control Last format takes prizes. Yo, Chi, you definitely does need Daisy's help. You're not wrong. Daisy, you want to pop in and say hi? Well, I appreciate it. All right, two O Gaming. But hey, it started like this on Monday. Everything was clicking and then it all just fell to pieces. The reason I don't burn heavy ball, because I want I want ultra ball fodder. Like in a matchup like this, when they play no hand disruption. Uh I'd rather just hold the ultra I'd rather hold heavy ball to ultra ball away than side lean back. <laughs> but yeah. We uh, price checked with that initial artisan, and we thought there wasn't anything important in there. So we we're like, oh yeah, this is fine. But it turns out there was. Lucky Dialga, dang. How we would route the, the Dialga matchup. That seems potentially, potentially pretty difficult. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know why we're playing four candies, but it's all right. But after round one, we scroll through all the jank. That of course won round one. Um, Jin Pao, Snorlax Stall. Like I would, I would take those matchups. Those are the ones doing the best. A lot of the, 
like almost all the Gardevoirs will. I wonder if Gardevoir is real. Like it's been doing fairly decently online. Like in the in the first late night, I remember seeing it had like a pretty okay win rate. Like there's one in top top four or top eight. I do think this deck would probably be unfavored into Gardevoir the way it's currently constructed. Who's letting Gengar X win games? I have no clue. Um, is this my own list? Yeah, it is. Do I, do I collaborate with other top level control players? Ooh, do I? Yeah, I, I do think Guardies are pretty good. Like, I guess Sea Pow in future could be difficult. Um. But yeah, this list is purely me. I mean, there's been there's been outside opinions. It's not just like 100% Blitzel Binder drop. Um, but for for the most part, it's it's been a it's been yeah just it's been me cooking this. <laughs> that being said, any of y'all can uh, use it and play with it and mess with it. I don't. That's that's fine. I if I were smarter, I'd probably try to collaborate with with um like reach out to the big control gamers of the world who have the big limitless pages and all that i probably should do that like if i want to do well at orlando be like hey i'm i'm all out blitzel i play online tournaments i want to cook control that should just be my be my bio uh, pitch yes Raging Bolt Guardy. Oh my goodness. Uh, well, I'm going to start putting the all out blitz of watermark on all my deck lists. So if any of y'all try to steal the picture, the watermark's on there. I can keep track of who's trying to leak the sauce. It's definitely not like they could just, um, yeah, go on Limitless and screenshot or something or copy paste. No way. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I'm seeing Future do really badly round one is pretty nice. I uh, see Lugia at the lower win rate. But there's still so many of these decks that we could um, make it still very well face five Lugias in, 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 in a row. All of us are NFTs? No way. <laughs> nope, sorry. No, it's Spathra. That's bad. What? Come on, it's Spathra. I thought y'all were telling me the day I spent was BDIF. What happened? This has to be a misprint. This has to be a glitch in the system. It's it's it, it's so sad. A salty steak is absolute goat in making crazy piles. Uh is it in future hands? Wait, are all the rounds done already? Oh. That was weird. I guess we. I, I, wait, there's, there's an easy way to find the most goaded lost pile ever. Oh, it's an other. Ah, it's hiding. Goaded. The four code breakers now. Oh, man. Man, but there's, but there's not, there's not like pal pads. We can't go like pal pads super rod and destructo press. I'm very disappointed. You could use Roseanne's backup too to like recycle cake and re re reversal. This is pretty hot. Structo Press definitely solves future. I guess if you just have like one gen for the end, you go like super rod, uh, you can like double rod and then generator and have five in. I guess you don't probably need, well, I guess you would need five in. But, but maybe not if you had like capsules and crowns and stuff. Yeah, this this is pretty broken. Now watch, we're gonna we're gonna get paradox rounds. We even face the same matchups. It's it's definitely happened. One deck that I really thought about trying tonight because I like saw it doing so well and then I like it onto the ladder and what kept winning with it is this banette list um 
it was it kind of cooks it was doing really well but I, I didn't feel confident enough with like how to manage a lot of the matchups because but not historically instructed this way has been a pretty hard deck to play Made a raging bolt and lost to Azard with Gengar. Oh, you're playing block. Okay, well that well that would do it. I really hope we uh, get to the point where like Stall wins a UIC and everyone's playing. Um, everyone's playing Gengar. That'd be a peak PTCG. Fourteen rounds, crazy. Late nights are usually fourteen rounds. It just. When we get towards the end of a uh, end of the format and people get bored, then it's not. But uh, usually, uh, I I mentioned this at the start of stream, it's crazy how it goes from a week ago being 120 people to just 200 people who weren't playing last week are now playing again. So I have wait, what's the what's what's the current streak? We have I didn't play that week. But we have. Top eight, win, second place. So I feel like we're due for a top four today. Benjamin, for every time you ask me, the more I'm not going to do it. <laughs> You've asked me like seven times already. All right, fine. I'll look at it. Uh... Said it was in Snorlax Pidgeots. Okay. We're winning today? Perhaps, perhaps. I mean, I would. I don't really understand why group on it. I mean, like, I I get it. It does damage. Oh, they're stuck. We don't really want to knock them out, right? So, like, that seems bad. Like, once you achieve lock, you, like want to keep it there so i'm not i'm not so sure why we're playing capsule and broods okay let's go with it you're playing pidgeot right you can play double turbo energy <laughs> man you could, you're telling me that we can play double turbo play luxury v and Cut these bad cards and play that. Yeah, we can play better cards and accomplish the same thing. Like, I see it. <laughs> but, like, that's... You're playing a four-card tech package that, like, could be accomplished by uh, better things. See, Benjamin, when you ask me to beg... Are uh, you beg for me to look at your list? And it's just, like... It's cringe. I'm gonna, I'm gonna roast it. But, but like Luxray and Chi Yu also force your opponent to uh, play the game. <laughs> yeah, this ain't it. I'm sorry. What is a Zubat? It lets you peek at your opponent's hands. So you could see if Erica or Aerie would be good, good plays, which I don't hate, but. It, I don't, I'm not sure it's worth, like, it's, it's, it's hard to fit everything that you uh, want. The card's good, though. Or can be good. Your seed pals from a few days ago wasn't cringe. Well, that's not true, but okay. Four matches to go. Ancients. <laughs> Asian versus Torterra, yo. Torterra Toad Scroll chat? This is this is this is pretty gaming. And the Radiant Zarina. Do I have any Torterra enjoyers in chats? I feel like Torterra is a pretty popular Pokemon, right? And Toad Scroll, like that plot armor buff from the Toad Scroll. I don't know. I can I can definitely see this. This is probably BDIF to be honest. How, like, I saw there was one that made phase two of the earlier late night. How are the uh, Torterra gamers doing today? Not, not so good, but there's not too many of them. Gar I know Gardenia is really not it. I, um, I'm with you on that. Drawing two cards is kind of bad. And your attack costs one energy. 
Are we trying to load up for a for a for a jungle hammer? <laughs> jungle hammer's the move. Yeah, I don't know. That that ain't it. Plan one Iona. Come on, can we like Turo seems pretty gas in this. You know like Max Pot would go really insane in this deck. Max Pot would just go insane. Tartwick favorite mod. Okay, yeah, I know there's a lot of Torterra enjoyers out there. Why am I always wearing Orlando Magic shirt? Because Orlando Magic. That's what they <laughs> they're all pretty epic. Because like all the all the shirts I happen to own are Orlando Magic shirts, so that's kind of how how that goes. <laughs> Magic Simph, yes, definitely. Net deck to Zul. Okay. So one to go. Tina versus Lost Pile. I guess if they updated for round two, we can already kind of get a sneak peek at Zoroark. 2 0. Wait. Did I see that right? Maridon Zoroark. It's like sorry, it's the future though. Huh? <laughs> what's what's the vision here? You go like Maridon for like an aggressive hit? To take a prize like while they're setting up, I guess? I don't see how this synergizes at all. <laughs> no, the <laughs> But then super now. It's it's kind of cooking. Yeah. This is this ain't it. Oh, next round's up. Let's go. Another C pow. Anything different? Another vacuum. That's that, that's, that's kind of funny. I had not seen a uh, C pow playing vacuum yet until these last two rounds. That's all right. Just the just the prime to get out of retreat lock. There's a ditto. But I suppose I guess we're not playing Erica, so it's never getting stuck. Or horn. All right. Is everyone playing four candy? I don't know. Like we we I feel like we all agreed last format that three candy was enough. I guess maybe because of airy being in decks, like you're afraid of losing candies now. I guess the only thing I can think of. But airy really isn't in that many decks. I mean, Zard, like, if Zard is, like, Zard Pidgey's playing it, like, can they really rip it turn two? Uh, yeah, I don't know. It seems like there has to be better 60th cards than for a candy. Like you're, like, you're not beating Snorlax anyway, so it's, like, not helping there. Um, see more devolution. I mean, I guess that would also help with, with that. True. I honestly like. Is Arctabax better than Fourth Candy? I feel like if you're slow evolving, that's kind of bad. At least you like higher odds of ripping into the candy. I guess like Arctabax would be better to play around Devo. If that's your logic, then you're pro you probably should be playing Arctabax instead of TMD or instead of Fourth Candy. Wait, like, like Octobax isn't helping me get turn two back's caliber. Like at least the fourth candy would help with, with, with that. Yeah, like <laughs> there has to be better sixtieth cards. I get. Uh, do we need a? Is 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 it now a? Uh, we we should make a rule if you're playing four candies as C pal, you're not allowed to complain about breaking. I feel like that's fair. We could play an Iono, another supporter, another another setup card instead. Maybe open Mimikyu. This this isn't isn't bad. I mean, no word GU is this time. That's pretty cool. Ultra Ball for uh for the dude. Ah, they open do. Come on. That's so sad. Back to back times too. 
Oh man. All right. Well, we do this. We have Ultra Ball for um for Pidgeot next turn. I guess we're playing Ultra Ball Top Deck plus Fighting Candy Pidgeot Iono. Well, yeah, it makes our win con a lot easier. Like normally they would not ever put this down, right? They would never just hand us the retreat lock win con. So we have to like win with like Iono plus take knockouts. Um, but yeah, this makes it a lot. It makes it even harder for them with only one switch in the list. Oh yeah, we like him starting it, but it's, it's kind of. I'm not help, helping my uh, credibility. Of uh, saying C is easy or. Er, I don't know. I just should stop talking. Talking is bad. So let's go Puff and Pass. So we have some options here. I think I like the most. We go Nest Ball. We go Hero Cape. We get down Rotom. We cape up the Pidgeot just so there's no... Or a lot less of a threat of a big C pal one hit. And then we just instant charge. I don't think they're going anywhere super fast. I could go airy, but I want my setup to be a little more firm. Like maybe they are holding on to Vegas. If if they if we use airy really well, the odds be of them knocking us out. Like they obviously didn't have like Nest Ball or Water Energy in hand. Or Irida. So yeah, but if we didn't want to, I don't know. But this is fine. Candy backs. Anything else? <laughs> Is it just candy backs? How oh, they top deck Irida? I'm assuming. I don't know why you'd hold Irida. If um, yeah, they definitely top decked it. Well, I guess maybe not. Like, if you, you don't want to, like, preemptively grab the item and get it aired away. Oh, my goodness. Imagine they have the... So, that was the vacuum. So, imagine they have it like that. That's kind of a move. Yeah, they use the vacuum. They take my hero escape. Boy, they could just be doing this now so it doesn't get sistered away. Double rod. Get the beaver. Top right. Wait, why'd they? Huh. Why'd they poke us up before the incisors like that? I guess maybe the last card in the hand they don't want to ultra ball away. Why is everyone playing vacuum right now? Because it's a really good card. There's a lot of really good tools in format. Area off the top is pretty pretty clean. Okay. I think I like just like getting a double turb on the Wigglytuff. Well, I don't know. I don't, I don't even need to go Wigglytuff. Hold up. I just go Penny here, right? And just retreat lock this thing. I don't need to overthink this. Like it's it's all right there. Or or I could just chill for a turn. Airy. Yeah, this is okay. Pretty good. I'm gonna actually do I bravery check the Mimikyu? Dude, I might just be way overthinking this. Nah, this is fine. This is totally okay. We're, we are uh, gaming. <laughs> Yes, and so I guess that's the, like the one thing I'd be kind of afraid of is if I went with the with the the Mawile play last turn, would be my opponent just like ripping Prime Catcher, and then I have no answer. So like at least by like doing this plus Rotom, I like build up my hands a little more. So what are the odds though that they just like pull five energies plus everything else? 
off of all that, especially like when we were playing in Eerie. It's, I mean, there's still very advantageous position. Um, <laughs> but I'm probably overthinking this. It's probably not too much. It's probably not too much more complex than just start using Mawile, start winning. I think that's what I'm going to do next turn. Yo, the bundle? That gets them out of the barrel. If they bundle, I just go into Rotom. We're fine with that. Okay. Yeah. Well, almost. There we go. Hyperblower. Or do we just give him Jigglypuff? Like, do we care at all? Like, they take one prize. It's fine. <laughs> this is okay. Yeah, it's kind of, yeah. I, I should have just gone mobile last turn. I don't know what I'm kind of tr tr trying to cook here. Go for a super cold. I would like to sisters next turn, but I don't know if it's possible. Because I'm pretty sure there's not prime in hands, but like we'd have pretty good odds of ripping great cards out of the deck. We'll see. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. We'll see. All right, that's a great top deck. I feel better about this now. All right, let's take their pokey stop away so they get less aggro. Uh, I guess they could just go hit heads, and that would be a little no. I I, I can counter cut this turn and then Penny, <laughs> Penny the the charm off the Mimikyu onto the Mawile. All right. It is, um, Prime Catcher would be pretty annoying, though. This, yeah, this turn Prime Catcher would be pretty annoying. I have the Ace Spec Hero's Cape, but it is in the Lost Zone. So, <laughs> it's in the deck, but not in this game. Because these, uh, Chin Pao gamers have decided that Lost Vacuum is now all of a sudden a very good card. If they whiff this turn, okay. Well, this gets spicy. I'm assuming they have a superior in hand. Or I guess another energy as well would work. This is scary now. This is what we were afraid of. Okay. Then you have to spend an SDR to do this. Uh oh, I still have four seal stone live. We haven't even seen an Arvin yet. It's okay. They're they're they're, they're out of switch. So, Ultra Ball is a pretty good top deck. We can get the Pidgey out reestablished, or not because Pidgey's pressed. <laughs> okay. This would be where Snorlax would be pretty good. Um. I could go Ultra Ball Luminion and Iono and just draw a ton more cards. I think we like that. Well, no, I have to play boss this turn, but we can still thin with Luminion. Well, actually, no, wait. Luminion gets Heavy Ball plus Arvin. Well, no, I have to boss this turn, regardless. It's okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the most tilting part of this game is he spent 20 to 45 minutes trying to fight right back from a bad start and lose no nonetheless while learning nothing i don't but those those things don't have to go together just because you lose doesn't mean you don't learn anything 
Like, those things aren't... Like, you could definitely... You could learn how you could have maybe sequenced whatever... Whatever played better, right? So they have five total energy. Or... Yeah. These tails. I do not like you, Babero. You make me mad. Double turbo energy. Babero makes me very angry. <laughs> This has to be Iona, right? Like, I could go Ar- Wait, no. We go Arvin. Arvin gets his counter catcher forests. They benched Iron Hands. So... Yeah, they, that's 10 total energies. We pulled the, the backs. And Tempting Trap. And then they have to commit three energies here to take this KO. And then we forest seal stone for boss and drag up iron hands. And they don't have enough energies to retreat or attack with it. All right. Okay. <laughs> I. Yeah, this is, this is I guess, how a uh, sea pal can go off the uh, rails, but it's fine. We're going to get there. Yeah, they have three energies left, potentially, right? Like, they have nine total, so yeah, three can go there. There's, like, no Goofy Collab Stadium or anything. Even Arvin off the top, just, just in case we uh, needed it. All right, Luminion Clutch. Yeah, benching that hands made things a lot easier for me. Yeah, just just the two archers and hands. I think, but like, I think Minxies is right though, Lee. Like, generally, if you're like, most of the time, we're not playing everything perfectly. Like, <laughs> on stream all the time, I'm doing crazy stuff that like I should not be doing. Um. Like, usually I can, even if it's just points in the game where maybe it would have given you, like, it would have. They benched hands to draw more off the barrel, I guess, to push towards Superior to um, knock out my Mawile. Or a pressure on my uh, Mawile. But even if it's just, like, a, a slightly different line of play you could have gone for, like, you, you, you could have, like, played Ultra Ball before, or you, you could have played... You could have played your Colrus first and then played your Nest Ball so you had higher odds of drawing your basics. Like, even something like kind of small like that, there's usually always things like that in a game where you, you could do something. That's very not true, Minxies. That's very not true. <laughs> I. It's okay, I'll take it. I'm, I'm goofing with even the, some of those really good control runs from last format were um, all very gross. There was always stuff I did wrong. That's kind of the fun of it to me. Like, just, I mean, every game is every game's difference. Every game's an opportunity to do to do it better than you did last time. I didn't bring emphasis with, with Arvin and Hands. I mean, they, they, they accomplished the same thing. Both were checkmates. I mean, yeah, they, they, they did the same thing. Jam chronically behind. <laughs> Good thing. Clips are turned off. Oh, I do have clips turned off. Should, should I turn them on, chat? <laughs> Should we turn them on if people and make all kinds of uh interesting uh flips at me? Probably, I would be kind of funny. 
It would be kind of funny to have like a a clip contest where like people like had the had the funniest or most interesting blitzel moments. Why why or when am I using really tough? Well, if the C pal player doesn't just open bib and lose the game on the spot, you use it there. Uh, but it's really good against Lugia, the Lost Box decks, and it's it's cool against Future uh, Arctina. What's a Pokey Kids Club? Right, so I guess it's the same as it was before. But Net is gaming. Oh, the one o drop is massive cringe. Um, Arc Armor is it too now? I am I'm I'm a Arc Armor Rage enjoyer. Devolution, Max Belt, Delphox, Radi oh, Radi Heat Train goes crazy. I feel like a deck like this should be pretty solid, because like Magma Basin just sticks a lot now. I'm trying to get Razi Drago Beast out of work in this format. I was thinking about Reggie Drago last night. Looks like Noivren's a really good card right now. Like Kate plus Rolling Iron seems pretty good in a lot of spots. Like, Airy is a pretty solid card for um, Arc Piles. I think that's, that is actually a pretty good take, Jam. Because I, I think one kind of issue with a lot of newer players, and even some players who've been around the game in a long time are responsible for this too, but they love to blame everything on luck, and they're just absolutely blind to any misplay they could make, or that they might have made. Um... And it gets really annoying. <laughs> it's like really one of my pet peeves is just people who no matter what happened in, in the game, they could have made some total egregious like sequencing blunder. And it still was bad luck. I think it's like if if you had a line of play where you could like guaranteed to win the game, and maybe like losing the game was like maybe like a 10% chance, and that 10% chance happened to happen and you lost the game. You could have made it a hundred percent chance if you played your hand right. So I like even even those situations where you technically got unlucky. I still don't even like to blame luck. Like <laughs> blaming luck is so cringe. Um, yeah, just please, just please don't blame luck. Um, even just like re recording back your games and like watching them again, like even if it's like hard for you in the moment to realize that you messed up. Like if you maybe have like a when you're like not in the moment you can like watch it back you can sometimes pick out spots where you like maybe could have done something differently and, and then the game would have gone better for you but like sometimes i'll do that where i like watch back like top cut matches of a tournaments that i've lost lost in or something i felt like i screwed up and usually see somewhere where i could have done things better A 30 card deck and 4 lightning energy left, he put you put into lightning energy and one thing. How did, was that, is that Mahiridon? How did it have 4 lightning energy and a 30 card deck? If that's true, that like, sometimes you, sometimes you, you, there are just crazy variance things that you have no control over. Like, you have totally absurd prizes, or you just have tons of, but you can start complaining about bad hands, like, they're, like, bad deck building can be responsible to bad, like, also can be responsible to bricks, too. It's not, like, just, it's all, uh, all, all, all luck of the draw when you maybe can build your deck more consistently. But yeah, mulligans, prize cards, and, like, even, even the most consistent deck in format still draws bad hands. Um. But you could play more basics. If mulligans are a really big issue, you could deck build differently. So far, so good with the tough. I mean that 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 that's very true, Jeff. Like there's, especially with like control recently. Like a lot of these like runs last format, I wouldn't even really be drawing that well. But I just like there's still a lot of times where just like my opponent would just not be playing very good, and you can find avenues to win. That just doesn't ex that isn't always just true for control. Like, yeah, I feel like people sometimes just like kind of have like a defeatist mindset where they like 
see their opening hand is just poor and they're just like well this game's chalked when like and they're not actually thinking like how to win the game they're just thinking like when to scoop and go to game two maybe we'll make phase two uh we could we can make an educated guess off of the last one so the last one there was um well dang did only 24 people Oh, it's just 19 players are, are match points. They usually have four top 32, whatever's greater. So hold up. It doesn't say the same thing here. Oh, okay. So top 32 at least, probably slightly more than that. If I made a Chimpao Rage with Airy, um, I don't think so, but Retreat Lock's pretty good against them. Let's see. I guess we can look at like an old like 300 person late night and how many people made day two in that uh okay okay this would be this would be about it oops we can let's see 32 exactly so probably in that ballpark so far so good oh no one salty stick lost at table one they're supposed to beat the lugias bro come on did y'all see that in the, at the first late night going into the second phase? Looks like they didn't top cut, but man, Spathler got 11th. Going into phase two, Lugia A and one. But Lugia with a 1-1 one -one line of a Spathra and the wrong Mancino. 1-1 <laughs> one -one of Spathra, two basic psychics. Maybe that's how you fix the future match. If you just pile a ton of energies on an Espathra. His future favorite into Lugia? Yeah, that's probably Lugia's worst matchup. This is pretty wild. I'm in the free retreat of Little. I just got 30 HP, but free retreat's like pretty, pretty nice. I guess maybe you don't really need it in Lugia with like the jets and stuff. But, but, but like, when does 50 come up rather than 30? Nice heat tackle. Noivern not just better. Noivern's hard to get right. Like, you have to bench pretty well. And then you also need to not get gusted and knocked out. Will you be good for LA? I would think so. I don't know why it wouldn't be. I'm like not huge on Neuvern and Lugia. I'm not really even sold it fixes the matchup. I think if I were to play, if I'm trying to tech for future with Lugia, I'd play Radiant Charizard. Cause like at least then, like the biggest issue like with like using Chinchino to knock out an Iron Hands, like even if it's their only Iron Hands in play, they still can just more ride on respawn knock out. So if you can use Chinchino to take KO one Iron Hands, and then you can maybe use like Vacuum Radzard to kill the second one. They can't just go Peak Acceleration and win the game. And at least Radzard's good in other situations too. Don't play Serene in your lists. Serena's pretty good. It, I, I feel like Luki is like... It'll probably be a top three most played deck at, at EUIC. It'll probably be very popular. So... Since Future is the deck that has like the best Lugia in the game. Is it gonna be popular too? I don't know. I see I guess it, it, it's going to be. It's like popular online, right? I, I guess it's pretty interesting that like so far, there's like not really a super like dominant played deck. Like what if we went back to like the like the first like one of the first tournaments of last formats? Okay, that's 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 too far. Like, um, a turn of Doom Regional that was huge. Yeah, Gazard, which developed into the most played deck, was only sixteen or six percent. And Moon eventually got up to fifteen or got back to that mark, but not initially. Yeah, because like Gazard and Tina got a lot more popular as the as the format went on. Interesting. So what's like oh is that is that like the current trajectory that Lugia is on? Like it's currently hovering around that six percent mark, but it's gonna start 
once it starts winning IRL, it's going to shoot up the uh, online usage rates. Um, I mean, it's, it's like only a, less than a weekend. There's still so much meta development to be done. I feel like there's a lot of room for growth in this in this meta, though. I'm excited for it. Chin Pao is a very hard deck to play. Like, I saw those people saying that, like, Chin Pao and Zard were, like, two easy decks. So, they're glad they're giving them out for free. And it's like, that's a horrible take. Like, Sea Pao seemed like on the outside, it would be really easy. Because it's just, like, put my energies on and blow them up. But actually, like, getting to the point where you're blowing stuff up every single turn is hard. Like, managing your resources, playing your cards in the best order. Like, that's not easy. And I like that Chin and Pao's one of the most punishing decks, too. Like, if you do screw up, that's... Like, a lot of times, like, if you just, like, screw up, so you, you don't see... Like, you don't sequence right, so you miss whatever important card, superior, candy, whatever, the game's just, like, over. So... Yeah, I think people who have... People who say Chin Pao is a... Is an easy deck... Um, have never played Chin Pao. They just play against it and see their opponent like effortlessly nuke 360 on their charters on like, wow, that seems so easy. But like their opponent's like having an aneurysm over there figuring out how to get to double superior um, to, to take that knockout. There's gotta be some uh, ties it looks like. All the all the probably tusk the first two rounds. That's wild. All, yeah, all the block gamers. Yeah, I saw that take like multiple times. Things like people saying C Pow is easy, and it's just like that's. <laughs> I can tell you've never played Shin Pow, or at least. Yeah. I thought Tusk would be better. On paper, it seems better than it actually is. It's just, I guess, just having to play kind of bad supporters, it's like that being necessary to the strategy of your deck, kind of sucks. All right. Oh, and baby, ancient box with a roaring moon. Okay. I do buy a couple switches, so retreat lock isn't necessarily on the table. What? Okay, this is going to be an interesting one to me. It's like Wigglytuff does seem really good in this matchup. As well as Cape Cloth. Like, Cloth just swinging. Like, whenever they hit it, they lose an energy, and they don't really have, like, a ton of ways to keep recovering stuff. All right, we'll see. I got some 3k. Thank you. Yeah, the one Moony X makes this a little more difficult. But I, I guess Bouffalant is really good in this matchup, or could be really good. Good evening, Aaron. Like, I, I, I beat Baby Ancient in the past because we had, like, Snorlax. We could spread all their energies out. So. Um, but now we don't, so it'd be a little harder. I also had Erica, so we could keep trapping stuff. But they do kind of have to bench things, or maybe Tuff could just knock all their Pokemon out, so... This will actually be sort of interesting to see. Don't get how us deck builders make decks. I, it's just... Something that takes practice, like... I think when you're, like... If you don't have a ton of experience building deck, I mean, like, I guess you only get better by doing it more, but like, um, I, like, net deck isn't necessarily a bad thing. Like, just because you net deck other successful players doesn't mean you're a bad player. What's my favorite deck so far? Uh, probably control. But um, I guess that's really all, all I've played though. Like, I have played. Thanks, no, I played more than Control. Like, I played a lot of Lost Teen and Arc Teen as well. Um, but yeah, Control is my, my favorite. Cooking Lessons by Blitzel. <laughs> All out Blitzel cooking channel win. Yeah. 
Yeah. We want control. Well, yes, control's good. I will say I was very pleasantly surprised on Lost Tina. Like, I was hating on it out of Japan. I was like, there's no way that this is good. And that deck feels smooth. It was a lot smoother than I thought it would be. Uh, we're up against Baby Angel. I think we want to go second. Just the possibility of them being aggressive early sounds kind of scary. Uh, also, just having max odds to set up seems pretty good. And they, they only play one boss, so it would be sort of hard for them to chase a Pidgey early. I mean, I was hoping they'd open Ninja. <laughs> I guess they can't bench Ninja in this matchup, which sort of slows down their Sada's early game. So bench pass. All right, so we need to worry about our Pidgey getting knocked out, which is pretty cool. Right. Uh, is Rotom in there? Let's see. Rotom is. Buffon is. The Jigglypuff is not. Uh, is, is Heavy Ball double? Yes. Okay. We have the Silenes. We prized. No, your sisters is in hand. Okay, these prizes seem not too bad. I mean, I didn't see anything that like, just jumped off the page. It's horrible. I mean, yeah, there, there were there were candies, and I was gonna say, oh no, candies prize, but yeah. Um, sure. I guess we can drop the forest like they don't yeah they don't play hand disruption but it's 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 okay what does the jig we do just 450 hp and hits for a pretty good amount of damage i right, ripped the explorer i'm thinking next turn we're either going sisters or airy let's also i guess we're going forest for yeah i, I think we're probably going Forest for Candy, Candy Pidgeots, Misfortune Sisters, and I'll start using Buffalon and sending energies to the Lost Zone. Like, Cape's Boof seems tough for them to respond into. Uh, oops, let's not. <laughs> I'm trying to shortcut things and grab the energy first. That's not smart. Okay. Uh, let's go get. Um, do we get missed? Nah, I think we probably get fighting. Like, if they're gouging Boof, that's just a dub. Alright, those are good cards. Is the average number now? Um, I guess it's people are more interested since rotation. And people were less interested last format, and a lot of people are excited since the format's gotten shaken up a little bit so there's two i guess if we lost in this fighting energy they only have one left so the crydon could definitely get trapped after that so we would go quick search for the double turbo energy tape on the boof because they're still a ways away from being able to threaten a one hit with the baby moon um i don't think we want to play the iona like it's i think they would have played a supporter last time had they had it so i think we just lost headbutts and see how that fighting getting sense of loss sounds pretty good all right and if they retreat we can just keep pulling up the karate on all right explorer means no um moon attack The Wiggles is a wall, not well. I mean, kind of, but not really. Like, it has a lot of HP, but it's not like we're like just like sticking the action spot and just like, I guess it's like an offensive wall, right? Like it's there to tank hits, um, and try to clear potential threats. All right, let's go for an area this turn. Try to. Maybe hit like a pal pad or super rod or something. Double pokey gear. All right. They are holding on to the boss, so Luxury maybe could be a good move. Um. Well, they don't have any energies down. They can't even use Sada. 
This match, like, they can't bench Greninja in this matchup, so their whole whole game plan is sort of scuffed. Only six energies left, chat. We can we can spread them all out now. Oh, they're now all four explorers as well. So what are they hitting with Baby Moon right now? Two. Oh, they had the Toptic Vessel. Uh, pull up. So there's that's that, that that's an additional two. So three. Four, eight, nine, so 160. Yeah, just quick search for boss and lost on that energy. Yeah, this is this is very good. They only have a. Uh, Four energies left, or they, they only have five energies left, so can't even swing with everything. I I, I could have gone pal, but they, they, they don't play disruption. I don't have to aggressively spend my pal pads. There's a vengeance fletching. So I could just like take the L on my Bouffalant, which I'm kind of fine with, I think. Um, and it's sure like luxury next turn. Just like try to go counter catch or luxury next turn, and yeah, I think I think that seems fine. All right, we get that. We get this. All right, so there's luxury. Sorry, Jubilee Puff, but we <laughs> don't need you. No, no, no threat of disruption, so... Broken. And now we just keep pulling up the, the Coridon and force them to spread the energy everywhere, because there's only four energies left. Wait, what? They're a hard retreat just to Usada. What I played against today? Two Chin Pows and a Lugia. I could have, but I didn't feel like I need to. Like, based on what my opponent had in hand before, we knew they probably didn't have a dark in hand. And once, like, we have four in the zone here, so like, this is very winnable spot. Like, I mean, now we just go Luxray, and the boof is, yeah, we can just go Capes Lux now. I think just pocket a counter catcher for the for the future. We know there's at least a boss in the hand that we can hit here. Paid actor. <laughs> hey. There goes boss. There, there, there isn't dark in him, but they just like can't retreat. So now we just start using sisters to hunt those switch cards. And Sada isn't getting them very many cards. And they only have fighting down too, so Sada isn't even very good. Isn't Sada active? Now we just get Boof ready to go again to just loss in this fighting. Cape is really, really good. Oh, they actually hit a card? Okay. They, uh, they, they hit me. But now... We just pull up the other moon. We play Penny. Um, and just keep Fang sniping. Like, they, they only have one switch cart left to take five prizes. Um, right, because, um, yeah, they play six darks. How many vacuums do, do I play? Zero. Or, or do you, uh, oh, do decks play? Not usually very many. Most decks, a lot of us in play one. 
but some don't play any at all like this one doesn't play any at all um Ottoman's lost box turbo hands ancient box i'm gonna say no burn <laughs> that sounds like Neuver. Scroll pits. Yeah, now we just go sisters. They came in. They their supporters don't even work for the rest of the game now, so they have to somehow somehow oops like not have me sister this away. Like they they have to top deck, but then I just pulp the moon again and it's stuck. Hey, we face Chim Pao with vacuum back to back rounds. It exists. Okay, there we go. That's that's the game. Now uh we can just chi you. Boof like I, I know Baby Ancient isn't like the most relevant matchup around, but Boofalot makes this one like makes this one so easy. No, everyone can definitely do that. Yeah, now they they play eight energies, four in the uh, loss, and three are in play. So, it's it's a GU time. Broken deck. I didn't discard fire earlier, did I? Yeah, and I'm. I don't remember being prized. I thought we I thought we had it in there when we when we price checked. Yes, we did. Yay! Just for the memes, we'll uh, put the cape on the uh, goldfish. Jeez, you do I miss Team Yell? Not not at all. I would. I would rather like it with. with not having Peonia to interact with the, with the, the prizes, I would always rather have Silene in a game. So, uh, I'd just rather play two Silenes just to protect against prizing. What decks most people on for EYC? Um, Charizard, Lugia, Chin Pao. Um, the, the future Iron Hands deck. Um, Stall, Control. There's a lot of rival decks right now. If I play this without open deck list, yeah, it gets, it might get scarier. How many people off the top of their head could say what Wigglytuff EX does? Like when I slam down a Jigglypuff, do you, do you <laughs> off the top of your head, do you know what this thing does? Cause like most of the time I can like ballpark guess how many, like what your counts are. Like ancient is almost always eight energies or like Tina or um yeah or, or, or like Charizard six or seven energies. She, she easy? No, no way. We're not we're not flexing like that. I'm in second right now. We are. Let's go. I mean, playing playing control well does mean you have to have, like a pretty good knowledge of what the format is. Game plan against future box depends on the list because like if they're playing one without any kind of switches, which is becoming less common nowadays, but it still exists. Uh, we try to trap the Iron Crown. These are playing Psychic, so like we can't really do that. Uh, so we'd have to like use our attackers like Wigglytuff and Cloth to try to create like an advantageous board states. And maybe that eventually leads to retreat locking because we got rid of enough energies. We can't really bench Pidgeot though most of the time since they can just gust and knock it out. Um, so I have to be careful about that. Um, but yeah. It's not, it's, it's, it's not a great match, but Classic Snorlax definitely does better into future than... Uh, we do, but like we do have like in, in this list, we have the attacking options to take prizes to put them in awkward positions. Does that only function with two pennies? I mean, it can, but prizing like if if you prize a penny, that sounds horrible. Like having one penny for the game sounds awful. Trap in, into Wiggly Care that would work. That is not a bad call. 
I, you always say GG easy? I mean, that's just L sportsmanship. I'm not trying to make anyone upset out here. Yo, the day one squad's out here today? Let's go. I think Zard's still the best overall deck. Um, it's either Zard or Lugia. I, I'd say Lugia is the strongest deck in format, or maybe aside from Control. Um, but it's not the most consistent deck in format. So I try to find the best balance of power and consistency. I like the Giovanni's Charisma if you get behind on attachments, and it's like great. Like, Buffalon's so much better when you can pull it out as a, as a surprise, like, especially against like Ark or Lost Tina. Um, the surprise factor is pretty good, but like, I haven't used it a ton. It's also like cool if you like whiff Wigglytuff attachments because like we play so many more energies than we did pre rotation. So, like, the odds of having two energies in hands are a lot better. So, we don't always have to like just like quick search out an energy just to make Geo Riz live. You're like Zara's been really fun with Gengar. Oh no, you're just trying to grief all of all us uh, Snorlax enjoyers. My locals, do I go to a week? Um, I went to two week cups last weekend. <laughs> I mean, I, I I go to the stuff when I can, but like I'm skipping a league challenge this weekend for an online tournament. I guess Lugia today. But yeah, Lugia ha has a lot going on. Like six control enjoyers. Sounds sounds lovely. I'm like the only control enjoyer around here. So like, I've won the last three cups in in my local area. Um. So all the all the locals are sick of me. You can do six a week. That's pretty good. I have. I have like three, I could do three, like I could go to league like three times in a week if I really wanted to, but I, I don't really care to, <laughs> I just rather like, if it's like spend a night at league or stream, I'd always rather stream or make content or do something else. But it was like a league cup or league challenge though. Okay. Um, and also flipping the pokey gears into ultra balls. Um, and the Lumineon's been good. The Ultra Balls have been good. Like, it's not just having more outs to Arvin. It's also just, like, when I go first, I have more ways to get Pidgey or Rotom on the board. i say both. Like, I'm definitely... I really enjoy playing Pokemon, and I'm also... I really enjoy competition, so... <laughs> it's it's definitely both like just like it's, it's hard to describe it's like the feeling i'm like playing like playing high stakes game of, of, of pokemon is just like it just feels good <laughs> um i probably have issues yeah i definitely do but yes i i it's 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 both like i i'm out here streaming pokemon tournaments like every day i i, I really i really quite enjoy both Eight in one week? Oh my goodness. Yeah, y'all have it good. If like I have like three cups in my like immediate area, or I have to go like three hours to get to any more. And then y'all got like eight shops. Oh my goodness. My drug is competition. Yes. It is, it is. But like also, I mean it's still competition though right one, one thing that's been kind of hard for me to adjust to is like i and i don't really know what it is it's just like with everything else happening in the room sometimes i struggle to like because like here in my basement there's nothing else going on i mean it's all you trying to distract me but it's like not i can't just like go look over there and be like oh that person's playing charizard that person's playing gardevoir like oh wow they just bossed their guard no i I, I don't know what it is. I feel like sometimes trouble focusing. Um, <laughs> it is, it's something I need to get better at if I want to do well, but. Yeah, I really, 
<laughs> Pong next stream? We could do that. I I get super stressed. Like it's funny because like I've I've played it so many cups now. Like it's since like post COVID. It's like I still get nervous. Like it's funny because it's just like play, playing the local people that I've seen dozens of times, and I. But yeah, there's all there's always nerves. Don't enjoy playing in the nine rounds. Oh man. I feel like playing online like every night does help like mentally prepare you for like the the, the grind of playing nine rounds in one day. The stress of like like it's funny because like it's like stress and stress is bad, right? But also it like it's kind of cool too. Like, I don't really know how to describe it. It's like, I like, if you know, you know, but. It just, just feels good. I, like, there, there's not, there's just, yeah, just pull, upcut games out of League Cup. Just getting real stressed and sweaty over that. Like, it feels good. One kind of funny anecdote from this weekend is I show up, I hand the judge my list and he's like, oh, it's going to be a long day because I hand him control. And the the day one, the first cup does not go my way. My The hands are just simply horrible. Like it's instant charge three turns in a row into unplayable cards. It just does not go my way. The next day though, we, we get the round one by, we, we hit a Zard, tie to lost box, B to C pow, and then... Uh, my opponent didn't want to ID, so we got the last round dub. And then, like, when the judge goes to, like, take my list for, for a deck check prior to top cuts, he's like, nah, you, he's, like, saying, like, how, he, like, he, like, that didn't, like, doesn't like control players, but since I play so fast, he, like, respects it. And I was like, oh, that's, that's pretty cool. I, I, I guess maybe the reputation with control players is, like, they're always, like, trying to game the system and, like, really like ride the judges hard and like really want the judge to like watch all their games but like <laughs> i'm just i play fast i'm not trying to tie or make it miserable for the judge um it was pretty funny though yes and i got i got rolled in a uh, top four by uh the one and only ross Cawthon. But at least I can say I was a part of his 20th straight Worlds invite or whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you, Leonardo. It's it's a mix of both. Your Raging Bull LZ Belus is peak. Oh no. We're gonna start calling these Moon Kitty piles or Yeah. It's, this is like the same as uh, Monday, right? Maybe you should go to Cups and qualify for Worlds? Yeah, you should, Aaron. That's an Arctina's format? It's it's pretty good. But like, I'm not like trying to tie with control. Like, well, that round going into Lost Box, like that, they're, they're going to that, that Lost Box round, I knew that that, that person plays kind of slow. And Lost Box is kind of a grindy matchup. So I knew in all I could it was going to be a tie, but I didn't really care. Like, I was not going to pick up, like, drastically pick up my pace of play just so I could maybe finish a game. But I didn't want to take a loss at, at that point. Like, a tie was fine. Um, but, like, with control, I, I like, I think Snorlax stall is a lot worse for, for, for tying than control. Like, we at least have offensive things we can do to not only be able to, like, win by taking six prizes, but also just... Um, also, just like force your opponents to more aggressively play the game and go through their own deck. Are you both slept on? Um, maybe. I did, like I think raging bolt's okay. I'm. Not, <laughs> I don't think it's terrible, like some people have said, but yeah, it's it's, it's all right. Seems like a, a great way to get even better at the game, Aaron. The Netherlands crack. But like also, 
Bro's like complaining about cups being regional swap bait. Like, bro, you got second at a regional. Like, come on, you're supposed to beat these guys. You're supposed to be really good at the game, too. Wait, the teats are look cool? Oh, yeah, that one. Uh, let's find it. It's a uh, 3 1 gaming. Yeah, this is this is an epic deck. Raging Bolt must slept on card. Maybe. Yeah, it's like it's a lot easier to play for the tie against Snorlax than it is I control. The B, yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. How did Bro lose to Lugia? It's supposed to, like, Future's supposed to roll Lugia. But, like, if, if your world invite was entirely free, would it really even feel that real? Like, if... I mean, I'm sure it would, right? But, like, if you, like, went to, like, every single... Like, all your cups were totally free. And you went to, like, every regional. Like, your best finish was, like, a top 256. Which, like, isn't anything super, like... It's not bad, but it's like not nothing incredible. I don't know. Like I said, it would be pretty cool to qualify for a Worlds. But I feel like part of the like like part of what makes Worlds so special is like it's uh it's like a culmination of like the the, the whole season's grind to get there. I'm right on five energy. Oof. Yeah, future rules, Lugia. <laughs> Tropic Thunder. Oh my goodness. Future's the only reason why Lugia's not on the ladder. There's a lot of future and stall on the ladder. I feel like that's what most of the ladder is right now. But yeah. That's an 03 keeping things going. Let's go. I think Worlds is the best place in the world, and if you get second, you're one of the best. Yeah, definitely. One thing I don't like about the whole Worlds qualification system, and I don't know how you fix this, though, is it, like, if you have the resources to go everywhere, you're so significantly advantaged. But, like, I'm not, like, and so I'm, like, lowering BFLs. Like, I'm not sure how you fix that. All right, Arcatina. Only three psychics, okay. There's a rod, two switch, turbo, jets. Screw it. Seems fine. No uh, school or no uh, spirits you. But this should be one of our harder matchups, actually. But like, so in my immediate area, like no knock to like, there's like no like big name players. Like it's not like my my local is like incredibly hard. So like I like if, if I go there and win like it, I mean it's cool to get, get the points but it's like nothing super special but like when I go like farther away for cups I face a lot better players I maybe don't do quite as well all the time but it's like better practice and better experience so I mean if you're just trying to get the invite nice and easy then I guess like yeah having to show up to sweaty cups isn't um that good all right so but well, isn't the second like like 180 points like how much is your 450 500 i think you're gonna get second out of regional and you if you uh did go to like cups and like if you went to enough cups and challenges like this we're almost quarter four like you'd be pretty darn close i'm actually going for my invite um yeah i mean like <laughs> not going to everything i'm like, not that active but it's something is it something that i like to achieve absolutely my phone's not here yet Big sad. Um, they just have they just not checked it. Oh, they 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 did. Okay. 
<laughs> so Arctina. We can claim stuff. Wonderful. <laughs> claiming claiming stuff. Yes. Good. Only 700 credits rigged. Alright. Let's see. I'm going to look at this uh, list again real quick. They just haven't even got it yet. So they have four just three. I know four boss. Or boss and a counter catcher. That's pretty pretty heavy. Um dang. My points do I have? Uh 332. And we have Orlando Regionals, Indianapolis Regionals, and NIC. So we're gonna get it. If you're going to uh, Stockholm Regionals, EYC, and Cubs, like, was IC just give out such a ridiculous amount of points? Like, top 512. Doesn't that get like 60 points or something for top 512? Uh, which isn't even that amazing of a record. Like, it's not like you have to like make day two to get a significant chunk of points. Alright, we get to a first. That's good. This first person done. Did someone insta scoop against you? Like saw you're on you were on stall and's like, nah, I'm done. So we have like an aggressive buffalo and potential line here, which is kind of cool. Yo, what's up, sodium addict? Have the Illumi as well to I mean that's Arvin for a seal stone. Have Nestle for for Pidgey. We'll see, because if like a Pidgey or Rhodey's prized, we he played the Hisuian for sure. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. I mean, in all likelihood, this hand's going to get disrupted, but oh my. We keep drawing good cards. Uh, the Yakumo's in there. The Riz. No Sisters. Cloth. Wiggly Tough is unfortunately prized, so I'll have to manage without that. Um, but overall, not, not too much bad stuff. I mean, having this... Oh, no, Sisters in hand. That's good. I was going to say... Sisters being prized does mean... And we just burn the heavy, because we're going to get... I mean, yeah, getting that's pretty good. That's why we play double for a seal stone, so games like this are not just kind of scuffed. What's the usual out to Temple of Sinnoh? Like with this deck? I know the only deck that, that, that plays Temple would be... Yeah, we knew the Iota was coming. I mean... I guess, me personally... I really enjoy the grind, so... I mean, I would... But it sounds like... That's not exactly... Like, not your style to like, go grind cuff, which is totally fine. Um, I mean, got a pretty good opportunity to do, to get an invite after getting second in a region. I mean, I would, but that's just me. This is the person who's played at like a dozen cups this season. Um... This kind of sucks. I, I, I want to go Charm here. Okay, no. I think we, we go Ultra Ball. So we have Lumi next turn to get there. Then we go Charmed Boof. Lost him the double turbo. Uh, there's no Stadium. So I can just Artisan for other Pidgey. And then have that much more. Because then if they want to get through this Boof, they have to like aggressively go for um, Lost Vacuum. Which potentially opens the door for things later. Or they have to evolve. And that makes things kind of awkward for them.
What kind of sucks about cloth in this matchup is iron leaves. <laughs> it hits it for weakness and one hits it. There's a switch. Alright, there's an ultra last by Arc V Star. I have to imagine that's like Judge plus Fact or something. Dang, this is like. So this is an awkward board state for sure. I'd like to have Wiggy Tough with the way things are currently positioned. Double turb to the bench. Yep, lost vacuum. Figured that was coming. We still have the cape. Right? And they only have a two card hand that they're working with. So that's that's pretty nice. Discarding Penny kind of sucks, but it's what we have to do. Uh, no, 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 no. We want this thing. What's the uh, what's the plan for this turn? Um, we could just go like push up Mimikyu. And like counter catcher up the arc. I really want to penny this Luminion pretty soon. And they just have a two card hand that they're working with. And they, they could go retreat shred, but I'm not, I'm not sure that that's like an L. Yeah, let's let's do it think what other options do we have we could put cloth in the active spots and bait out the iron leaves because like that they'd have to ultra all their entire hands and am i upset if they do that i'm not sure we are actually okay well, let's go cloth here um past turn like only two cards in hands we'll see what they can uh come up with We're assuming that they star birth for DTE vacuum. They did not play a supporter last turn as well, so presumably don't have one in hand. Like would have definitely put a judge or like like they would have Iona before star birth. There's boss and there's KO Pidgey. Grass to the bench. Yeah, they star birth to KO Buffon last turn. Our artisan for Mimikyu. I mean, they can't bounce my stadium, so. And I didn't want them to. I'd rather than boss Pidgey than boss Mimikyu. All right, now what? Now what? I kind of want to just like Rotom and start filling the hands a little bit. But also, just, like benching Rotom feels kind of bad. Ugh. I sort of want to reestablish Buffon as well, but I just got to get my uh, my combos rolling. Uh, let's get Nest Ball for Rotom. We'll get the Hero Cape. Yeah, let's just... Because I think if I get Hero's Cape Buffalon, I would probably win the game. Um, and that, that just seems super good. So let's just try to build towards that. Uh, there's a super odds. We can get the booth back on the board. The, sh the issue would be bosses. But I guess if we put cape on it first, they'd just be spending a boss and taking no prizes. Hard retreats. Does that mean retreat boss K Aluminium? It is. Wow, okay. <laughs> Iron Leaves is so scary because it just wins the game by killing Cloth. Um, but like, Iono seems pretty good. Like, Iono sit behind Mimikyu. That seems pretty good here. 
But also, like, I want to get the cape on my boo for once. Uh, this is this is this is fine um i guess i can't really use cloth anymore Do I just let them hit the Pidgeots? I mean, I lose the game to Tina V-Star. What other options do I have? Like, I mean, I retreat into Cloth, but that feels really bad. I, I think we just say in 35 card deck, we lose to Ultra Ball or Tina V-Star. Five outs, I guess. I I, I, mean, I probably should have benched Mawile and retreated into Mawile. But then they just have it like that. <laughs> okay. I think I did misplay that. I mean, they kept chaining bosses with no draw support and nice tiny hand, which is sort of frustrating. Probably should have benched the 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 Mawile there. Because then if we like if we just get to the point where this arc has no energies on it. We're kind of chilling, but then like also we like get put in an odd spot where like Tina V stars game over. I sort of wanted mimic you and the other thing, but I couldn't do that and I don't know. Well, because I didn't want to give up a prize in the in in the first place, I didn't want to get let the Buffalon get hit either. Because if I bleed the prize and let them go down to one, my play would be like Iono plus, or it would be Yakima plus Lost Sun Energy. I think I probably should have done that. Because then they're in like a really weird spot. And then like I probably try to go counter catcher Iono to one, Lost Zone, the Psychic Energy. I feel like Pidgeot soaking hits like best case scenario because I also can like I guess there's like zero percent chance I lost the game if I retreated into Mawa at least immediately. I mean, five, they had like five immediate win conditions with a thirty-something card deck. I mean, I guess I also could get Judge or Iono, so like technically probably closer to like ten, like. Huh. I probably should have. But like, okay, they do that and then lost impact my like they so I do that. They retreat and lost impact Buffalo, and then what do I do? Like instead of mimic you. But I, I, they're they're just waiting until they find a boss to win the game. Uh I'm not sure if she changes anything, because I can't really like I have to get I couldn't get people on down a third time, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I'm pretty, so I'm pretty sure the uh, Buffalant play loses to Tina 2 technically. So like I think my I could have just gone. I mean obviously in hindsight, it was the wrong play. Um I think I uh, Yeah. It would have been sort of it would have been awkward to win if Mawile gets knocked out. The matchup is hard. I can't I mean them to be able to like boss my things early. I mean just yeah. But I was so far away from that. I need to set up a little cleaner and wiggly tough to be able to like actually threaten a two hit on the, the Tina to force them. Like they just kept bossing around the cloth and they had no draw and they just kept raw drawing bosses with a 30 card deck. So if they ever once have to hit into that cloth, it's like awkward for them. But they didn't have to do that. So big sad.
like their list was like one of like the more friendly ones i guess i've seen into control like they're not playing lost city so i could technically have two or three three three, three bufalons if i needed it So yeah, I probably we 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 probably could have got Mawile, and then yeah, go Yakimo plus lost enough active, and they have to have like retreats. I I guess there's a lot of different ways we could have gotten there after that if if we did go Mawile, we could have pulled up the Tina and gone Riz, lost some energy, and kept lost sending stuff. But then what happens if they just go like they just go back into arc i guess if we had like yakimo and like we could pull the arc riz they don't immediately have it then we could go yakimo i guess all the consistency the thing is like boss already is a really good early game against bird control so like Depending on Radiant Jirachi to help you out seems kind of unreliable. I mean, if you could... It also, getting it active seems kind of hard. When there's, like... You have to attach retreat into it. Yeah. <laughs> that seems sort of impractical. Our team is doing, doing solid tonight. I, I mean, like best case scenario, I would have I would into Mimikyu and Energy, and then we would have been chilling. Cause then if we like Iono into Mimikyu Energy, then they go retreat Shred, and then I just do like the Riz Lost Headbutt play, and I think the game is probably over after that. But yeah. Honestly, though, okay. Should I have used Artisan? So, like, I had the Cape in hands. Should I have saved the Artisan to give myself max odds of drawing one or the other, like Mimikyu or, 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 or Bufalons? What's the logic behind the Silene over, over Yoch here? So, now that Peony is not a thing, and prizing is a very real issue silene's always the better card than team out here it's the more powerful recovery card so i'd rather always have access to silene in a game than maybe be be occasionally stuck with just team out here i like the the jirachi idea seems like cool on paper but just like i feel like in practice it that wouldn't come up as often as you think Because first you gotta get it active, and then you gotta hope that your opponent doesn't gust around it. Yeah. I... So, like... The issue would have been, though, if I, like, Iona there, and I wait on, on, on the Artisan... Well then, yeah, I guess like boss was was probably game anyway, right? There's a, there's a lot of different ways we could have gone there, and I don't think that. I mean, obviously the the line I chose in 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 hindsight was the worst possible one, but <laughs> it's okay. Like once you get rid of that 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 vacuum, the matchup like Bufalon's so powerful in the uh, matchup. I just gotta gotta stabilize and get to that point. It would have been real really cool to. So like another thing I I, I could have gone with. So like prior to the prior to the Iona, they had like a five card hand. I could have gone with Arvin for Ball Surge card plus Vest. Vest the Pidgeots. Well, I guess no, that that, that doesn't matter because like I had Rotom on the bench, so Boss would have been game regardless. I 
I'll maybe make you cape the previous turn. Um, uh, get them to retreats. I mean that's, but then I'm just like, how do I get out of being stuck in the boss waiting room? Because then they just wait until they find boss, and I have nothing I can do about it. I have to like build Bouffant in the background, Penny back. Okay, we we could have gone that way too, I guess. After after the uh, vacuum got committed, going Kate Mimikyu. Yeah, that definitely could have been the move. Yeah, I think I like that. Then, like, once they retreat, we go Penny, counter catcher, back up Arceus, and then to keep retreating it, then we also try to build the Bouffalons. And then go, like, Bouffalon plus Riz. Um, okay, yeah. I think that probably would have been the, the, the optimal line there. There's so much you can do with this deck. Like, it's... So many different ways you can go. Quite a few arc decks right at the top two. And a raging bolts. At five and oh. Well dang. Raging bolt broken. How would I beat Raging Bolt actually? Number two two wiggly tough. I think if anything, I would play a one two line. Cause I like I don't really need two in a game. It would just be prizing the V or prizing the EX. Cause I have heavy balls. So I essentially have two Jigglypuffs or it's a lot harder to prize both outs to Jigglypuff. Um, well, I, I, I'm of the opinion that Snorlax stall is, I mean, it's just a much less powerful deck. So even if it's even if my list isn't refined and it's not as good as it could be, my end game in this format is playing Pidgey Control. So I'd rather just I'd rather try to refine my own list or um yeah I'd rather just try to get to where I want to be with with Pidgeot than just wait for someone else to come up with it. Like there's always the option of Daisy sub Arc Bone. But like then you actually have to find the day like when did in that game did I have time to go Daisy plus phone to go find Wigglytuff? Um Like I have I'd always rather play more like if I'm really that terrified of of prizing, I'd always rather like play more energies or play more of whatever particular Pokemon that Cause like I you, you don't always have the time to spend a supporter like that just to it feels like in a in, in a lot of like especially in those wiggly tough matchups like against like like arc and lugia you don't have time to spend a turn wasting a supporter is that you if you don't arc bone i think i i would play the Daisy's help no phone before I played Daisy plus phone. Like that slot that I would use for phone would always be another just better card. Because there aren't too many cards that you just prize and it just instantly loses you the game. I mean, there's stuff that like sucks that that to, to be prized. It makes things harder, but there's not a ton of stuff that just like instant insta game loss. Like Pionu was just so convenient because it, it got you like it was sometimes like a bonus draw supporter because there were like a multitude of good cards in the in the prizes and it was only one card you had to search out. Like you you could know what you were getting with it. And then like the two random cards that Daisy gets you, you got like three pretty much con like not totally controlled cards, but most likely you're drawing three desirable cards, or you had good odds at seeing desired cards. It would be funny if, like, there was, like, you went to, like, you had a Silene prize, and you went, like, Daisy phone to, like, get the Silene out, and then you, like, put another Silene back in. 
Yeah, I, I'm like not opposed to playing just Daisy. I don't know what the cut would be, but also it's not like something that I'm just like opposed to. Try higher priorities than that, but I think it's definitely valid. Three matches to go. Relax stall, typical. Probably all these stall gamers. Actually not. Sorry, we see pal. And Ursula to control all rights. What does Daisy do? It lets you draw two cards and then look at your face down prizes. So you can doesn't shuffle your prizes. So you can note down right where everything is. So it's it's an interesting option in these decks. I'm not quite sure it's actually strong enough to make it into the deck. That's kind of like the the frustrating part and the super cool part about control is you can fit everything. But it's like fitting the rights. Like, like obviously you yeah, like the skeleton, like the Arvins, the, the Pidgey that you have to play, but like playing the other 45 cards that are 40 cards that like aren't set in stone. Like where do you go with those slots? And it's fun to mess around with some of the stuff like this, but like, is it really the best use of the, of the, yeah, like that's my kind of biggest concern. Like it's cooking controls, like super rewarding. Cause if we do find the list. It's obviously super good into most, if not all the meta. But also like it could just be a giant waste of time <laughs> like it it does like if how good is your mid control deck actually yeah i i've just been like burned so many times this format just like like rising for a seal stone <laughs> i'm just i only played one last format and like i was cool with that And I don't know if it's like I'm getting punished more for slow starts this format. But I just... I just felt like the consistency just hasn't felt as good as it used to. So, I, we're at the we're at the two forest seal stones right now. I, you could probably cut one. But it would have to be a pretty good card. Timeouts. Sorry. Still have shots to make next phase. Yeah, that's that, that's like another reason why I like like the heavier pad Silene, just because like you don't have to turn suspend just yell cheering back in stuff. Well, it's funny because like Battle VIP passes is, is is gone, and you'd think that like the aggro decks would just be gone, but like in 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 some cases yes, but in some but like there's still stuff that goes pretty fast i guess future didn't lose battle vip fast <laughs> they gotta keep theirs i think there is some there's definitely like if, if someone cracks the perfect pidgeot control list and wins a uic i would not be surprised at all i think the deck definitely is one of the highest ceilings in, in format just for like overall like power ceiling i'd really like to face a, a snorlax that would make me quite happy and also just like techy like if control if someone does crack the optimal control list and it's like super good right how would you how would you tech for i guess it depends on what's in it but it's just like the the, the, like the overall strategy of, of, of control is like not a. It's not like against Snorlax Stall. You can play Gengar, and that's like really nice and easy. Just fix the matchup. Okay, we're up against Lost Pile, playing a Temple, playing a Prime Catcher, playing Minior Glasses. What One Lightning Iron Hand, so there's no threat of Arm Press. Okay, this is going to be weird. Bro does have the mini ore, which would be pretty bad for Snorlax stall, but doesn't really do anything here. 
only one vac. Okay. This will be interesting. I was thinking glass box could, could be kind of good since Minior is good against stall and good against um and good against future hands if 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 you play the uh play the uh glasses. But Tropius rotating. Like I was like looking to see like any like comparable replacement to a Tropius. Um for, like a grass attacker that I won his Zard with with uh glasses, but there really wasn't. It's, like there was some stuff that I got, like three energy one hit, but like that's a lot less good. And Raihan was super good in that deck. So Wigglytuff seems like it would be pretty good here. Early Luxray, Bufalant, Airy Sisters, like all that stuff. Should be a, a pretty interesting matchup because they only have like one gust and it would be hard for them to hold that in, for the right spots. Uh, even even holding the 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 uh, temple might not be super easy. And, like only four basic darks, so I'm going first most likely, which kind of sucks. That's all right. Like we've we've had pretty good hand. Like we've we've gone first. Oh, they they actually did choose first. Sorry, right, that's that's cool with me. Like with their lack of gust, I don't feel like super. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh no. And the mulligans, open just three tool cards. Yikes. <laughs> this is not how it's supposed to go. I mean, the opening Luxray DTE is pretty nice, but like the rest of the hand is just garbage. It's gonna be Luxray, Charm, and Prey. I think this is like the one vacuum in the deck, and like Bravery Charm doesn't make a difference on the Cram. Like, Charm versus Cape doesn't make a difference on like Frenzy Gouge or the Cram math. I think we always just like stick Bravery Charm and maybe get them to vacuum that. Can I get an Ultra Ball off the top, please? Right there. It's not exactly starting slowly. Big sad. They do pinch the Grand Ninja. I guess they can more like against like picky control last format you don't want to bench the greninja but now you kind of you kind of do three switches all right nope oh, we'll see we'll see you keep getting games through your hands two tusk artists on three ultra ball counter catcher just great tusk is a clunky deck lead when i first played that deck on stream um when the set dropped i was having all kinds of hands like that that just that's what that deck does other oh, hands just not great okay i'm taking the vacuum away for sure well okay they pitch you out forest So I could bump the town store away, but I kind of want this luxury to live. I feel like mm. luxury lives, trust. Yeah, I don't know. Like yeah, they have the the Pidgeot Town Store. I I get rid of the Town Store, but they still have Flower Select and Conceal cards. I guess I take Vac away, and they and they gouge me. I'm still losing the game. 
So I guess Town Sword probably had to be it and just hope that, that they whiffed. Luxury could very well die this turn. I guess the one thing about taking Vacuum Way is that it's essentially taking a plus two out of the Lost Zone. Um, oh, I was going to say they lost on Moon, but they played two, so um, a little not as not as good as initially thought. But yeah, if, if the forest seal stone was prized, that'd be massive. Then super rewarded for not getting rid of the town store. <laughs> did we just get? I think we did. Ah oh, man, they lost on chorus. It was a chorus or a chorus. All right. Well, I thought we were all uh, rewarded for potentially misplaying. That's right. They would. They, they would need a ton to swing with. A gouge this turn. We were, we were just looking at that earlier blaze again, but like also for some early online tournaments, last formats, Charizard was like the fifth most played deck. And it ended up by far most popular, so meta is still still developing. And keep to that town store, so at the very least thin out <laughs> Bravery Charmer for a seal stone. Okay, just a pass. Dude, I, <laughs> I don't need all my tools in my hands. Come on. I guess we can prize check for the first time. Looks like I mean the Bufalon's not in here and the Chi Yu or the Chi Yu is there. Oh it built the mark. I'm just blind. Okay. Um all the important supporters. Candy. Four ultra balls, three nest balls. We did prize fire energy and a double turbo. Our top deck odds of getting out of this are actually pretty good. Alright, thanks, Snipe. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I mean, it's, de it's definitely Prime Catcher. Aerie would be insane right now. Aerie would go beyond crazy. <laughs> definitely the Prime Catcher. That's... We could literally dump all their Super Rods or all their Gates. Also another switch. Oh, I got him to a chorus. I at least lost mine for them. That's really, really scary. Can I just what does bro gotta do to top deck something good? It's getting quite frustrating. We have a lot of outs. I'm afraid this means Roaring Moon. I'm very afraid this. They could be playing around Eerie. But yeah, that's 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 a roaring dude. Oh no. They have the, the double gates. Do or die top deck for us. Ultra Ball, Nest Ball, Iono, Arvin. Come on, it's something. Okay. Not over yet. So. This and this. We go Nest Ball for Rotom, Forest Seal Stone for okay, Nest Ball for Rotom. All right. I really have I played Control at zero. <laughs> this never happens. 
The thing is, okay, Artisan. We go here, Pidgey. I have to cape my Pidgey so it doesn't get lost, mind. Um, do I ever? Okay, we always have to cape Pidgey. Do we ever counter catch your Reading Green Ninja? And I don't think so. All right, that's that's an attack and blustery wins KO. This moon's not bad actually. If we could combine that with, oh well, yeah, they don't need gust. Hmm. <laughs> Mind that with Iono or an Airy. Next turn might just be like sit behind something and play Air. Well, I guess I can't play Airy because I'm gonna have to Ultra Ball for Lumi to get my Pidgeot online. Public Candy would open up so much, so many options. I never played Control. Like, I mean, I haven't traveled a ton of year like since i aged up i always was afraid to play control in lower age divisions um because eyes <laughs> and kids playing slow against me and tying which might have been with how fast i play it was probably too it was by being too paranoid uh another ultra we ultra out Those two. I wish we could just like <laughs> do something different this turn. Uh, but this is okay. Because this gets me candy. Like, I could go Blustery Wind, but I do just run the risk of losing the game. So, I think I want to wait a turn to do that. I think we're going to go search out Mimikyu. Yeah. The Miss Energy's prize, which kind of sucks. Let's go search out the Mimikyu. Attach that there. I probably should have kept the fighting energy then to be a little bit of That's alright. Wait, you didn't play control your last regional plays again. You played stall. If you're bro, come on. <laughs> If we do hit him with the Iona to two, knock out this moon, they would need a ton to come back from that right away. I wish we had the mist energy. Like, if we had the mist, then it would just be... Probably be too much. The thing is, like, what's a higher upside play? The Iona to two? With them having only one Colrus left. We're just ripping an airy with their massive hand and just saying you don't have game. All right, they could go for a penny here. Or not go for a penny. Go for... Wow. Go and just like put everything on the Luminion and I would need penny. That would be kind of awkward. Wait, can they check me? They're going five, four. Dang, okay. Now nah, they're not really the same thing. They're pretty different. Another gates. Another rod. Only one rod remaining then? Because then they lost on one? Yeah. I don't like having both these multi prizers. And something other than... 
<laughs> this is awkward. This is very awkward. Oh, they have free retreats. That's actually pretty cool because I forgot about that. The little extra. Oh, they're going to KO mimic you? Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Because now I go charm the Luminion. Counter catcher up the moon. Knock it out. Iona to two. And bro's got to bounce back from that. Okay. Charm. Counter catcher. Do I need to pal pad back in? Don't want to put the vest anywhere. Do we, do we want a nest ball for anybody? Um, no. I want an ultra ball and thin. Uh, sure. I don't really want to draw Pidgeots. Alright. Put him down to just two cards in hand. Sisters is pretty, pretty epic. Take this KO. And there's only one rod remaining. And one gate remaining. So it'd be super tough to get this moon back up. Hope we can both miss out of the prizes. Did not. Um, I see what, what they do here. Because they could... Like, I could just KO Sableye. And they would need Rod to win the game again. But they could go quite a few different directions here. We could just go Sisters and just go looking for Rods and stuff. Rod or Gates. They still have quite a few Switches remaining. It makes not that many. Only three. Only one Chorus for live supporters. Uh, how many water energies do they uh do they play? Three? None in the zone. Okay, okay. Not gonna lie, Lost City would be pretty pretty good right now. <laughs> Lost City might just uh end the game here, but I'd still they'd find the their, their their one rod. Could they set it up so both could be in range? They would need to put, let's see, this is 170, I think about five here. Actually, they could technically. I think if they do that, I probably have to go sisters and just try to hit something really good. There's a cram. I can't actually knock out the cram, which is kind of annoying. Have I ever tried to establish Wigglytuff now? We, we could. If they just don't attack. That'd be crazy good for us. We go counter catcher, we go sisters. Do okay, if they, they have a cart. They're just debating on what they uh any changes? Yeah, I've I've made a couple of changes. We're not playing gears anymore, we're playing more ultra balls and we're playing the fish, so. How much time do we have left in the round? I'm trying to look, but Limitless is being slow for some reason. Now, what did they do with this lost mine? Alright, put some on the Rotom. Just dump it all on the row, Tom. I'm pretty sure I just I just penny the row, Tom. Now, so Greninja is isn't game. I mean, Sisters has pretty high upside, but like, I'm not just gonna let them win with that. That's way too easy for them. One thing is I do activate Roxanne. Give him an additional draw supporter. I actually should have pitched the uh, forest, I think. Like part of me wants to establish try to establish the Jigglypuff, but I don't like what it really accomplishes. 
Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure. We're also just like closing out this game with just Pidgeot seems sort of unlikely. Should Ultra Ball the way the Seal Stone instead of the Sharon. Um, so still nine minutes left. Miss Synergy is awesome. Okay. I, mean, I sort of have to KO that Sableye, which sort of sucks. Like, I'd really rather not and not give them Roxanne. Um, Temple goes. There's the rocks, though. Would need a pretty impressive hand to win the game, um, but it's not out of the realm of possibility. They go for the Buddy Poffin. Let's see. Yeah, they play four and a half, so they could get there. It would have to be a pretty rocked hand. Then where do I go from here? Because <laughs> I want to draw more cards, but I can't really do that. I guess it depends on what they do, right? Heavy ball. Did they already use comf? Yeah, did they did, right? Yes. I mean, there's still, there's a ton of upside to Aryan Sister. It's like getting rid of Gate or Super, I would just be game winning. What does Puff do? Um, has a lot of HP. <laughs> it hits for a solid amount of damage. I think we go sisters this turn and just try to mill some of those good cards. Nest ball off the top doesn't really get us anywhere. But this could be huge. Could have gone airy. Not exactly the ones I was looking for, but it's stuff. Well, now they're out of switches though. Hold up. <laughs> this is this is pretty spicy. So now they they can't get into the moon play, right? Uh, two in the zone. Oh, but they have that. Oh no, should we bun airy? I mean, it was five cards versus four cards, so I figured... I also could have just gone Miss Energy. There's just a straight-up retreat into the Cramorant. And it spits. Oh my goodness, this is, this is so tough. Because we, we could just go Airy. And try to win the game with that. But they surely just slam down Rod if they have it, right? This is... This is so tough. Cause I, I could go quick search for... Wait, did I discard Rotom? I did, I'm so silly. Let's let's try this. Okay. Blustery. The next turn we sisters and we guaranteed hit rod. KO cram. There's Pidgeots. They're loading up for the flight surf. Does that ever work for them? I mean, it, it could actually, but they wouldn't have Gust available. Okay. 
we just go for the sisters and we we just rod check them if, if, if there's no rod there is no rod could be in the hands But they have no gust. That that's the thing. Counter catcher got milled. Um, I guess if they pull if they top deck rod, we'd be in, we'd in a pretty awkward spot. Gross. Don't be sus, Alex. Come on. Got a retreat right now. They, they have no gates left. Hatch again. Yeah, now I just I just quick search for double turbo. Penny hits pitching the uh, Charon was was kind of silly that would totally uh, yes hey okay. and there's there's a uh, no guest the the prime catcher and the counter catcher are gone boss for game it doesn't exist Let's go. <laughs> that was quite a game. Let's go. <laughs> Pidgeot took, what was that, five prizes? Four prizes? Pidgeot went pretty hard. Going much better tonight. I'm happy. The Luminion's definitely better than Poke Gear. Uh, real quick chat. Be right back. He's back. Y'all gotta pay extra for the door streaming. Not getting one that easy. All right. So technically, to get three rounds left, technically need one more win to make phase two. But IDing is cringe. So let's just win, win them all. I feel pretty comfortable into those like lost piles if I set up. So what is what is everyone playing at like five and one? How many? A lot of Snorlax stall. I'm pretty happy to uh, see that. I've definitely used lead like more than a couple times to find a supporter. The ultimate tanks popping off. With the Metagross? This isn't good, is it? Like. So if you top deck it, it's a plus three. Yo, someone, why is this good? Why are they playing this? I guess like it's like okay against Lost Box, I guess. Like you can involve a, a Matang get out of range, like KO Sableye. 
but you're still gonna have liabilities on the field uh, regardless right like I, I've seen this in multiple uh, Dialga Matang lists and it's like I don't get it like surely baby Zama Zent is better if you want a single prize option <laughs> I'm not I'm not sure about this One serious question, do you think I'm always stop it because I'm just good or it's another fact? Well, I mean, that's kind of a weird question to answer. <laughs> I'd like to believe that my, that my uh, consistency in these online tournaments is my skill as a player. Um... But also just um and I, I, yeah, I don't really know how to answer that well. Like I mean like getting top eight a bunch of times in a row isn't like an accident. Um I would say that people online don't play amazing into control but i'd say i mean irl that's probably also true am i going to nsc yes <laughs> yeah i don't i don't have a great answer for that like i would like to believe it's because i'm i'm good at the game <laughs> i know what i'm doing most of the time uh but some of it is playing kind of an off meta deck that's good and very can definitely punish people who make misplays. But I guess also to be able to punish misplays, you got to know what you're doing. So yeah, well, four unique difference six O's. You know, the only I mean, like Arctita or um, Cpow, Aging Bolt and Ancient Boss. I know Radzard. Um, right now it's like more like kind of space and I have Bouflant in there that does a similar job. Um, better in some matchups, worse in some matchups, but I could see the Radzar getting put in there. It just, it just eats up. I mean, you cut Bouflant and Riz for Radzard fire, but I'm not sure that that's like actually better. It could be though. Is Featherball ever the correct choice for the deck? I don't think so because it's just a dead card turn one. Like my why I'm playing a million ultra balls is because I just want to set up. I want to find my basics turn one. I want to fish turn two to get to get myself Arvin. So I don't think so. The, the, the discards of ultra balls sometimes feel awkward. Like that's definitely. It, 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 it definitely happens, but um, Heather Ball is just totally dead turn one. What's Claw for? It's really good against Lugia and Arc decks. And, 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 and Zard, you just push it up. If they hit it, they, they have to discard an energy. A water and a psychic energy? What would, what would we, we be uh, fitting those for? Oh, for Aqua turn and Ghost Die? Nah, it's just, I guess you can't play Luminous at that point. I've been playing a much thinner Ultra Ball, like two Rotoms and Gears, but I've found the heavy Ultra Ball Luminion to be more consistent. Like both going first and going second. Like going first, you like Ultra Ball is a much better card than Poke Gear is. And going second, it's just instantly Arvin. I think I would play a Battle VIP pass if that still existed. Maybe you could play a Buddy Poffin. I don't know. Is Artisan better than Poffin? Often better than Artisan. All right, must be some kind of judge call. If it's that game or which one it was, I didn't. I was sorry versus lug tied. Wait, wait, wait. I want to see if it's if it if it's funny. Yo, that's so dope. So somebody screenshot it. 
All out blitzel is better than one salty steak confirmed. Yeah, I I do think you probably need one temple. Or yeah, one what well, at least one answer to a temple in this Oh yeah. I disagree too. Yeah, it must be uh must be somebody's unhappy. And the Arc Armory is finally lost. Oh, this is the lost Raging Bolts. Moon Kitty's kind of popping off. <laughs> I'm an all-out Blitzel L take. Okay, my chair is all out of whack now. My chair has been fixed. So the Snorlax stalls are doing really quite well. I'd very much like to see one of these. I think Gengar EX just play one of the other Gengars. Come on. Come on. It's so easy to fit it. You have no excuse. That's so sad. Surely that's like optimal for a Gengar EX. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. That's, that's so tragic. Are there any other Gengar EXs? Are they? Are, there was two and they did very badly. Okay, yeah, they did play the uh, the other Gengar. Well, it puts us a lot of L takes. Dang, really? Okay, I'm going to check their uh, Discord then. I assume it's a judge call. Hopefully, like, something didn't, didn't happen. <laughs> I know for the one earlier this 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 morning, a PC Joe servers crashed during their tournament and they had to uh I think give them a give them a time extension or something. Look, chatter resistance is so cracked. That's so broken. Dang, there's some people with some pretty good resistance though, pushing 70%. Uh, there's a lot of good matches up here though. There's like a lot of Snorlax. Azard, Sablezard. Um, Dark Armor. I feel like Dark Armor is probably worse than Arctina. We can't really trap anything because they keep moving the energies around and they don't. They are better into Mimikyu. Uh, yeah, I don't know how we deal with this, honestly. Wiggly KO the Armor is maybe is an option. Like, their basin just sticks. They have Tivo as well. Alright, well, hopefully we don't have to uh, deal with that. But that would be pretty bad, I think. Eight minute timeout? Sheesh. Very sad. Diablo saying a 501, yeah. How does my deck do against Tusk? Um, I think it's fine because they have to like self mill to keep milling. <laughs> and we can also mill them with Chi Yu. We can Luxray take cards out of their hand. Probably better to use Chi Yu and try to recover our pads and stuff. I don't know if it would be that great though. Like without Yo Cheer, it's the match is probably a lot worse. Um, yeah, we should probably just jealously singe over and over again and hopefully mill them out faster. It's because if, if they want to keep aggressively milling, they got to keep playing the explorers and sodas and stuff. So hopefully they wouldn't. Um, we, we can't like win by retreat lock or because uh, they have Pidgeot. Dang. Why did I replace the Poke Gears for Ultra Balls? Because the gears just were not consistent enough. And the Ultra Balls are more consistent. This Bathur is 4 and 2. I did not catch that really. Oh, but they're the whole Espathra unit is very bad, but there's one Espathra gamer who's been putting in the work. Technically 4-1. If you think about it. I mean, missed round is undefeated in tournaments so 
Can't really fault them for losing to a missed round. What I can fault, though, is the 10-minute timeout. <laughs> What's going on here? How, uh, do we think that the uh, tournament organizer fell, fell, fell asleep? Let's see, let's see. Um, I don't see anything in the, uh, in the Discord. Huh. Oh. Okay. They played two great tusks, yeah. <laughs> Dang, no tusks in contention. I thought Tusk would be better than it was. I mean, it's a semi-competitive deck, I guess. Like, it's playable, but yeah. It's definitely was below my expectations. <laughs> yeah, Spathu is doing awful today. Yeah, I, I just think that the Ancient Supporter is kind of sucked. Like... I mean, Sod is not bad, but it doesn't see a lot of cards. And Explorer is just not very good. And all the ancient stuff ha like Future, at least like the Future doesn't necessarily have to be like paired with the other Future stuff, I guess. Like, I mean, Iron Hands is just fine on its own. I guess Roy Moon's fine on its own as well. <laughs> it just feels like a lot of the ancient stuff like has to have ancient other ancient other ancient stuff to work, and like Iron Leaves. Iron Hands, those are just like strong cards in general. And Turo and Cypher Maniac are definitely better cards than... Sod is okay, but yeah, Explorer's not very good. Hey, that's pretty cool. <laughs> just Sada decks feel so clunky though, like relying on Sada as your primary supporter is not great because you got energy in the discard and you're not seeing too many cards like the best professor sada decks have only played like two sadas like the the ross moon deck from last formats like we we tried heavy sada moon it didn't work We think the timeout will reach 15 minutes, chat. <laughs> Place your bets. It might. It's almost there. Uh, 6.35 or 16.35? All right. I don't think it, Explorers is not slightly worse chorus. C5 keep 3 is better than C6 keep 2. Totally disregarding the whole Lost Zone thing. Um, that chorus synergizes with, with Lost Box. Like, I think I'd always rather play Chorus's Experiment than I would Explorers Guidance. They're like, Explorer feels so destructive on your own resources. Okay, I was just saying explore in a vacuum, and, he, and, and and even then, like... Alright, let's, let's see. Arctina again, come on, man. Double airy. Turo, two jets. Three psychic, but no rod this time. The double airy is very, very scary. Yeah, so like, explore outside of an ancient deck is trash. Like, but like, yeah, for, for a lot of the ancient stuff to work, you have to play those bad supporter cards to make them work, right? Like, you have to like to boost Roaring Moon's damage. You have to play Explorer. Like, if Research were an ancient card, you'd always rather play that, right? But you can't. Like, Great Tusk, you have to play 
to explore for 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 turn or sort of return to get it to to work so you sort of necessarily have to play a relatively like you if you could play iono or research as a support it would be a better deck So we scuffed that last Arctina game that was definitely very winnable. Uh, this one, I didn't see if this one had a, had a loss that you want to check that real quick. Alright, there we go. There is a lost city, so that makes it worse. Yeah. Of course there's a vacuum. Yeah, winning with with Buffalon is gonna be kind of hard. We have to set up cleaner this time. We trash Lynch back. Trash Lynch could go pretty hard this format. What like okay, it's, it's like like, like Lugia and Arc they, like they, like they don't play he super heavy item counts because like when Trash Lynch was like super good they're like so many like, aggro trainers and formats. This is kind of gross. <laughs> Triple bow pad in the opening hands. How was control so far? I mean, we're five and one. And our one loss could have definitely been uh, preventable. All right, the vests. I kind of want to keep that, but we'll see. This hand's kind of awkward. I mean, are... <laughs> I don't know. So it... It feels like they're like because they're like BS seeker and stuff back then. So you had like a higher item concentration. I feel like back then, maybe I'm wrong. Um. Okay. So we could just go like Ultra Ball. That's kind of sucks. Like I, I'm fully expecting to to, to get Iono next turn or judged. Why is the Ayakma? That sucks. Dang. I I mean I could have gotten Luminion, but I still want instant charge anyway. Uh, so and that's really good no excadrill jesse james all that that was way too good jesse james in general was just a ridiculously overpowered card dude oh no what they might go did they, did they go no they, they definitely go double pad oh that hurts oh they did candy okay I don't think that they have Arc V Star. Yeah, just a Trinity Charge. Dang. <laughs> That's pretty tough. Kind of like sisters this turn though. It's, it's not bad. Uh, let's go get. Imagine if we prized you the candy. We, we would have been cooked. I seem that they have bib in hand. Hmm. I don't think just like, getting Wigglytuff down actually, just we have all the combo. No, we prize Wigglytuff again. <laughs> Bro, I love this. Both times we faced Artina, it's happened. Uh well. And Buffon's prize as well. That's kind of an L. Ugh. 
Yeah, those are some pretty gross prizes. The thing is, like, Nest Ball isn't even a good top deck. Yeah, now they go like Lost City KO Mimikyu. Yeah, I couldn't even go. I have ever got on anyway. I have to save it to bounce the city. They have Bib Squove. But they have so much. Um, oh my goodness, they're just pushing it. They're just going for it all here. I mean, they got pretty good odds. Like, if they whiffed it, that, that, that'd be kind of sad, but. They do like put a lot of energies out of play here. Okay. I don't think but like we're down both candies. They uh Alright. Dang. This is not a great spot. And there's an another Pidgey, right? Like, that's pretty good. I think we do counter catch with the Bavarial. And to make it harder for them to attack again. Dude, we needed that to get back candy. Oh, dang it. Dude, if, if they just... Um... Area gun. And they know we have two pats. Yeah, I don't think our team is a very good matchup, but also we're not drawing particularly well. And they are drawing well, I mean, they're not drawing super good because they whiffed arc, but I guess they've gotten everything aside from the arc. How about a boss too? Boss uh Buffon. Nah, not quite. How many boss do they play? Because they are like Oh, they knew we had double patent hands. That's a toss. Come on. Oh, that would have gone crazy. So they play the one Turo, two Jets, one Switch. All right, let's go for the Pidgey. Dude, the, the area was so much better there. It's not even close. Okay. Um. Okay. This thing is good. This is good. <gasps> uh, um, 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 um. We like Palpad backside lean. That feels kind of bad. Like I, I'm just like so far behind. We'll see though. Maybe we can work our way out of this. They have spent quite a lot. They've like extended their energies pretty far. The energy get around Mimikyu. Yeah, they do. But it's not super clean. They boss kill booth. Heck yeah, they do. I could have caped the booth as well. I just dang it. That's all their boss, right? Yeah, it is. That's the grass down there. So 14 energies. One, two, five, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11. They still have 3 left. Super broad off the top. He's not bad. It's like probably impossible to reset a Pidgey, but like, I feel like we, we could claw back into this game if we did, but it's probably impossible. But, you know what? We'll go for it anyway. Put down the boof. I don't think I have a counter catch left, do I? Yeah. 
That's not so good. Yeah, Arvin really doesn't do anything right now. Yeah, they're out of boss, so this caped Mimikyu is awkward for them. I could have maybe pal padded back in Silene. Hoping that the instant charge would be a little kinder to us. City plus VAC would go crazy. Need him to whiff that one of vacuum. It's a stash. The issue is I like, don't even have like an out to getting this 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 out of here. Yo, one kind of cool thing though. Oh, there's the max belt. I was gonna say they they they, they can't kill Cloppy X, but they kind of can. Um, are, they, are they just gonna shred harder treats? Dude, <laughs> come on. Yeah. I swear, every time I face Arctina, they just draw everything, and whenever I play Arctina, it's quite the opposite. We just have to top deck double turbo, right? That's really all we have. And even then, it's still kind of doomed. I mean, yeah, they surely have energy for game, right? Three, six, nine. I mean, yeah, it'd be quite surprising if they didn't. That's how I kind of feel when I play Arctina. But. I mean, it doesn't just control that this could happen to, though. It's really. Really, any deck could just hit all their bosses straight away. I mean, I guess control is more fragile than probably most other decks in format. Yeah. That sucks, though. Like, the turn one Aerie... I guess, like, I got out of the rod already, though, so, like, really, the vacuum didn't... Or the lost seed didn't matter that much, though. All right. It was going so well. But these Arctinas keep uh keep keep coming back. I just like gotta stabilize and it's fine, but just like the the boss KO turn two. Like the like yeah, the the the, the airy turn one, the boss KO turn two. Like, I think if I get that second Pidgeot established, relax off the matchup. I mean, it could. Like, those turns where we just went counter catcher, drag up bib, could have maybe lasted longer, I guess. Um, but then again, yeah, uh, the, they still just find. They just need a boss retreat to get around it. Like, they're, they're, they're looking for boss anyway, so... I, I mean, it could. Rip. I felt like, even after their, like, super hot draw that we could have maybe... Worked our way back to, like, spread the energies out. Well, if, if I could go, like, Kate's Pidgeot EX... That probably was the move. I don't know if I could have got that though. Man, I got I got Buffalo on. I should probably should have grabbed Cape instead. That was probably a misplay. ASR Regilecki could be interesting because it doesn't die to shred. Um, so theoretically you could put yourself in an infinite penny loop with the cape. I could see it. Something that I've thought about too, like, 
it's like sort of the same thing as cloth in the lugia matchup like once you've KO'd all their archaeops i just think you just keep stacking up energies so Well, both Arctina games, they really haven't missed a beat at all, so. <laughs> it's, it's, it's fine. Did that first Arctina even play Airy? Oh yeah, they didn't even play Airy. How's the rest of the tournament going? It's literally been fine, aside from the Arctinas. Like, just these Arctinas... Not mid. I mean, I, I and I, if I would have gone cape there instead of the booth, I probably would have. I would have changed some things. I mean, they wouldn't have gone for that aggressive line. Oh, why does Artina seem so much better? Well, it, it I guess previously had a pretty bad Zard matchup, and now that's a lot better. And Max Bell helps against Sea Pow. In future, like theoretically, it's got okay matchups into the top three decks. Yeah, when I was playing Artina yesterday, it was a lot of hands which just full of energies and stuff. Yeah, when I set up quick, I, I was able to play on their not quite, not quite as fast setup. And yeah, like I think if, if I get a bird going, and I can get like Buffalons or, or Cloth going quickly, it's like. It's, it's, it's a lot harder for them. It's alright. Gotta win the next two then. Let's see what won the uh, the first late night. That one's probably well over by now. It was won by Charizard. Charizard Pidgeots. With Taropad. Let's go. Y'all remember, you remember, uh, already playing Zoro Pad? Now it's, a uh, Zard. What about there is? We just really never had a chance to just, like... I guess we, we, we could have if we would have grabbed Cape that one turn, which I should have done, so... It's alright. We can't complain about bad luck when we have misplayed. I like saving the Cape for the Abufalons. But I guess still putting a charm on it puts them in a bad spot. Or should I didn't cape for the Mimikyu? It's tough. But yeah, the matchup doesn't seem very good. Like, if you're playing, like, even, like, regular, like, we're playing the more classic bird control. That is only seven game sample size. I don't know how you would. I guess the Razar would help, but you still have to like actually be able to get to the Razar. Airy is a really good card. Getting rid of that second or that getting rid of the, that that candy was very good. <laughs> they could have got rid of double pad also. Yeah, that, that second area that they pitched, they could have just get out of all my pads, and that would have been the game right there. Just all around tragic. I'd like to like at least see one Zard today or an Locklax. Uh, I mean, these matchups are fine for the most part, but like they could definitely be better. Unfair stem doesn't affect control. Not for the most part, yeah. Well, control could play it. I don't know if it's better than cape though. We'll see. Control is sometimes take it. Well, like, yeah, er early game it wouldn't be a factor. It's all just lining up for the one salty stick. I'll allow blood solo when you're done. Um, all right, yeah, a lot of, a lot of five and twos. And I think there's probably still a chance like a six and three makes phase two a super good resistance. I don't, we'll just win the next two. That's the uh, plan. Let's hit, like, we're surrounded by good matchups. There's so many Zards, so many blocks. 
and we uh, keep dodging them, unfortunately. Is Luxury Reversal good in normal Snorlax control? I don't really like it. It's really easy for the Lugia player to play around. Like, a smart Lugia player won't. Won't lose to that. I got the Kabali. So it helps with, with, with Zard, I guess? I mean, they're, they're doing quite well, but it seems like so little ball search for baby ancients. And only like two pokey gears. I feel like that this seems seems thin. Lux is more for Gengar and other counter decks. Um, I think it's more of an attempt to beat Lugia. Um, but it can be used to knock out a Gengar. Like that is that that is true. Um. But like <laughs> playing a card just to knock out Gengar seems kind of weak. And a baby ancient versus Raging Bolt. But like both Artini games, I feel like could have gone differently had I played them a little better. Like if I would have benched them all while and done the whole Bouffalant thing there, we probably win versus that Arctina. And if we go Cape, the whole game is different, and we have a lot better over time. So definitely could it could have got there. Five matches left. Hold on, <laughs> come on. We need, we need all the block gamers at a five and two. I'm sure most of them are probably in like one or two energies. Lost the mirror match, rip. I mean, yeah, we just boof on twice and win. Baby Luxury seems really good to me. Select some support Pokemon. Um, I just think like. Like Radzard already, already kind of does that. Oh, is that the big timeout? Was that was that for LA regionals? Maybe, maybe that was why there's a big 10, 10 minute timeout. In this deck, I don't see the value of Luxray, and in general though, I'm also kind of skeptical of the value of Luxray because like Radiant Charizard sort of does the same thing where it removes threats. Um. So yeah. Like, like, Baby Luxury that, that doesn't suck. Actually, it's like the best use of hard slots either. Actually, only one match left. Yeah. I think, like, mainly people are, like, playing, like, if you look at... Like, like you look at this like you already have the the rads are to like clear away threats so the luxury is like here the recent relax seems so heavy i mean you can play like this person's playing both and i, I mean like rads are only good for like the end, end of the game and there's no like double turbos in here so you can't really swing with it early I guess technically with the baby lecture, you would definitely be better in, in, in into Chen Pao. It would help against Chen Pao, but I don't like. I mean, yeah, KO Chen Pao, KO Mew X. Or KO Max Caliber. How does that like really do though? Because you can like KO like one Chinchino in that matchup. And then, like, how you have to play so many of them if you want to KO all their Chinchinos. The rounds up. Alright, nice. I guess Ogre Pond player. Oh, well, we were a minute late. Broken. Finally, Azard. Just a switch, just a TM Devo. 
Thank you. <laughs> this is a gift. Very happy to see this. I mean, it's the first free dub of today. I mean, Chen Pao and Baby Ancient. I guess Baby Ancient is pretty free. Um, but yeah, for being the most popular deck, we have not seen too many of these. Right, so the uh, 7 2 Dream is very much possible. It <laughs> just need to uh, not not brick here these last few hands have been kind of sketch really we only lose is our just like absolute full brick what kind of sucks is i normally would, like said i normally would like to set up two czars or two pidgeots so like they can't as easily knock one out like and if i share and one up i still have quick search i can't do that with the devo in the list so this will be interesting So yeah, Mimikyu, Cloth, all them, super, super clutch. Oh, you know what? Massive cringe. <laughs> <laughs> don't mind that at all i'm you, you you didn't want to watch this game did you all right that's fine so they're playing max but all right yeah okay They're, they're up in the max belt, so. Don't want to, like, just hand them two prizes. That's a pretty good top deck. So they make me go first? I'm very thankful. That's and a forest seal stone. Dude, this keeps getting better. But the Hooflons, the Mimikyu, all the Arvins, all the Silenes, Alpad. All right, things are looking good. So what am I more afraid of? Um, Them playing their one of Lost Vacuum or Iono. I think I'm more afraid of Iono just denying the, the, the whole entire play next turn. We do have Arvin to back it up if they do decide to go for the Lost Vacuum. Ladder feels really weird right now, and it, it might just be because all the, the stall on ladder scaring away the Acharizards. I feel like if you made like a pie chart of like ladder deck representation right now, it'd be super weighted towards like a majority of it would be stall or future. I swear that that's like all I all I face anymore. D Double Mander. Fire energy. They're still playing the uh, city fire breathing manders. All right, not too speedy of a start for them, so we like that. So let's do this. I guess we can heavy ball. Why not? Yeah, there's some good cards in there. Forests and heavy or forest and counter catcher are the are the the main ones. Um, I mean, they don't, they, they would have played an Iono last turn had they had it. Maybe we can put down Lux, put down Charm, and then just Instance. Yeah, everything's looking re really good here. I 
we have the have the luxury to force them to play the game and they might have had, had a good uh, i guess they don't want to just bench luminion and hand me the game and they're not playing turo so that would just be handing me the game yeah well they have to have something right Fire energy has to be something. Come on, dude. <laughs> Can't just be rare Zar. Well, I guess it wouldn't normally be a brick because they'd go Luminion. I guess they sort of have to go second Mander and respect the blustery wind donk. Okay. They're uh, they taking their time here. What matches do we play Wigglytuff? Lost Box, Lugia, Chen Pao, Future. Alright, let's penny up the Mawl. Let's start sniping. Let's I'll see what, what they have in there. What's <laughs> what's going on? That has to be max belts. Well, no, we, we go to Arvin because we can. Well, no, they just attach the max belt next turn. Like, what does Arvin get them, really? Like, now Cloth is a massive wall. Yeah, why didn't they attach it? I have no way of discarding it or getting rid of out of play without taking a knockout. Sands Arvin, Charmeleon, and other card. Alright, they play the Arvin. Yeah. I think next, we'll see what they do here. Because they sort of have to insta playables. They can't really like grab candy and hold it unless they top the Xard. They sort of have to get the, the choice belt here or just fail the tool part of the Arvin. I mean, they, they could go Devo, but that doesn't seem like very good use of the Devo. Go for a Nest Ball as well. Maybe that goes for uh, Pidgey. I think if they're just going to sit here and just like. I want to start using GU. Uh, but not immediately. Let's let's take the uh, nest ball out of hands. Oh my goodness, okay. okay Ultra Ball's a pretty solid top deck, so we'll take it, we'll take it. I mean, what are they going to do with the Forest Seal Stone? Bench Luminion and hand me the game. Yeah, that's fine. All four Ultra Balls are down. So I think next turn we, we could definitely go for the Chi Yu. Charm Chi and just start, start milling. Yeah, I think I like that. Okay. Yeah, then we can Ultra Ball out. Ultra Ball out. Jigglypuff. Ultra Ball. But also try to start using Buffalon, but I don't want to take knockouts. Like this take takes resources away. And um Yeah, forces them to kind of play the game. Cause like they're like I mean that the, the they're like kind of trying to slow roll me, but also what other choice do they really have with the way their current hands shaped up? All right, start milling. Well, six, yeah, six two one's guaranteed. Which Pokemon deck am I gonna use for my match today? I'm playing a control today. 
Yeah, 61's guaranteed, but assuming we win this one, which we're likely going to, I'm going to play it out, because IDing is cringe. IDing not for top 8 is cringe. Steady fire breathing, broken. Um, I guess we probably like pal pad back double penny or penny sisters. Probably double penny. Um, we can go with maybe get a Celine for the future. We can play it airy. We can discard some good cards. This is why Aerie is nice. Because, like, Lockstray is good. But then we can also have that option to um, put, put pressure on the hand and the deck at the same time. Pretty good. Alright, they finally decide to pick up the pace a little bit. We could just go Blustery Wind and just say you don't have it. Which would be kind of funny. So the other hand's Forest Sealstone card. Is that good though? Like, it would be funny. But like, what punish do they have to it? It's the top deck Iono and draw something incredible off of it. So, I don't think it's like really that bad. I mean, we other hands four is Sealstone cards, so... They have, like, five Fire Energies as well. Uh, Countercatcher, I mean, that could be good eventually. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they, they, they play six Fires, so they got the top deck Iono. Yeah, get Candy Zard Rod off of that, so... There we go. Yeah, like, over all the way to the Pidgey right away. I'm not sure that that was correct. I don't think it was. Like, just get second Mander when I was like, very unlikely that I knock out your only Mander with, with Blustery Wind. Okay, well, that was nice and easy. So, on to the Winged in at 6 and 2. Good stuff. Get control. Let's see what you did there. What's this with control getting fast dubs? That's not supposed to happen. All lining up for the uh, scripted winged in versus one salty steak. I'm telling you. There's a lot of six and twos though. What all do we? Lugia. Sea Pow. Arctina. Future. You know, that's Lost Pile. Zard, Baby Ancients, there's a little bit of everything, isn't there? Like the Baby Ancients up to 8, no, that's pretty crap. Broken Baby Ancients, Baby Ancient BDIF. Yeah. Well, any other, like the, the Dialga is doing extremely good. I mean, tied the other Snorlax it hits. I have to think Snor like you can load up everything so it can attack, right? Like you could as long as Ninja didn't get put in play, you could load up everything. Oh, the, oh, it's only one rod in here, which is interesting. Oh. Hmm. And, and, and two switches, I think this would be a winnable for a Dialga and just all. How are the rest of the uh, bird control doing? I haven't seen any other here near the top. Uh, some of them get dumped into the other category, but if they are, or if they did, they're not doing very good. Um, so Snorlax stall is doing quite well, like 59% win rate. Couple six and ones, well now six and two, but yeah. Snorlax stall is doing very well, and then bird control. 
Uh, that racing just lost to Nartina. Let's see what they have going on. Uh, I got the Daisy Arc phone. I mean, like, I was, like, I've been, I've been breaking with triple gear, like, more consistency than this. This just looks not, um, not it. Can you make my control pile a separate category? Just name it, like, Blitzel Pile. Binder Drop Control. Yakumo plus Luxray. We try, we try to beat Control, or try to beat, try to beat Lugia. Seems copium. I mean, just 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 dodge Lugia. How is Lugia doing? Like, how many of them are in contention for a phase two? Um, I mean, that one's six and two. Potentially three. I mean, there's two guaranteed. Well, probably guaranteed. Yeah. They probably should make Lost and Raging Bolt to its own category. At least just put it with the Lost Box decks. So I had seven one with Baby Ancients, Lost, or not Lost, um, Artina. There's a Charizard with a lot of with a lot of one of them there. There's a Charizard. There's a Lost Tina. Uh, what is what's Lost Tina looking like today? Oh my goodness, we're playing a tomb. Yeah. Bird does not want to lose to control slash stall. I think stall is actually probably worse for Tina than control. I mean, both seem kind of bad. Um, I mean, it looks. I mean, I don't know. We, we you've all heard me say a million times about I don't know and lost Tina, so we're not gonna say it again. Even heavy ball and lost Tina. Yeah. I'm not a very big fan of this list. It's uh not not my thing. Yeah, no no uh iron leaves. Let's see that was Artina. There's the the Raging Bolt. Seven and one. Like this like doesn't seem like it'd be very strong on paper. Like, best case scenario, you're hitting 280 turn two. Um, yeah. It, it doesn't like, seem like it'd be ultra good, but. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, there's seven and one. It can't be that bad, right? So there's that, and then yeah, I guess that's that's all of them so far. It would be cool to see the the Diago get the seven and one. So there's like okay, the PG control nice. Sandy Shock, you go back to Moody X. Um, what? I'm confused. I'm very confused. I feel like this tournament has just proven that ancient box is BDAF. Like, that's probably the, uh, the, the truth. Really, like, the main goal here is just make sure we're the, we're, we're the number one other deck on the night. No! I mean, I'm happy because with the number one other deck, but BDIF, right on Iron Hands, Iron Thorns. Massive sad. What's wrong with using my chat as DMs? Did I see the stall list with Chandelure. I've seen that. I saw that last format, but I haven't uh, seen it at this format. Advocating for using BC instead of my chat? That deserves a 10 second ban. I 
I, I've seen that in the in, in the past. Kind of funny. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so a, a, a lot of games left. So that's that's massive sad. We, we I we I knew we shouldn't have gone for the Adonk play chat. Like, <laughs> and then stables out his legs in 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 this format. But it's I've seen multiple people doing well in tournament with it. Like, I mean, the loss of Clara is big. You just kind of have to pivot to be <laughs> more of a more of a pile with other stuff. The Crisis punch probably definitely goes in. As an alternative finisher. I think that's potential. Well, as long as you, like, go 6-2-1 or better and make phase 2... Like, it, going into phase 2, resistance resets um, after the, the 9 rounds, so... <laughs> you can have the worst resistance going into phase 2 and it doesn't matter. I think there's a just ID, just ID. That feels silly. It's so like if I'm gonna stay up until like two, three a.m. today, I want to do it because I'm winning the tournament. Like if I lose and just get it out of the way right now, I can go to bed. Going to seven two like going in at seven and I also have to like sit for thirty minutes rambling about nonsense. It's just people with nineteen match points or better or top thirty two whichever is greater play five more rounds and then after those five rounds it cuts to top eight. We'll see what the match is. There's another RT and I I'm 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 traumatized but we'll see we'll see we'll see. <sighs> yeah, we're uh, we're probably not redeeming. I see see the new bird control builds. It's pretty fun. Both cards, you can see you you can see your lists. That's why you go seven and see you the best shot at winning. And also, I like gotta get my uh. So yeah, we gotta get the where is it at here? I need to get number one <laughs> on the late night leaderboard. Man, I used to be uh Larry Bird. What happened? This point. Yes, winning is good. The the wheelies have had has been good. I think I'll play with uh, attorney with stables art. I might. I'm I'm definitely a, a comfy enjoyer. You can provide a list, all right. Uh, yes, stall. I, I wonder if this person's gonna try to slow play the stall again. Bro, is it two agents or two mills and three arc? <laughs> that seems pretty good. I guess the fire though. Diago don't care. <sighs> I need the since uh, Moon Kitty's in chat and is the uh, expert Dialga enjoyer is uh Dialga Matang the sauce. Yeah, I guess depending on your resistance, yeah, six three might make it anyway. So I don't know how good or bad your resistance is. It's it's not bad. 71% sheesh yeah I, I I would take someone to do well with it to get people to start playing it because like on paper it's lost a lot and people might just be like kind of abandoned it you don't understand why it does anything stop star Cronus goes hard metal blast just blows stuff up I mean, personally, like, I'm just gonna, we're just gonna play it out. Trust. Shoot rapid strike vibes. Oh no. So it's a fake deck. <laughs> What's funny is rapid strike 
It said it was bad. Then it wasn't bad. Then it was bad all along. People thought it was bad, but then it turns out it was bad. Ten is fraudulent. Sounds like a skill issue. Just hit more metal makers. Oh wow. See? Just just do it. Just hit more metal makers. Sounds like you're just salty. Heck yeah, the the the, oh, the three four Torterra. I really um Oh man, this is like GLC Torterra. They got one of everything. <laughs> oh man. GLC Torterra. It's beautiful. Got the cricket tune, the Ravska, the Winsicott, the Scroll. I feel like a ton of lists in Japan were playing Morty to just like in general. I haven't seen very many people in the U.S. playing Morty, like, here on Limitless, like, since the set's been dropped. Sauce? Probably. 4-4 four, four as well. Sheesh. Lost Yalga never dies. No. Alright, 46 out of 46, so... They probably updated here. How many 5 and 2s are better out there? There's 51 of them. That's a yikes. Yeah, I'm not sure six and three was actually gonna make it then. So we just win. <laughs> that deck is nope. Yeah, too, too, too much of a mess. Here we go. Sables art. <laughs> this is what we just looking at this one, and now we face it. It's got two. Life will have played out. We're just gonna do it. We don't care. We're just gonna win. I think it's cringe. I'm sticking to my principles here. I refuse to endorse clown behavior in ID. Yeah, as long as Tomb is just doesn't totally wreck my uh, setup, I'm feeling fine. I only have one gust, and like we can, we can snipe that a prime catcher. So normally I would go first, or I go second against LZB. Wasn't it so easy for him to just like pop in for tomb? I think I want to go first, and just try to get an instant charge in. Let's do this. The hands is a little scary because they could be like prime catcher hands. Wait, they they don't even play Lost Vacuum. Well then, <laughs> my tools can have a lot of fun. Then. Yeah, like Luxury just gets way too much value. And then as soon as they try to move in with Iron Hands or Zard to put out any meaningful damage, we just start lost setting energy. It's really the only issue setting up. Like, as long as we, we get a pitch out, like there's no Devo or anything. It's really. Uh, dang it. I, I got the friend request yet, and it looks like. I mean, they haven't said anything in Limitless Shadow about IDing either. Um, I'm gonna reset again, I guess. We'll see. Alright, see you, Poker Shark. We're back again. Again. Tomb Effect Luminion, yeah. It's, yeah, it's ability activates when it enters play, so it would. Already, already like five of the six and two tables tied, so we're, we're just going to get the uh, dub here. Uh, 
I'll say, yeah, they never, didn't even ever offer the ID either. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, it's it's called binder drop control for a reason. We got we got everything here. Let's get it. Don't want to flip. I wonder what they choose here because they could go either way. Yeah, I, I faced them, man. <laughs> I faced them. We're doing. I don't know. Yeah, they went first. I that's to be expected. I'm kind of glad they, they chose first. Not gonna lie. Um, oh no, I I would old well for a road and attach. Well, it still would have been kind of sketchy. We'll see. Depends on, on, on how they play their turn. I, I could go a couple different ways with this hand. Mew X gone straight away. Mew could be a interesting option, so. Come on, tomb straight away like that. That means I can get down another Pidgey, though. I'm <laughs> just like, don't even need comfies. We don't need a setup. Let's just go two and full brick them. This has to be the logic. Price checking? Who needs that? We just need to uh, put down two and shut off instant charge. It's so broken. Or just price two me. If you want to do that, I'm cool with it. Oh, man. Hey, I thought we'd... Okay, this went one flower select. Well, you know what I do? I just fake having a really bad hand. And I just... Well, actually, no, 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 no. We could... We don't even have, don't even have to uh, fake it. We just play Arvid. Get candy for next turn. What are they going to do? Play their one Iono? Have a... More Ultra Ball fodder. Uh, sure. Is Fluttermane good and worth it in this deck? I don't think so. Like, against like the Lost Box stuff, we're already like fine. Uh, so, and also just be hard to get it into the active spot in, in the first place. <laughs> I think I like the Iridian Jirachi idea more than a uh, Fluttermane. Yeah, since there's no Vax, there's like zero way we ever get Lost Mind. But Ultra Ball for the Pidgeot next turn. Let me just start Fang Sniping. Probably. Or we could just go Eerie and sit behind something else. There's a Gates. I mean, they have four. They got the Artisan. It's, I'd say, pretty likely that our Pidgey gets knocked out. Eerie and Luxury would go pretty crazy. I don't know if we actually can uh, pull that off. Because one thing would be like a Prime Catcher KO Pidgeot. Would be sort of annoying. They would need a time for that. All right, well, that's not very helpful. We can go for the Bufalons. Or even just like trying to establish that the, the uh, Wigglytuff doesn't sound too bad either. Unless it's, I prize that card so much. Luxury is not in there, tragically. Uh, um, 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 okay. Seems good. Ultra Ball away, Cloth or Seal Stone. Uh, the Pidgeots. Honestly, do we just like Eerie this turn? 
Or we could just fang snipe. Like, what's the downside to fang sniping? Can we get spat? Yeah, this seems good. There we go. Rising is not too bad. We even could boss up Tomb and just make them have to have one more card. How do you feel about Hanshimmer Airy Arvok EX? I mean, it sounds funny. Is it stuff any good? I think it is. I guess I might cut it, yeah. I'm gonna take that one, I think. Okay, yeah, Aerie would go really, really hard. But, yeah, that Prime Catcher card is pretty good. How does that deal with, with, with normal LZB Moonhands Raikou? It's, it's pretty fine. I think it's probably a favorite matchup. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna play Penny next turn, probably, if they just spits. Um... I, I really just want to airy, like, it's, it's probably not worth it. I mean, it could be, actually, I don't know. Depends on what they do this turn. If we just, like, got rid of enough gates, it could just be worth it. But now they have no way to pull up Pidgeot for the rest of the game. So they're stuck in in two hit mode. Oh, but they could go reading Charizard. That is certainly a play that they, that they can make. Oh, that would be interesting. Dumping five energies on, taking the KO. That would be pretty good. Yeah, I think like the only way we lose this game would be getting our Pidgeot arm pressed like even if they do this like double gates attach switch like, we know they had gates in hands um this is still okay Uh, they play okay. I was gonna say if they, if they played two fires, Bouffant would be hilarious. We we probably just rod back in the Luxray and play Iono. That was pretty nuts. I assume that they the manual drop. Yeah. You know what? What other play does he have though? Like. It does sort of feel like it could be an overcommit, but like, what are the alternatives? Yeah, I don't know. Watch to the booth. It's a ride back in Lux. This is where I'd like like block Snorlax, just to sit behind. Because, like, everything else isn't really quite as good. Like, what, like, Artisan just gives him a prize, really. Oh, wait. Are both their psychics down? Okay, one there. Uh, did they hard to treat one? No, okay. All right. It might just be retreat into Boof and pass. It could be Mawile, right? Like, if they want to spit Mawile, do I care? I don't know if I actually do, honestly. Rotom would be really good right now. This actually is not going all that well. <laughs> it's okay. I got a three. Always clutch. I 
The spirit team is low key really annoying. Like, I'm trying to think, like, how we work our way out of this. With the hand that we currently have. I can do a comfy. Four switches gone. There's a rod. And they, they only have one gate left. If I just had the wiggly tough to, like, KO this Radzard down triple gate, it'd be over. Oh, but what if they go Iron Bundle? That would suck. I think my play is going to be like Cape's Luxray and try to just like keep Fang sniping every turn because like every turn they Rad's Art, they have to take a turn off. They can't really deal too well with the Penny Loop. And eventually we would deck them out. So at least that would be the yeah, plan. And they probably go Bundle here and I have to go back into the booth. Rad's Art kills Boof. Oh, I failed art. Okay. Let's keep forward. Alright. Can we get a uh, top tech cape or top tech of an ultra ball? Okay, they give me the angry emoji, which I'm not so sure why. Oh, do they want to Sableye me? Well, that's all their gates. Yo, if I just give the Zard, it would be so hard for them to respond. What's a Magic Rats? Six. Seven. I mean, there's the Sisters. Um, there's only the one Sableye. I could pick a blustery wood, but that seems kind of risky. Yeah, I don't... I don't really like where this is right now. Three switches... I want to get the uh, cape for sure. But like, just like pull up the spirit tomb. Retreat. And I like want to put down a single prizer. The wiggly stuff would go so crazy right now. Dang it, I am I'm concerned that this game might not work. Tomb is really annoying, and that early rads are kind of screwed us up. I mean, it's possible, it would just take kind of a lot. Alright, the rads are. Okay, now we go cape, fang snipe, sisters. Uh, just try to take everything apart here. And we'll see what we can see what we can do with this. It's gonna cheat you kind of sucks, but like I didn't have any better discards in hands. I mean I, we'd share in technically, I guess. Dude. Sableye could put us in kind of an awkward spot. Sableye, Iron Bundle. Their hand sucks. But they have jet energy. I guess the rock sand? It's really the only thing that even does anything at all. Yeah, because now what do we do? They just Sableye and spread, spread damage, so... Both these things die to combustion blasts next turn. Yeah, with the 
crazy that the Wigglytuff being prized is <laughs> totally screw us over. Because I guess go Jet into Comfy Flower. I mean, they're at, they're at 10. I really do miss Peonia. That silly iron bundle is, is what's going to get me. That silly card is what's going to be the, uh, what's going to do me in here. I doubt they just take the turn off. Yeah. They actually choose cram though. Over Sableye or something. Yes, our there is the iron bundle. It was the last prize. We should have fang type the heavy ball. Oh man, bodied. So the rod was their top deck. Has to be Penny, but it kind of sucks. Like what other options? Boss two, and then I just lose to an energy off the top. I mean, this doesn't really. Separate this doesn't really do anything. Bundle and a cram. They're definitely very low on energies. Yeah, Sableye seems way too good for them right now. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't do that last turn. I'm pretty sure they win the game if they did that last turn. Yeah, they, they just go six and six. Well, okay. We go Penny, Hero Cape, Blustery Wind, KO Sableye. Um. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Because they might not have... How many Sableyes? They've spent... Two rods, that would be? Okay. The issue is if I Sharon's care, though, is I, uh... Is I lose my... Pidgeot. But that might be the only choice because Iron Bundle is live. There's the Wigglytuff. That could be the win con, though. That could be the win con. There are three super odds in this list. There goes a chorus. If we KO'd that Radzar, they really wouldn't have an answer. And they have like two cramps. I think they spit here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Arbin off the top. The issue is Iron Bundle is just game. Iron Bundle attach retreat is just game. What other options do we have? I 
Dang it. We get we we we, we get on Jiggly, we charm the Luxray. We retreat into Luxray, but then they just go bundle and win. We just have, have, just have to hold on energy or switch in here. That seems horrible. Um, dang it, the stupid timer. Oh, I definitely did not do that right. Um, 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 um. should have fang sniped the heavy ball over Roxanne. I had to go, you know, you were definitely right. But I timer got me. Yeah, now we just say you don't have retreat option. Why didn't I grab Aerie? Because I was flustered and um Is there anything that we could put on the bench that have enough HP or is that no? It's if we had another prize to give. Uh yeah, we just have to hope that somehow, some way. They don't have one of their four switching cards remaining. Or an energy. Not cloth got discarded early. Like everything is gone. All right, let's just like put something else big down and hopefully they'll think like I don't have it like this. But that just seems so bad because I, I don't have the game myself next turn. Ugh, oh, dig it. We gotta do Iona to one this turn. But yeah, we definitely uh, goof that one up. Yeah, Lux does, but they have Iron Bundle in hand. Whatever, you don't have energy. Oh, you should have gone airy. Yeah, really. <laughs> we had, yeah, we had to go Iono there. Draw into energy, put it on the Jigglypuff, and hope that they didn't have it, and then come back. But yeah. Started way too slow and played it pretty badly. And prize the first of the. The wiggly time. Very, very sad. We really could have punished that line if that super aggressive Razard, if we had it. But I swear that card's priced so much. I priced it like four or five times in, in, in the rounds today. It's super frustrating. Definitely more than the one in 10 odds that it should be. Yeah, Pidgeot made it hard to accumulate my my hands. We'll see. Maybe we make cut. Not too many tables ID, which I suppose is is a, is a, is a good thing. The list felt a lot better tonight. Just user error uh, held held us back for sure. I'm like starting to actually want to put in the second Wigglytuff because I prized that card so much. And like, I don't want it to like a like <laughs> I know I'm prizing it way more than it's statistically likely. But like it's a pretty important card to just not have a lot of the time. So, Cause I I know we prized it against both Arctinos. We prized it this game, I'm pretty sure, and we prized it this game, at least. And I think we prized it against one of the Sea Pows. Or maybe it was against Ancient Box. I don't remember. Um, I think I just do the, the one two though. Maybe I try to fit 2-2. Two, two. Just the main thing isn't like having two Wigglytuffs in a game. It's mainly just the, the prizing. Alright. Might make it. We'll see. 
the, the, the Rakens waits. Might have gone a little too aggressive with that Luxury as well, that one turn. We got rid of Prime Catcher. It's like hard to argue with, with, the, with the result. I don't know. Alright, let's see. 29th place. We're still gaming. Alright, well. The show's not over. Let's see what we, we likely need for Top Cut. If we look at another similar sized tournament. Are we already like out of it? Wait. Come on. No, where am I? Where, where I, I want to be. Combine, combine. There we go. 10 and 3? We have to like win out, right? Or 30 match points. We're currently at 18. Well, we're, we're going to have to go 4 1. All right, Moon Hands, Lost Pile with a Devo, Double Vac, Boss, and Catcher. Now it's all, all the Lost Piles. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. Yeah, honestly, it made zero sense to Fang Snipe. Wait, 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 what am I doing? I just sent it to the rock guy. <laughs> it made no sense to Fang Snipe the rock sand, like... And, and we, we should have read earlier that heavy... That, uh... The thing was prized, right? That would have been... There was multiple situations that game where having a block lax would have been pretty good. Just to not give up a prize card. The phone is the way to go? No. Well, you're not actually by winning too much. Like, you're not... I don't know what to do. Okay, I should probably do that. And reset. You don't actually, like, have too many games where you're, like, trying to go between the two Wiggly Tops. Like, usually you're just riding with, with, with one. Yeah, like it doesn't feel necessary, but there's a lot of times where it's like been would have been nice to sit behind. Um, it's alright. Like we learned, like that's why we haven't made the uh, control video yet. We just gotta take what we learn from these tournaments and keep working on the list until we get it how we want it you get it oh come on did they even check in they did oh they just conceded to me Bruh. oh okay <laughs> seven and three i guess Definitely a paid actor. Sheesh. <laughs> Get some food and water? Not a bad idea. Oh, Pionu would go so crazy. I'd make a new list. Now, nah, Matt's got the right idea. Get some food, refill the water. But then we'll, we'll be back. Just a minute. I can, but I can pull up the list and we can mess around with it in between rounds here. But yeah. Be right back.
Gaming? All right. Good. Good. Okay. So, I said we'd pull up the list and think about some potential changes we could make. Still 6 out of 16. Wonderful. Um, so, let's do exactly that. Where is the list? Come on. We're gonna... I have too many limitless tabs open. It's here somewhere. I promise you. Okay, nope. Almost. Right? 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 <laughs> there we go. We made it. Or it's after the deck. And titled your VE and up in Persian. I don't think so. So we want the second wiggly top. That's been something that would have definitely helped us in these games. We're gonna ultra for an ASR Regilecki. What situation do we actually need something like Regilecki in? Like when is when is that something that's good? Also, it wouldn't be opposed to a Snorlax. I don't think I've used Silene that often tonight. Like, Silene and Riz have been two of the weaker cards tonight. Um, <laughs> Silene going for Bailey. Let's not factor in bad luck. Um. Yeah, like there doesn't really feel like too many that's like loose spots in this list. Like this, the second forest, I guess, would be. And. Yeah, maybe the charisma. I don't know. Like, yeah, maybe like adding in the Wiggly Tough. Like, adding in like Wiggly Tough and Block Snorlax would be two things I definitely like to add. But the tools are pretty good, though. I'd definitely keep Vest. Vest would st stay no matter what. It'd be a charm, if anything. Do Crab and Buffalo. The Buffalo could probably get caught. I haven't used it a ton tonight. And that's just that it's good against. Aren't the most meta relevant like, like without the Buffalo, we would probably never beat Arctina. But maybe with double Wigglytuff, we just have enough. Like we just like we Wigglytuff would just um create an awkward enough like resource map for the Arc player that that would be okay. So maybe we have a cut Buffalon. Like also like the kind of like Buffalon is pretty good in Mirror, but do we really need to like tech for that? Like it's like it has Arctina, Mirror, Ancient Box, like not super relevant stuff. If I cut Boo for like second Wiggly, maybe Forest for Lax. No, Cloth is needed for for uh for Lugia and it's nice elsewhere. I I love Boofalon as a card, but like just because you like a card doesn't mean it's good. It is really good against Lost Box as well. Like I, I don't know, I. What's the game plan to lost Tina without it? They like stick Wiggly Tough in their face. Seems pretty good. I have to test like the Lost Box matches without it. I think. It is a powerful card. So if we cut Buffalo, we probably could cut the Riz as well. And there's definitely some still some stuff we could do with the list. I do like the like core concept of this deck, like the control stuff with the wiggly tough. Um iron bundles attack be useful. I don't, don't think so. Like honestly, I don't think this like the second jiggly puff is that big of a deal. Um Cause like if someone's gonna go after it, they they always like it, it's up against Lugia, and there's two on the board. You have to like 
takes two turns to get it going. They're gonna boss one with the energy, and okay, you still keep a Jigglypuff in play, but it doesn't have an energy on it, so what does that really get you? I mean, share and chaining would be pretty nice. But like, Rotom is probably better than all of that, right? And you have, we have to open Jigglypuff and open an energy. Is attacking with cloth necessary? Yeah, we had, we had after Wigglytuff KOs both Archaeops or KOs to uh, Chinchinos. We have to have a way to knock out the Chinchino or um, whatever, whatever they, they have their remaining energy on. Also, it can be cool against Future and Art. I know Hand Clippers, just no space, and it's like kind of a mediocre card. Yeah, I don't think that ch chaining Jigglypuff is something that we ever actually do. And the, the only reason I'm saying second Wigglytuff is just because prizing. Like, it's an important card in a lot of matchups. We have the Heavy Ball that's essentially second Jigglypuff, like, for prizing. Um, but we don't have any, any way to get the Wigglytuff out. Aerodactyl is horrible. Aerodactyl is terrible. The issue with Aerodactyl is not you have to go first, and then you somehow have to get it in the active spot and find you to find the Aerodactyl turn one and to get it active without using your forest seal stone. So and there's like no switching card in the deck, so we'd have to play another switch. Um I, I have to play jet energies, like <laughs> We're not gonna how do we find the one of jet in our first few turns? Without using for a seal stone. I think if it if, if controls Lugi match was as easy as just using Ancient Star, then I don't think that this would be a thing. I'm not saying that limitless mass limitless matchup data is like the perfect way to measure out matchups well you can if you take out all their chinchinos there the, the, you'd have to ko all the chinchinos or all, or all, all, all the archaeops and both those are doable <laughs> but then we have to find crypto turn one how are you getting crypto guaranteed I don't know we instant charge into the into the arrow plus well yeah let's just not play Arvids anymore let's just play all cryptos I could see the Radzard choice double baby locks you're playing arrow and double baby locks dang Um, well, the thing, what, what's nice about Cloth is after we knock out all their Archaeops, they can't keep hitting it over, like. I mean, okay, so if we're swinging with second Wiggly, that would be, like, I'm going to get two shot that last Lugia. I guess that could work, right? This might actually work. So, we, they summoning star, take whatever in, in the active spot. We go KO Archaeops, they hit us back. We go KO other Archaeops, they hit us back. Um, then our second Wiggly Tough knocks out Chinchino. I mean, it, it technically it does the same thing, you're right. But then we have to, we're, if we're like ahead, the Lugia would too hit us if they'd have loaded up Lugia. Because the thing with like Cloth, every time they hit it, they lose an energy. So they like eventually lose to Penny Loot. The Lugia is a lot more than just Lugia. It's good against Lugia, all the Lost Box stuff, Chimpao, Future. I don't think Baby Lux beats Lugia. 
baby lux doesn't does not be, like a good lugia player would just not take prize cards if they knew he played baby lux and just wait until they could take two in one turn and then your prize maps kind of like <laughs> they just go get the pidgeot with the chinchino and then you have no no bird on the board um to try to get through other chinchinos Yes. Oh, that's awesome, Sam. Congrats. I don't want to cut consistency, though. We have to see. Like, if... Really, if... Like, the 2-2 two -two Wiggly Tough, like, if that was... If that made Lugia just a lot better. And then also... Solved our pricing issues... And that would probably be the move. So we also could like flip the fighting energy into like a jet or just a better energy card. I could see it. Yeah, because like two, like, how is Tina beating two Wiggly Tusks? I don't know if you have second miss over fighting ever. It's interesting. Like, there's definitely, there's so many different ways we could go about this. Yeah. Very, very interesting. They're not playing any switches. That's probably doomed against stall then. Do a four Ionoses. I can probably play for the tie. Why is it controlist? Be like that runs at you know without running out of time. Um. Well, if you have your opponent like locked down, and you like, have like a prize card cushion, you can like try to fang snipe Ionos if like that doesn't just lose you the game. Like them. Being able to retreat and um, knock out Luxury like that doesn't just lose you the game. Uh, but yeah, it, it, like if against like a Charizard, it can be sometimes hard to finish games in time. It's just a nice like I've it's been very nice multiple times today. Just a bonus consistency option. Like I, I am liking the Ultra Ball Luminion package more than the pokey gears ultra balls do feel awkward sometimes but like i don't think they're bad but y'all are kind of making me interested in this like 2-2 would be tough idea um even maybe like a buddy poffin then if like with these stuff is so good going pidgey jiggly turn one would be really good I mean, some interesting things to uh but like it's it's good into a lot of matchups it's not like just like a tech card like it's chin pao future lugia tina arc tina it's good against ancients lost sim box it's not like a dead card that often like it i'm like it come up against charizard I guess one thing if we did cut cloth our Zard matchup would get worse. Because Zard's de it's cloth is definitely better than Wiggly Tough in the Zard matchup. Build quad Wiggly Tough? Alright. Genius. Yeah, but I don't think that's like a bad idea. Like cut the cloth. Because I have like double wiggly to like just carry it against LZB. Maybe you could even cut the Bufalons and just go double wiggly tough. Or, pl or play a 2 2 line, is what I mean. Flip the basic fighting to a jet. Um. I'd say wiggly tough is generally our best way to force more resources out of the opponent. Like, 
against those lost box decks we like, like to lead with fang type and then have with wiggy to price trade do whatever they with, with, with whatever they respond with um but yeah there's there's different ways that we can go like if chimpow doesn't open bidoof caped wigglytuff countercatcher iono is pretty broken we we might have to have to try that for uh for this turn tomorrow let me just go ahead and register right now <laughs> might have to try the double wiggly to build tomorrow Everybody a Silene team yell splits for more Pokemon recovery. So I think you could. I think I like that more if you're playing Radiant Charizard and like recycling Radiant Charizard is like kind of a concern in that build. Like you don't need it quite as much in here. And my main logic behind the two Silene is because of prizing. I'd always want to have Silene in a game since it's like the most powerful recovery card. Um, but I could see the split. Like, it's not something that's out of the question. I think Luxray V is... is I don't know if Luxray V is necessary either. It's just a really good card. But, like, the baby Luxray, I think, is... Is not real. <laughs> you made it. Let's go XYZ in chats. Yeah, it's the whole 14 rounds. I assume this one's gonna tie. Like that future player's got four Ionos. Yeah, well and, and, and we could, could, could cut fighting too if if uh, cloth. Oh um actually we're, we're not cutting cloth. But I think that at that point, the 2-2, two, 2-2 two, two, two Wigglytuff, like, does that do the same thing that that Cloth does? Because then we could get those spots. Do you think it's a finals? I'm going to try. Definitely, like, learning stuff about this deck. Like, no matter how, how we do, like, learning stuff about this deck, making the list better. I... I I don't know what y'all. I see. I see so much potential here with this 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 idea. I'm glad that we're all kind of working on it t together because there's definitely something good here. I think, like Zubat Emergency Board, like isn't it's not bad. Just I don't know how you would fit it or like how you justify it over cards that are quantifiably like better because like. Not, like at least this list doesn't really have it's not, not playing Erica's, so it really just like one card that interacts with the hands or luxury too, I guess. So it's not that big of a deal. Go the Oink alone. Oink alone just has a lot less HP though, right? Yes, yeah, a Zard. Zard with a Turo and a Mist Energy. But no switch. Alright, awesome. Sandra's watching on his burner. Yo, if Sander wins a UIC with Wigglytuff, that'd be awesome. I haven't seen the Vest come into play. Um, uh, suppose you're right. I mean, it it should have come into play one time against Artina, but it didn't. Um. Vest is pretty good against Zard. To be able to deny the uh, Charmeleon hits, give Pidgeot 280 HP. It's not the, it's not like a super broken card though. I think I think I'd probably play like one. If I play one Charm, one Vest, about a cut a card. I don't know. The issue about Cloth against Arc decks is if they're like Artina. They play Iron Leaves and can one hit the cloth. So that would be pretty, pretty bad.
I'm glad we were like <laughs> we were dodging Zard and install for so long. I'm glad we finally started to uh face them. Maybe we can uh go on a run here. I assume they're going to go second. Yeah, it's fine. Hmm. I guess opening cheese, not the worst. You have to give them artisan. I guess the PD down, so. At least we know the Wigglytuff is safe in the hands. Cloth is in there. All the Pokemon? Mawile is not. But Heavy Ball is. We have the Airy. But no Sisters. So no Sisters. No Mawile. Uh, no Fighting Energy. And a Double Turbo as well. Okay. I'm kind of uh I'm kind of hoping for an Iona honestly just uh otherwise it might just be Artisan down another Pidgey Arvin for Forest Seal Stone plus Nest Ball for Rotom I think the the year I the year one's almost always uh smaller though I don't really know why, I guess. I guess more Americans play on Limitless. Scoff needed outside of Lugia. That's the thing, because it could just be win more in, into Charizard, and could just be totally cope into the other decks. And Wigglytuff might just be better into the other decks. I feel like amongst, like, <laughs> amongst a lot of the... Like, stall being super broken feels like PTCG's worst kept secret right now. Like, it's not winning a bunch of online tournaments. But, like, I feel like everybody knows it's super good. It's just a matter of time before someone cracks the right list and wins with it. Uh, it could play Team Devolution Magic Rap, but that's about it. It might be, Rubik. Y'all are kind of talking me into it. Y'all are kind of talking me into it. Candy Max Bell. They're just prepping for next turn. Never Luminous instead of a Fire Energy. Oh, that's like insane. Uh, one second. Because now we do this, and then it's out of Zard range. You get Quick Search for, for Fire, and even just get a mill in this turn. I don't really... Well, now nah, I think I always just want to instant charge since, since my setup's kind of unstable. Uh, we can go for Mimikyu. We'll just go another Pidgey this turn, to be honest, as well. Uh, yeah, let's go Charm the Active. Quick search for Nest Ball to get Rotom. And let's get an instant charge. On control Mount Rushmore? I don't know. Who would be on control Mount Rushmore? We got... I mean, Sanders, the GOAT, obviously. Um, pr Probably Alessandro Cromascoli. I mean, those would be the two, like, for sure. Who other, like, super cracked uh, control cooks over the years? Oh, Hampus, that's that's a good one. That is that is a good one. Sylveon was a pretty dope deck. Up until Pidgeot control. Yeah, Marco would have to be on there. I mean, even like uh, like any of those people who like play like Pidgey control. The uh Pidgey the Pidgeotto control deck. Hail, yeah, that is a very good one. Definitely Matt. Matt would, would, would be on there as well. I'm about to shut down the goat to me. I don't know about that. I guess there's more than I kind of realized. 
like back prime Pidgeotto control. Like I know Azul's group played that to to worlds. Like like the Dead Rock Gaming played that to a worlds. I think that, that was just the whole Dead Rock Gaming group played the played that deck. Um, but yeah, <laughs> all yeah, they would all be on there. They they played a lot of control. Well, now they now they hit. I should go back into Mimikyu. And we'll we'll see what they can do. I don't think there's anything I wanted in here. Ice Mawa, I definitely do want that. Yeah, the prizes are not too bad. I saw Yuno is probably the main thing. pick up this thing okay sanders the goats like in terms of a top number one all-time control player there's no way you put anyone above sander but there's some other ones on there who like at least are um respected uh control players in the over the years Yeah. Yeah, I Sander and Chromoscolia. The goats. This Mimikyu hit? I mean I can't attack with it, but they can't attack it either. Uh, yeah, I guess anyone who like won a regional like Piper or Marco would have to be up there, especially in with, with how big the regionals are now. Let's um try to make hit rods or something. Wow, they don't have anything. <laughs> There's not anything in there. That guy does just suck. Well, at what point do we go in with Bufalons and just start sending energies to the zone? Did answer about Luminous over fire? Um I don't I, I want like when would it uh when would the other energy be better when like if i play fire i can recycle it with super rod and bro's hand sucks honestly i could go cape boof next turn and just like start sending energies to to, to the zone We can pad back in Penny and Airy and try to play Silene for turn. Sander is six foot six. I did not know that. I've never seen Sander in person. Like I've seen him on streams and stuff, but yeah, I could probably attach this as well. Average Dodge Citizen. Oh, you're right. Rajarachi seems really good on paper, but I feel like it's actually like pretty impractical in in, in practice. <laughs> yeah, what's Santa doing playing Pokemon? Shouldn't Bro be playing basketball or something? Alright. Next turn we go. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, we uh. We do the thing. You want to take us? You want to take take us slow here? That's fine. I'll start sending your energies to the uh, lost zone. Now you have to do something, buddy. Six fire, one mist. So <laughs> they just can see. They're like, nope. I'm not gonna do anything. You can't make me. Fair. Because then, like, after the Zard there's no energies on it, we go back into Chi Yu, start milling again. And as soon as they commit energies, we, we are Bufalons. Yes. Very good. <laughs> they, they, um, yeah. 
broken. All right, well, another fast round. But, um, yeah, we take those arts any day. What What is there at an eight and three? There's a, we take a Snorlax stall. That's the only other known one. But that is pretty good mashup. And two fire, one luminous. You like the luminous? You hear us here to find us. Top five stream easily. Dang, I I feel like there's been some bangers over the. I, guess, I was gonna say over the years, but it's like been months really. What's crazy is like when we started the stream, it was like three thousand fifty subs, and gained like twenty during this stream. And I think it's my most ever. Like. Kind of crazy. I'm not. I'm not really like, like this is probably not optimal, but I do really like this. It, this feels really strong. I like it more than Snorlax stall. <laughs> hey, maybe the double wiggly tough is just the move. Yeah, I could see it. Articuno freeze loop? How would you do that? How would you infinitely chain Articuno? Wiggly control? Yeah, what do we call this deck? Like, we got... We can call it Blitzel Pile, Blitzel Control. Oh, Penny and Bax? That seems like a lot. Binder Drop Control. Wiggly control, Buffalo Wild Wings 2.0. Cloth game. <laughs> yep. The uh, plot armor with the cloth and the Giovanni's charisma, just off the charts. Tough fried Buffalo Wings. Wiggly Wings. Hello, Birdzel. Poop is pretty good. Like every time I feel like I'm like on the on the fence about cutting poop, I just like have a game where it's just nasty. It would be really cool to just have like an LDF or one of them like who does the uh recap videos try to decipher this. Tough luck, hey, I kind of like that. Yeah, y'all are, are really, um, sold me on this too wiggly idea. I agree, Joss, I agree. Overcooked wings, hey, I, 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 that's probably true. Deep fried wings. It was like four of their eight energies, so yeah, they were cooked. <laughs> yeah. But the, uh, the owls don't understand the goofy crab is just, just pr pretty good. I've been on there 12 times. I do play a lot of jank online. <laughs> That's for sure. Let's see what else. This is an 8 and 3 playing Zard. Okay, the 8 and 3 bracket. Looking. See Pow beat Artina. Oh my goodness. Is this just like. Is, no. Is, 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 is everything lining up? Tough pincers. I think 10 and 3 or 10 and 4 would probably be the record we need for a cut. But my resistance might not be that great. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. This is my first one, just insta drops. That's like an automatic 0%. Uh, 
Dang, the the ancient box lost two in a row. All the Artina are congregating right there at the, the top. I guess I guess that one kind of fell back. Yeah, there's still two gaming. Hopefully they beat the Snorlax, because I'd love to face a lax. Each box control. Not bad. The, the, the Articuno loop sounds funny, but like, what what happens when you actually knock them out? Because it does damage. I mean, you have Alakazam to try to reduce it. Or what if they just like don't evolve their Pokemon and wait for you to paralyze them and then evolve? Area obliterates ancient box. Um, I can see it. <laughs> you're you're put three. You're gonna put two DTs on Articuno. Okay. Interesting. H <laughs> box. That's what we're going with. <laughs> I gotta pick up my uh how much are the shiny uh, jiggly puffs on a t TCG player? Uh Hellion Fates. Five bucks four dollars? Oh man. I gotta pay like ten bucks for, for, for two jigglies. Big sad. Stompy Stomp goes crazy. This is definitely the optimal Jigglypuff Puff because it is it is shiny. And like there's another one that like puts to sleep. But like searching for support is pretty good. <laughs> That's not bad. Yeah, first first step is get the deck a limitless page. Then we can uh that'd be funny though if like that like if like on limitless like you know how I don't think they have like too too many silly names though because even like when uh oops when Tord like they could have called it Tord Pile. Oops, that's not not the right tournament. That's it's it's you tricked. They like Charizard box. Or like the truth is like something lame. Yeah. Vile Bloom or Uniclus combo. Like, can you just call it the truth? That's what it is. Like, come on, Limitless. Or, um. Bruh. What is this? Why is it called the truth? That's, that's that's what it was. Let's see what else. What else is there? Yeah, that was a Snorlax. Could, I mean, could be another Snorlax winning up to that record. And oh my goodness, our um our matchups here are looking quite 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 good. <laughs> Makes you sick, bro. Lumikia is pretty good. Lumikia is a, a good deck. Dang it! I, I... <laughs> ha, part of me was just hoping that like after. We lost that win it in that it'd be over and we could call it a night. But now it's starting to look like they were gonna make top cut or something. <laughs> Did a top cut last turn's getting cooked to this tournament? But like what about um what about this tournament? What about um? Has to be has to be some more. What about this turn? Oh, yeah, yeah, Lugia is garbage. 
until 2 p.m. I hope not. <laughs> Another 14 hours or whatever. How long has this been going? What's like the, I mean, the longest one's 13 hours. I guess uh, we've only been here for like five. I'm so ready to have another stupid long stream this Saturday. I'm so ready. Mark your calendars, guys. I'm going to do a regional sequel. We got to make it back to finals. We got to have another uh, 13 hour stream. It is two days now, which is kind of sad, but. You're gonna miss it. Skill issue. Yeah, what is sleep? I'll just not get sleep. It's okay. <laughs> Mickey Mouse turn it with insanity luck. Hands in the Matang deck. How do I win? With control or just in general? <laughs> Yo, we choked into Celio in finals with, with Lycan Rock. That was, that might be my, my, my favorite stream. Like if I were to pick a favorite, that would have to probably be it. You bought the Cloffy X? Oh, let's go. I'm sure Cloffy X is like, how much? All right. Place your prediction now, chat. How much is Cloffy X? Whoever gets it right gets gets a pin. Or gets our closest. Six bucks. Yeah, 60 cents. That sounds about about right. 34 cents. Two. <laughs> 75 cents. Dollar nine. Okay. I'll say 43 cents. Oh, 96 cents. Who was closest? Galaxy? No, Galaxy went over though. Are we using Price is Right rules? Two broke for 96 cents. Oh my god. You were closest? One? Well, what is one? Okay, I guess even if you one dollar. Alright. I guess you get a pin. What am I pinning though? <laughs> I'm not, I'm in the one dollar message that's lame you can type something else and i'll pin it as long as it's not sus or anything it could just be something uh be something kind of crazy like you just say control bad and i can pin it two tournaments to get a club or xyz Two dollars in your country? Dang. All right. You get your pin. Congratulations. <laughs> you won a pin. We could have pinned the pin it message. That would have been pretty funny. I'm just saying, guys, there's 75 of y'all in chat, and how come there's 33 likes? Like, I'm not trying to be that guy, but that ratio just feels a little off. <laughs> I have nothing better to say. I we're gonna do the next round to be up soon. Tired Blood Soul is not is not beat content. Yeah, what are you doing? You're supposed to like this stream. Is wings of shiny optimal? The full art is pretty clean. Okay, let's. What what do we think? I mean, that one's not bad, but regular EX. But okay, you know what's not also paying ten bucks for a full art. The backgrounds are really nice, but for ten dollars, when I can just go, for I can do eighty-seven cents. This is cheaper than cloth, and looks probably better. Yeah, this, this ain't it. I'm not paying 10 bucks. Why is this one so much more? Like 151. <laughs> codes. We're literally com comparing them to codes. 
regular EX. I mean, it does look nice. Like, it's not like the art's bad, but like, it's not $9 better. All right. Um, what was the other eight and three? Oh, oh, we could get a chance at a rematch there. Okay. <laughs> what what did we hit? Is this a Snorlax? It is. This is Caleb Rogers, in right? Okay, broken. Let's check out the list. Double Yakimo. Uh, okay, okay. Be careful the Aries. That's what I'm most afraid of. Yeah, Call doesn't have a, a full art. Alright, well, let's go. This one should be good. The double Yakuma does make it a little sketchier, and the heavy temple count. Um, yeah, three temples of Sinnoh. So, yeah. I think the play is just going to be like, use Chiyu, force them to Chiyu, then Buflant Fire. They probably, they probably try to go Yakuma Temple then. Going Luxury early to potentially Fang Snipe Temples could be good. Bouflant isn't like foolproof in here. Let's to get it. This worst case scenario would be Prizing Fire. Yeah, because the card is technically still a special energy, but it just doesn't have effect. Just like Ch Chinchino still hits for more damage for each special energy it has attached, um, it just doesn't have effect. You don't get any of the of, of the cool bonuses. I think seven four one. Dang man. I uh, stream on Twitch. Twitch is mid. All right. Well, thanks. Th thanks for stopping by. Have a good night, Moon. Okay. I just like just for speed. I don't mind just doing this. I can leave them both. <laughs> Jiggly and wiggly. Bye. <laughs> oh man. That Spath or Lugia was 8 and 1. Like it was top seed going to the second phase of that. The fighting being prized does kind of suck because I can't bank that on Buffon as easily. For Ninja Snorlax graphic. Is that going to be real? We think uh Grinja EX Snorlax is gonna be a thing. Alright. Oh, we do have like an airy. Okay. We can go Luminion, we can go. I just wanna start getting the mills going, just put my foot on the gas. Um, and yeah, just put the pressure on. I might, I might not need to boof on if I just jump out far enough ahead. Singe. Okay. Geo's never an option of running Sharon. I mean, it could be, I guess. It just. 
slow evolving feels so bad. We're not really like using Sharon to pick up Pidgeot that often. Right, there's the Arvin. Did hit Palpat. There's only two of those. There's two Silene, two Palpads. That was a pretty good rip because also I did get the uh, Temple. We're probably going for the Airy next turn. Hopefully, getting some good cards. The PG Hot V. What's kind of weird though is what if these go solo lax? I don't play Erica on this list anymore. So I could never get around. I mean, I could just hit this. They have to bench other stuff, right? Grab something, Vanishing Wings. What 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 they grab? Their own GU. They're on fire. And a pass. Oh, that's cool. Alright, let's go get ourselves a double turbo energy. We ultra for the bouffants. And then we can airy as well. Actually, none. <laughs> There's none of them in there. Right, Singe, Yowch here. All right. Yeah. Once we remove the threat of Singe, we're we're totally gaming. Yeah, their hand was was pretty stacked there. Well, the next one I go Penny and okay, okay. All right, well, that was not so good for them. What happened to my hand? I don't know what happened to it. All right, let's just go get ourselves Penny for next turn. I, mean, we, I guess we technically could, yeah, we, we could do this actually. I think this is fine. Just all right. There's one fire gone. Still another remaining. But now it's hard for them to ever chi you again. I mean, you can't just instantly attach it. Like, it has to do something. Like, ideally, it's probably like Yakumo plus Temple, but it's only one Temple left. Sisters dumped a counter catcher. Well, I'm trying super powered horn and just hit this thing. It's probably not smart, but what would be funny? To get ourselves Silene so it doesn't get milled. That's the other pal pad. Shoots. Should I have gone Luxray actually? Because we know Silene's in hand. But they can't really Silene right now. Erica just whiffs. And they're just dumb. Bro, this is with three it's really quick dubs. And. It, <laughs> come on. I mean, we take it. We take it. Three in a row. Nine and three. I mean, they were kind of cooked, but... Never seen control win so fast. That's three games in a row over with, like... Barely over 10 minutes. Do I still have a shot at top 8? Yeah, I do. I have to win one out of my next two to make top 8. A no-show? <laughs> what? Imagine we get 10 and 1 and just be like, nah. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> this says no. I, I gotta go to bed. What's the secret to win in 4 rounds with control? 
I don't know. It depends, it depends on the matchup. Understandable. What is sleep? What do you need sleep for? I get it if you're any, like, here in Central America, or not Central America, in Central Time America. Oh my goodness. Dude, Blitzel, like, out, like, this close to midnight, it's all downhill. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's streams over. Oh, I'm so bad at life. <laughs> Talking is so hard. How does anyone talk? It's so hard. Oh, the oh, the box. Broken. <laughs> That's how brain dead it is. You're you're right. You're actually right. So the winner of either of these tables could be nine and three. Uh, we definitely rather see Snorlax again. Check analytics views up by 10 once chair begins under frame. You're probably right. Dude, chair? Okay, who's better? Chair or door? Because door's got like the, the goaded plot arm. But I feel like chair kind of goes hard too. I don't know. Door? What do we think, chat? First, I'm sure bro's sick of lags. Four in a row. Six lags total. Or clears, okay. I thought about like actually like maybe like decorating the door or something or do try something fun with it. No, it's just some crap like Walmart plastic chair. So like I literally <laughs> I sit in it for six hours and my back feels horrible, but it's okay. Green screen door one. The door is the green screen though. Have you watched the videos? I magically float above the lists. Booflop poster on the door. What does what what crowbat are we uh, talking about? Oops, that's not the right crowbat. That's the wrong crowbat. Ouch, the item supporters, I couldn't play them next turn? That's kind of funny. When is it ever good, though? What are we going to do when, like, I'm not in front of my door anymore? What happens? Is the channel just over? Like, if I eventually ever have to get to the point where I'm not sitting in front of my door for several hours a day, you unsub, I would understand, actually. That makes sense. Lugs cooking seven in a row? She. Yeah, what do we do if, um, uh, in, in Honchgravy? Honchgravy is pretty cool. We have to put a ton of tools on it to have like a similar, like, looping win con. Pretty, pretty awesome. Each ball bad, actually. <laughs> oh, Ethan lost three in a row. I would, I would definitely take an ancient box next round. Okay, the tusk would be annoying, but I just go boof, I think. There's only one switch. So I would have the open tusk. Yeah, we'd we'd be gaming. And we probably just like not we just use Wiggly stuff knock out the uh, great tusk. I mean, bro hasn't seen a buffalo, though, has he? Ooh, oh, this is Artina, isn't it? Oh, no. You're supposed to beat the Raging Bull. How is Raging Bull guaranteed in Top Cut? 
That's crazy. Raging World Gaming. Yo, imagine like Azul has said so many times on stream about how horrible Raging Bull was and how terrible it was. Like imagine it just like comes out and top baits the UIC or something. That'd be hilarious. We're gaming though. I'm, I'm happy we have we picked up some more dubs. The deck feels broken. Azul <laughs> just yaps and Azul is a very entertaining yapper though. Azul's made quite the like and like the annoying part about Azul is he can back it up a lot. Like some people just just talk and say stuff and it's like kind of meaningless because like they can't really back it up. But like, <laughs> what are you going to do? Tell 17 time regional champion Azul that he's just wrong. That he's just, like, you can say that to me. You're like, all out blitz. Like, who the heck are you? You're just bad. You have no clue what you're talking about. And I, I don't have any kind of hardware to back it up. We'll just get good at the game. I do think some like he says stuff and people do put a lot of stock in it like the people who like net deck his list and stuff but like a lot of the stuff he says is is true though maybe he's not always like maybe he's, he's harsh sometimes but also gets clicks and attention like if he wasn't so opinionated would people watch him it's kind of like yeah like I feel like one of the reasons, like, they ask him questions, he usually gets very opinionated takes. He too lugged for Great Ball Optimal. Not sure about that. Yeah. Getting this to number one on other would be pretty dope. Dang. Yeah, because currently I'm fourth. Blaziken TCG stole my. Oh, wait, we list. That was version 1.0. It's been not drastically changed since then. How do we beat Diago Matang? That's a great question. I don't think we do. Yeah, I just don't think that we do. Uh, uh, that's fine, though. Diago Matang, not real. And the, 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 wasn't that Diago? Like, Earl has been cooked. 17 regionals? <laughs> no, I'm just exaggerating. Well, I think, like, someone from his perspective, like, even considering something that's off meta, like, isn't even worth your time. But sometimes he is like very harsh about it when like it yeah it doesn't like maybe instead of saying like nope sucks like it'd be better off to explain why it's not good but on the flip side it is very fun to troll him and say to stuff that's blatantly just troll when he takes it the bait every time and what's funny i kid you not during the guania stream i said I know the troll kind of seriously does panic mask solve Charizard and he was like started talking about it and saying that it wasn't very good that like um something else was always better and that panic mask wasn't good ah Yeah, it's 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 still still going. Yeah, I I don't have I don't have like a clip or anything, but I know during the Guani stream I like half trolled him, half serious, like as a panic. Message. He like thought about it. It wasn't like one of those things where he immediately brushes off and says it sucks, but they like they ultimately say like why it wasn't good. It was just kind of funny just to, to, to see that. 
31 or 32 for guaranteed um probably 30. okay so like previous late nights like sim si similar size 300 oh okay let's let's, let's try a, a little bigger not quite that big it might be 1031 we have to win the next round <laughs> Okay, next round might be a win it in. We'll see. I'm playing the next two regardless. Yeah, that was the list that Azul brought to Vancouver. It's just, it's just like very funny to troll him because he takes the bait every time. Like there's very little time where like you say something totally outlandish and he doesn't just like take the bait. Oh yeah, like I'm not. I just thought it's funny how it went that way. Uh oh. Ethan K. Alright. Let's cook. How many games until cut? Two more. I need a haircut. Random, but I definitely need a haircut. Too much hair. Rib. It's, it's almost it's literally about to be midnight y'all it's like i'm wrecked <laughs> do i shave yeah i have to otherwise i'd be uh getting all do we is it is, is beard blood still ever the play it is definitely an option but that is not nah it's not my thing Have to like, yeah. Be here to blitz all his DLC. Oh no, only on page. <laughs> oh man, gotta pay extra for that. <laughs> Are you sorry? It's only two p.m. Hey, that that's not bad. Just do stash. I could probably. I don't know if it, I, I don't know how well it would fill in, but. We could try. I've thought about it before because I also honestly just hate shaving like every other day. <laughs> I'm lazy. I hate doing it. I'm not a huge ancient believer. Oh, 2 a.m. Okay, I was like, that's not bad. I mean, sleep seems good then if you've been testing five hours. Beard at 10k. Yeah, achievement unlocked. Beard. Let's get cooking. Oh no! Hey, what are you doing here? Not supposed to show up? Okay, they play one boss and no prime. Just the drum of awakening. So it's artisan for Pidgey and pass probably. And then next time we have Ultra, and next we have Sister. It's a right on the right on could just beat up my Lumi like that. How's it going? I mean, nine and three, so pretty good. The midnight fluttering. I don't like giving them artisan and helping them fill out their board. Yo, call for a family could go pretty hard. Yo, call for family's it. Call for family's the move. Dude, that's so nasty. Oh my goodness, that's gross. Dude, this is like the cleanest call for family of my life. DD sucks. I got three of them. Okay, definitely. Let's, let's go Jiggly and Pidgey. Um, um, I mean, do, do we do we do jiggly or do, do we do we do we do we do not boof is the boof is the play. Well, now we 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 do the boof next turn. I don't know. We, we this is fine. Or am I playing that rare candy for, for the memes? Yeah, I have two more DTEs, it's not that big of a deal.
right, explorer. It's probably the usual six and two split. Oh, this is six and three, so a little harder to use the booth. Try to get pr primordial beat downed to though. Okay. So we get this. King of Silene. I wouldn't hate like a luxury counter catcher play this turn either. Tannis feels kind of awkward to just like start pitching stuff from. Um, but I think it's fine. Oh, okay. Because this gets us Arvin, probably. Arvin for Nest Ball for a Seal Stone. Quick search for the. Yeah. I mean, there's like no threat of like, and then if it's like denies, right? This slows the game down a little bit. All right? Yeah, this is good. Where are you? Turbo energy. Luxray. Let me just drag up the the moon. I don't have any energy in this card pile, and we could snipe a potential out as well. What's Cloth doing? Uh, one second. There's the drum and the cart. I mean, drum is more cards, but cart gets them to a hit, so. I mean, drum is plus six. Yeah, I think we take the drum away. That card's pretty scary. I mean, okay, they go cart plus hits. Uh, cloth is for the for the Lugia and RCS matchup, and and I guess future as well. Wait, yeah, they said that, okay. For a second, I thought it was thirty plus, and I was gonna rage, <laughs> but they're capped at one eighty. I was like, oh no, did I just throw that? What it do? It's its ability is when it gets hit, it um discards an energy. I think we just like I mean, get, this can get us counter catcher. And I can use my quick search to go get like energy to establish buffons. And then we just pull up moon. Now, no pivot available for them. Sada hits the bin. And no energy. They, didn't, they don't even have a good top deck. All right. I'm feeling uh feeling like we are kind of gaming here. Just just the uh, draw pass. Now we we play penny. Could definitely also transition to over over to Chi Yu once the hand gets taken apart. Cape Chi could be the move. If like an, enough Sadas get discarded and they just can't burst energies in, into play. If they drew a patch, we would rather get Sada. Alright, this is seeming pretty good. Attacking with Buffalon better. Not necessarily because. Cloth can take knockouts and don't have to have it all loaded up just to deny energies. 
Okay, I'm thinking that we grab the chi. Thanks, Knifey. We want the fighting soon? I don't need to. Like, what threat am I under? I I saved the, the uh, Buffalo play if they attach to active. Okay, they attach to Explorer. Well, now I, I probably carry on with the Luxray line. Let's see. Wow, that's painful. But that gets them Vessel, which gets them moving along, potentially. What is their Baby Moon even hitting right now? One, four, seven, eight, nine, 160. Yeah, now we just go Penny and start in Lost Zone Energies. I guess we, we uh, could have fang snipe maybe. Well, let's put some pennies back in. Now we have uh, Bufalons. And what's important is they have bench locked, so um we can definitely run out run them out of energies now. Or spread energies across all their uh, Pokemon. Yeah, because now they're sort of stuck. I mean, they, they could Sada and Hard Retreat, I guess. Or Sada and just hit. I only have that once, like... Pass. Well, dang. I kind of just want to go boss and just Lost Zone another energy. Like, what punish do they have for this? Like just start zoning the energies. <laughs> this matchup ancient is pretty garbage. I just lose another energy. Yeah, I don't know how they win the game this way. Alright, I try to Silene back pad. They have six uh, energies left. There's still two fighting and a couple dark. Or not. Let's get that down. I play, I play Penny next turn. Um, they they play nine. We have three in the lost zone, so six left. There's still four dark and two fighting. Controller's free is not looking like a very good take right now. Sada off the top. Then we hit him with the Riz. Oh, the, 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 the uh, Ancient Dawn fan. Whatever that thing's called. Three Tusk. Rip Artisan. They're still just stuck. Like, it, they. How many energies are they? They don't energies even in the discard pile anymore. Yeah, I kind of don't even want to. I think next turn we probably go Penny, Bang Snipe, the Sada. Get the other energy? We could. I, I forgot to pad first, though. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I think we do go... We pull a moon, lost zone energy. Yeah, let's go put back in... Awesome, Silene. Let's pull up the, the wrong moon.
right. Five or yeah, four left, I guess technically. The next turn we fang snipe the Sada. Oof. Yeah, that's all the Sadas. Just a fair. <laughs> No, we, we we hit the Sada and then they can't ever retreat. They have to it takes them two turns. I don't know how real ancient is. Like it's not a deck I really, I think too highly of. But like if that if this is a real deck that people are, are, are playing, that's another reason to keep the Abufalons in here. And yeah, now we just take the Sada away and any win con any win condition they may have had is it's gone. Yeah, now there's no way to retreat. So we just chase whatever gets energy put on it. And yeah, they can't even bench Greninja. Or they lose, instantly lose the game. How much energy do, do, do they have in deck? Um, Four. They have no way to discard it anymore. Yeah, it's cool, but it's like not nothing ultra special. Haunch grow the protective goggles. That's some sauce. All right, they attach to the great tusk. But the thing is, they can't ever like. All right, and unless I, I'm missing something. One switch cart, four Sada, one pad. I'm not missing anything. Like, it takes them two turns to get this moon out of the active spots. Wait, with that, because all four Sadas are in the discard and pal pad. So yeah, we just mail a couple times. No, we, we we don't get the fighting. Like it takes them two turns, and we have Geo Riz, which denies a turn. So we always mail them before they could ever retreat. Now that even like matters though, because they still have five prizes to take. Yeah, this matchup just seems awful for the ancient player. Well, <laughs> six and three to ten and three. Wait, that means we can ID the last one and make top eight, bro. I still don't call it late night for nothing. <laughs> but okay. They were 9-0? I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure they were 9-0 and have... Yeah. Bro's not having a, a nice go of it. Yeah, if that's the case, Wigglytuff could certainly be a broken. But we, we finally just hit like four auto wins in a row. Or not that one day's answer scoop, but three auto wins in a row, and then now we're gaming. I can't believe in that too. So, dude, Justin no showed again. Bro, just gone. What's what's my placing? I mean, right now it's 13th, but after the win, we'll be bumped up, and we probably can ID after that. So what kind of matches are we potentially seeing in top cut? There's a Lugia, there's a Tina, there's the Raging Bolts, um, Charizard, Charizard, yeah, was, would, would, would be guaranteed, Arc Tina, and then some other people on the win it in. Elsie Pard. I mean, the, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What's my opponent's win percentage? It sucks. <laughs> it is horrible. Look at that. Lugia is pretty close. It's like not a comfortably favored matchup, but it's one I'm like okay into. So can we even ID then? Because these th these nine and threes, nine are nine three ones. <laughs> Way better opponents win percentage than I do. Would the Charizard player place cheat you? Really? Yo, is that the sauce? Okay, that's like eat us. <laughs> you can't mill can't beat me if I mill them. If they try to go like a mill angle, I just go bouffalance. And that's kind of nuts. Yeah, is one 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 in the Snorlax. If we go what with one with one Mew X, we lose. Now we just knock it out. We would just KO it with with Wigglytuff. Actually, then since my opponent's win percentage is absolutely trash, we might have to uh, play it out. Hey, let's just get paired into a Justin next round. If Justin fell asleep, um, we take those right. See the raging bowl is uh is this one? It looks uh like it doesn't look all that amazing. But like it's getting dubs. With the uh energy switch Raiko is pretty epic. You got giraffe Raiko and classical Raiko. Pretty good. Definitely more of a Raging Bull, or definitely more of a regular Raikou enjoyer than Giraffe Neck Raikou. <laughs> Bro, it's faced so many Snorlaxes. I'm surprised they beat that many. Like, if they're, if they're playing Temple, like, you only have two bounces to that. And Airy just takes apart all your switches. I don't know. Bouffant would be pretty good into Raging Bolt. So would Mimikyu. So, like, if we were to face Raging Bolt, which I don't know if we even would, their only answer to Mimikyu would be Slitherwing. So they don't... Kate Mimikyu just clears. Like... Does Mimikyu resist fighting, actually? Wait, hold up. Uh, 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 uh. Ah, rip. I mean, still, they have to go Slitherwing. Why is Wing good? Um, because it would be a good answer into future hands. 10 3. I'm trying, King. I'm trying. Yeah, they've kind of phased out resistance. Because I only really necessary in Tina. Your Zard Mesh is probably pretty scuffed without it. It probably is. Without Path, yeah, you probably need it for Zard. Are keeping Ultra World over Gears? Yeah, I've liked them a lot more. Like, I was... This is definitely more consistent. Like, yeah. Ultra Ball over Gears feels like the way to go. Just the debate that we're having is do we want to go up to 2 2 wiggly tough and ditch the cloth? Play 2 2 tough. I think there, there is definitely an argument to that. Like we could take out the forest seal stone, the second forest and cloth or two wigglies. Uh, like. We prized it in so many meaningful games. It's 
Like, both of them, like, they accomplish the same job against Lugia. They're doing the same thing. Because higher, higher odds of actually finding it early. Better against Lost Box. Probably better against Arctina. Um, better against Pow. Just protects for surprising, so. Yeah, and, and the Lax could be good, too. But, like, t take out Cloth, take out Forest Seal Stone. Add a Jet Energy instead of the basic fighting. And one lax would be would be nice. Like well, I guess the the yeah, is it because Wiggly's is Lugia's too can Wiggly? Well, actually, it could be a it could be a three hit KO. Why lax have a little extra a, a bulkier Pokemon? Our tree lock can be nice sometimes. So we use Wiggly to KO both Archaeops and then we or all their Chinchinos and then just move in with the the, the next Wiggly or whatever, so. And a Razzler? No, I don't think so. The Luminion Ultra Ball is broken. It's way better than Pokey Gears. Yeah. And then also with Defiance Vest, if they have a double turbo attached, would would, would be a three hits. I'm not sure though, because like that second Wiggly. So if like the second Wiggly goes and kills. So the second Wiggly is worse than Cloth in the Lugia matchup. If we're gonna knock out all their Chinchinos and leave Archaeops on the board, which is sometimes how the matchup breaks. So, because then they're tweeting that thing. Like, but at least the, the, the cloth, they just run out of energy if they keep slapping it over and over again. I don't know how much Enhanced Hammer would really make a difference, though. I think Sydney would be a massive difference maker. Imagine with RC and Lugius instead of the Crab. Well, theoretically, the more Wiggly Tusk would be helpful. Maybe just like the... Maybe just, we just go one too tough to play around prizing. We pri... I mean, we, we've had good luck in phase two not prizing him, but we prized it or like five times in nine rounds, so... Depends on how, it depends on how high the Enhanced Hammer usage rate would be. So the Sables already got the dub. So, we might have to play it out. Not that I, like, want to, but this is just horrible. <laughs> this is just awful. I tried Ursula Luna Control. I have, and I'm not really a massive fan of it. I I'm sure some of it was user error, but it just wasn't working for me. Yeah, that's the lowest I've, like, ever seen. Someone with, like... Yeah. My opponents have not done very good for me. Well, I have two zero percenters. Um, two zero percenters, a 50-50. And I have three zero percenters. Oh no. Okay. Can we ID? Let's see, this would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, this matchup sucks. Right, yeah, this is definitely a Mickey Mouse Road, it's a top cut. Like, assuming Justin no shows, like they have the last couple rounds. That would knock them out of cuts. Then the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The winner of here eight. But actually the winner of here nine. How good is this guy's win percentage? Pretty good. Let's see. Do they want the ID? Bro, I'm not here trying to, here to make small talk. Like, come on. Hey. <laughs> Bro.
<laughs> okay. Hey, friend, how's it going? <laughs> How fast is the check is check it there? Five minutes. All right. I don't want to miss cut. Like bubbling out would suck to like after this we 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 brought it back. But also I'm not sure. Like what's the matchup here? Lugia versus Future. The Future should win this, right? But another thing that kind of Did they send friend requests? Actually, I'm not sure. Or send battle? I'm gonna see real quick. They haven't. I mean, I think we just take it. Like, assuming everything plays out, I just don't want this to be a no-show. But bro won last round, so... I feel like I'd rather bet, I don't want to bet on my chance of beating Artina. Or else I'd rather my fate be in my own hand. I'd rather, I'd rather that than it be out of my control, I guess. Um. So it would go up from that 31%, depending on who won that other game. What do we think, chat? <sighs> I'm going to see if um, Justin no shows again. Because that would be one like if he shows up and, and that's that's a, a game. Um, I would not do it. If it is a no-show, I'll just, and assuming this person shows up as well, we'll do it. So we'll find out here in about 50 seconds. We don't need to use the, the limos calculator. Because this, like, so the people who could be better than me, one, two, three, four... Five assuming Justin no shows again. Then we have six, seven. Then we have eight. Oh, this person has, has way worse win percentage than me. Yeah, I think we had, as long as Justin doesn't show up, we do it. They already want future future dudes and now I'm ahead out. But this person has. Okay. We might just make it in at. If that is indeed a no-show. It is. Okay, let's do it. Alright. Yeah, because now, even assuming future or Lugia Bro wins, I probably am still better than Chin Pao Bro. He wants me to tell him about, about the. Bro wants the sauce. I already faced him. Okay, I'm not. Alright, let's. 
I'll judge for the for the ID. Does ID mean? I'm not gonna like leak the sauce though, because I could face him again. I think bro's trying to uh maybe I mean, I'm not, not out here spilling any sauce. If we meet in finals after after finals. Oh, and and the end up already won. We got it. We got it. What is the goal? I don't know how to come on Saturday. I'm not. <laughs> I just don't even. What, what do you play? Pre row control? No, actually, Zard would have been a really good meta call last weekend. Both times. What places that put me in? It'll be in, we'll, we'll be in top eight. I don't. Okay, Snoopy. I understand. I, goodness. I am streaming. <laughs> this guy's kind of. Yeah, I'm not out here trying to make small talk in a limitless chat. That's not my goal. Yeah, thank you for the uh, copy paste, Snoopy. We, we saw it before. But okay. Alright, I'm not gonna like try, tr tr try to jinx it here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Busted. Binder drop control into top eights. Yeah, but I'm not like if, if someone wants to make small talk with me, just join the stream. I'm eighth. That that works. They're playing it out actually. So if the Zard wins up to 11 to one, that would be crazy good. But they do have a Chi Yu. Just link my channel. I could. Do we? This guy also not. Does not have the best English, but that's okay. Maybe it's not his uh, first language. But dang. Arctina bro in code. I mean, even if they all do tie, we're, we're, we're still gaming. It's mainly just Justin. No showing three rounds in a row is what we were concerned about. He said he would stream tonight. Nah, he said if we don't pair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pay extra for the all out small talk. So we have Sablezard, have Arctina, Control, C Pow, Tina, Zard, Lugia, Raging Bolts. Interesting spread of decks. We'd like the Azar gamer here to win. Yo, remember remember that one late night final where they streamed finals over my they casted their finals over my stream? We gotta make that happen again. It was so, because like, whatever, yeah, they decided to stream o over my finals. And it was funny listening to the casters because they had no clue what my deck did. So it was like Lost Box, it was back when I was playing Lost Box Aerodactyl up against Rapid Strike. And game one, I, let's see, it was, it was late last format. 
I think it was this one. Late last format. Or no, no, no. So against Rapid Strike, we we went for the Aerodactyl play, so so they couldn't use their Inteleons. And I the I so game one I went for the Ancient Star to shut off all their uh, double gunners, and then the caster was like, "All our Blitzel uses Ancient Star, but it doesn't do anything, or but it doesn't do much." And it's just like, "Are you kidding me? That literally just won me the game. <laughs> like they can't use double gunners, so I just fried straight through all their stuff." It was, it was quite hilarious. Go to deck. Tri tri triple Ultra Luminion has always been with me. They muted me. Yeah, if that happens, we'll have to like, play like a message on screen, like "Hi, late night." Check out all the Blitzel on YouTube or something, and just and just troll. Yeah, it was just funny because it's like <laughs> says it doesn't do anything, but like cutting off double gunner literally won me the game. Like unless I like brick, I'm pretty much just win the game from there. But yeah, it's okay. So now we have to play the awaiting game. Very fun. Goated, goated game. We're hoping that Zard bro wins as so bros beat one Tina. I have no clue, Matt. It's fine. <sighs> it's kind of crazy that we gained like 25 subs in one stream. That's kind of wild. We <laughs> were just 3,000 like a few days ago. Hydrate, I got you. Like out of water though, this is bad. It's also like 1 a.m. though. Hey, it's gonna be like 3 a.m. Let's go. By the time we get done. Dang Pepe is one of like the super OGs. Hot dog flavored water? That sounds disgusting. I know, right? <laughs> He's averaging 7 Eleven. He, uh, yeah, bro works at 7 Eleven confirmed. Bro is definitely trying to uh, get that 7 Eleven uh, advertising in. Yo, 7 Eleven sponsor me? Team All Out Blitzel sponsored by 7 Eleven? Alright, have a good one, XYZ. Thanks for chilling. The goal is like wait like if, if top eight is is awesome because we at least get like hopefully omni poke and ldf look at this deck and it will be very interesting to see what they have to say about this but they're getting a, a couple more dubs to make it on some people's youtube thumbnails like get to get on top, get into some twitter posts that would be ideal I'm working 10 to 3. Oh, dang it. Want to do a game? Nah. It could be. Could be, uh. I'm here soon. We can call it like H Box. I'm cool with it. So, like, what are the options? We, we, we have H Box slash Hungry Box. That's really the best name I think that got thrown out. I'm doing the tour of online journeys. I'll take it. And he may leave fans in chat. There was a very brief period in... So, like, I've, I've played some Smash over the years. There was a very brief period where I thought I was pretty good at... In, like, I played Smash 4 mainly. I thought I was pretty good at Duck Hunt there for a minute, but I probably was trash. I didn't really, I just, it would just be against the, uh, the boys, and I didn't play, like, competitive or anything. <laughs> Everyone got to on the thumbnail, yeah, I know, like, that's awesome, like, we got LDF to have the, the, the Trevenant VMAX thumbnail. Falco and Melee, nice. 
Bro, Duck Hunt was so gas. Those combos went hard. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean, though. Is that that's a compliment or an insult, but okay. Okay, we the uh, Bolt Gamer. Wait, does that mean Bolt is lock number one seed? Bolt might be lock number one seed. Okay, not, not necessarily. Depends on who wins this game. It's definitely a compliment. All right, we, we take it. <laughs> All right, that's good. Imagine we face bolts and top eights. They have the same issue as as ancient box though, but they, they do play a lot more switch outs. Buffalon could go hard. Um, Mimikyu would be pretty good. I think we want to lead with with Lux potentially, and then I'll. Go back into Mimikyu. I guess I could go Sandy Shocks into my Luxury. Yeah, they're just so limited in ways to like knock out Mimikyu. I, mean, I guess I can just stomp off spam. Yeah, what do I do about that? I probably go Bouffalant. Bouffalant Airy. Yeah. Oh, the Zard one. So that means we're probably facing Bolt. Assuming that we're 8 seed. Like, we probably will be. That would be Raging Bolt. Yeah, Mimic, like... The deck kind of needs Raging Greninja slash, like, Squawk and Lumen to, like, really pop off. And if they don't have those, then we're... I think it's unlikely that like they totally pop without benching those things, and if they do bench those things, retreat lock becomes a viable win con. Um, yeah, they probably just sit there and stomp off and just keep milling us. They probably wouldn't attack with it actually. But yeah, Slitherwing would knock itself out if, if they wanted to try to do that. <laughs> the SpongeBob song, bro. That's kind of cringe. <laughs> bro. I kind of miss these super deep late night runs, like staying up super late, doing the streams, Bloodsill after dark. Like, it's it's such a good vibe. I'm cringe. Dang it. Not cringe. Anything but cringe. Austin versus Ancient Box. Zard versus Block. I hope my weird card not Retreat Lock. Honestly, most of the time. With just the Mobile, we're not winning with Retreat Lock. That often, like, taking six prizes, that, like... Using our attackers, then trying to achieve a, a board state where we just win with 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 deck out. Like retreat lock does happen, but it's like not something that's. I'm not even sure it's the primary win con an anymore. Yeah, they just sit there and mill, which then I think we we would go. Airy to discard any switches they may have stashed in hand, and then go in with with Buffalo and loss of energy off Slither. So if they wanted to keep staying in there with Sl Slitherwing, they lose energies. And if I and then we'd ideally have the switch cards sniped, so. One match to go. I thought Spongebob was cringe. I never really watched Spongebob that much. What's not really my thing. <laughs> never much of a Spongebob enjoyer. Buying your drop for control versus Raging Bolt. The matchup of the ages. I 
I know SpongeBob. I just never watched it. I don't know why. I just didn't. I just cringe, maybe. <laughs> Probably. You might be right. I like how we like we're yeah. That's awesome chat. I've been streaming for almost this is almost seven hours now. Started at six. Um yeah, almost seven hours, roughly. For 20 gold cards! Or 10 even. I love my life. Very time efficient um stuff here. That's Sable Zard? There is a Sable Zard. Um making topic, yes. News and documentaries, honestly. I just really watched YouTube. That's about it. I don't really watch like shows anymore. I guess I watch like sports, but yeah. I try such an L? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I do this to myself sometimes. Think of it. You're all you're all very lucky. I have seven hours plus of all out blitz all recorded of cringe and controlling and Yes. I wonder if bro ever asked me anything else. Okay, good. Come on, Charizard. It has to be all. It has to be over. Bro's got one switch. Yeah, bro. This is totally over. I don't even know what what, what the board state is, but I already know that it, that it's over. Yeah, late night pricing used to be like way back in the day. It was like super elite. Like they had like cash pricing. Like first place got like two hundred bucks. And now. Um, yeah, not so much. I think an unfortunate side effect of staring at my computer for seven hours straight is my vision starting to get blurry. So hopefully I can see the screen. Um, I think my my, my brain knows that it's bedtime. <laughs> but we're not doing that. We got Pokemon to play. It's kind of funny though. Like late night has like is the prime tournament. And they're trying out there with way better prizing. I need some glasses for my glasses. You're right, you're right. Glasses don't even work. Fake glasses, yeet. Okay. Glasses, glasses go hard. Not a bad run. And literally like 30 minutes before stream, I was ready to, to play Bennett instead. I thought I didn't. I thought I didn't. But please, Mr. Uh, Snorlax player and Mr. Charizard gamer. Can we just get, get a move on here? You know what's kind of crazy, chat? Like, I'm going to go on, like, probably three hours of sleep tomorrow. Just to do it all again. I guess not even tomorrow. It's literally today. Just to do it all again tomorrow. I guess not tomorrow. Today. Just to do it again later today. Gotta go so hard. Brian doesn't stop. Can I date you to late night? Oh, nah, bro, the grind doesn't stop. What else? Like, if I'm not playing Pokemon in the evening, like, what am I doing? Like, going outside? Spending time with other human beings? How, like, yeah. To... I'm not sure if y'all you, ever heard of these things, but they're called friends. And I don't really know if that's even worth spending time so like yeah just play pokemon sit in front of your door and play pokemon whatever these friends things are they don't seem worth it this grass stuff seems scary um yeah just sit in front of your door and play pokemon 
Yes. Of course. There is a chance though, like, I don't know how my, my opponents did. Um, I guess most of them are gone. Wait, friends like chat, but you could see them? Whoa. The door is the G. <laughs> Bro. It's just my coping mechanism for having no friends is my door. It's all right. Who needs friends when you have a door? It's quite, um, yes. Yeah, friends seem overrated. Like spending time with other people when you could just play Pokemon just doesn't sound worth it. Just playing Pokemon always seems superior. Sleep? Nah, Pokemon. Job? Nah, Pokemon. Friends? Am I so close to the door? Why aren't you close to your door? Why not? Is the door the only thing in my room? Yeah, this the, the wall is just one giant door. And that's it. That's literally everything. It's just... Yeah. The whole wall is the door. No, I, I just played Pokemon in my closet. Four by four room? Nah. There's all there's all kinds of room over there. But this is the only place for my uh, desk and computer and stuff. Nah, like there's like a shelf over here. Desk, chair, door, and the re and like the because like when you push the chair in, you can walk in and get access to the rest of the room. How do I open it? Like that. So when you see, see, see you, you like push, push the chair in. So you got all kinds of room to walk through. It's quite amazing. You do that. It's it's quite incredible. And then you open the door and get out. But we wouldn't we wouldn't ever want to do it. So yes. It's actually not not quite that complicated when when when, when you think about it. My original calculus got you undefeated at. Weekly league? Nice. I'm, I'm happy to hear that. Let's make a short vlog. I should. I'm just going to do that when I eventually leave. When I'm, when I'm not here anymore. When I'm gone. There's a little bit dope. Eventually come a day where I'll have to I'll be no longer in front of my, front of my, my, my door. Well, three means of walking space? Heck yeah. I should just do like 24 hour door streams. Maybe that would like boost my engagement and stuff. I think that's how I expand my uh, brand. I just like literally just turn my webcam on and just stream my door for 24 hours. Well, what y'all think? That might be so much walking space. Like I could, I could put a, I could get my pillow down there and I could, I could sleep right in this part. Y'all are trolling. That's plenty of room. Totally watch it, maybe. Yeah, we're gonna have to like make like have like some kind of sad tragic video. When I'm yeah. Here we go, raging bolt time. This is gonna be interesting because I could I could see this going either way. What's on the door reveal for 10k? I've teased it in the past. I've opened it in the past. Like, all the way. But yet, yeah. Do I sleep on a chair? No, I have a bed. I'm not... I'm civilized. I sleep on... I sleep in a bed. You gotta, gotta pay extra for the, uh... Well, my resistance was so trash. I sleep. I do. Sleep is good. Sleep is really good. Oh, I need... Uh, no, sleep is for the weak. Real gamers don't need sleep. 
like 30 regular views oh man now you're trying to get me to make a vlog of my room what's well, even my room at all it's just the room i do youtube stuff in pokemon stuff not my actual room room but okay i just start just just randomly just pull stuff off the shelf over here and just shove it in front of the camera all right now we're gonna make small talk and chat <laughs> I think that's a good take, John. I, I, I think, yeah, you definitely seem more 30 more than an average viewer. Let's find the door. You'll, you'll never know. <laughs> Am I inspiring to spruce the place up a little bit? It's pretty lame right now. Just boxes of stuff. Yeah, it's pretty lame. I didn't know that premium kind of more than just like regular ads. I didn't know that. I, I probably should know that, but I'm 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 a casual. It's fine. Yeah, I think like when I inevitably move. We will have to have a goodbye to door video, right? It would be a very emotional moment. I'm not sure if I could, uh, yeah, how, how, how it would go. Take, take the door with me. True. Oh, okay. <laughs> but how do I get my viewers to buy premium and watch my videos? How does how how does that work, chat? Okay. I probably have not got the friend request yet. Alright, cool. They yeah, have actually. Do you make ten dollars to do a backflip? I don't know if I could do a backflip. For ten bucks I could try. I don't know. Big teeny rank. Oh no. What's my door's name? Door. What else would you call a door? What do you call you your uh, doors? I definitely cannot do backflip. I guess I've never really tried though. That not something I think about is mm, I can do a backflip. Okay, back on topic. Raging bolts. Control gaming. Getting dubs. All right, sounds good, right? Here we go. Getting dubs is good. Starting Rotom is not so good. But this hand's pretty strong. Oh, I'm yawning too much. It knows. It, it, it. Oh, hey, that's a good ninja. Retreat lock is now win condition. So, four switches, or three switches and a prime. I think I just want to like push Mimikyu ASAP. Just like, I don't want to just hand him an easy two, so. I also don't want to have like Lumi and Sorodi on them. The right goes is kind of scary. Hopefully Pidgey or Mimikyu's prize so we can just pull it with, with, with the heavy ball. The Sandy Shocks. Pass. So best is prized. Pidgey and Mimikyu are in there, unfortunately. So I think we actually probably hold the, uh, the heavy ball. Alright. What I want to do though, I, I still want to go back into Mimikyu. I, think I, I, I do this. We attach for a seal stone to the active in alchemy. 
We can get ourselves Artisan and, and search out Pidgey. Let me treat into Mimikyu Instant Charge. What's the big we do? It's got a lot of HP. It does solid damage. Alright, broken. What you would incentive? I don't think you would anything for for that one. But yeah, no, no, no. We have Candy Pidgeots. I'm pretty sure they don't play Disruption. No, it's never correct to ha to have you all first though. The only reason you have you all first there is if you're lazy. Because, um. Yeah, I'd want to save the, uh, I should write caped active. That's okay. Because if Heavy Ball is just, just a dead card, I'd rather just save it to Ultra Ball away. Um, it would save time. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have to price check before the Arvin. But in a hand that's kind of devoid of Ultra Ball answers. Oh, you play LZB. Okay, well, you're fine. <laughs> you're fine. They might start stomping. Yes. And I thought you were talking about in this situation. And yes, in this situation. It, it, they actually are going for, for a seal stone straight away. Could be on Prime Catcher KO Pidgey, maybe. Yeah. That is one of their switch outs just gone. And a gust out. That's okay. We just we just go back into Mimikyu. And we Artisan down, down Pidgey. Make him have to have boss yet again. Or yeah, make him have to have their only boss. But why would I grab an Artisan last turn instead of something like Nest Ball? It's, it's more than one Pidgey. How cool is that? I think I will Heroes Cave active. I'm gonna use the instance. Alright, bro. Is this the first game? Yes. Why don't we VIP? VIP would go pretty hard. Ah, the vacuum right away. Okay. Tragic. They could go for the burning turbulence. Ah, classic. Spin the Pokestop. And retreats. Yeah, I guess they probably are going for the Slither Wing. Maybe going for Sada. Yeah. Okay. How do we answer this? <laughs> yeah, but I can get you having I mean, Gus Dance, which is pretty nice for them. I think I probably just like play to establish Boof. Um, but I don't like want to hit because then we like die to the thing. Let's go airy and see what's up. Um, Ultra Ball, I guess, because that discards cards. We could we we could go Mawile. Sisters does appear to to, to be prized. Yeah, we definitely could go Mawile here. But also, just like, what are they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is fine. We could quick search for Countercatcher. So 
if I, if I put that this on there, I still die to the burning turbulence. Oh, I died to Raiko. Six, 12, 14. I still would. So, will we'll hold it. Pidge KO, but then I just get, I just get lightning rondoed. That'd be, that'd be funny, but no way it's worth it. Yeah, Sandy Shocks isn't very good for them. Alright, they can Ultra Ball, they can Sada. But they're putting, I guess they do have E-Switches. Sucks that we don't have, like, the Sisters is in the uh, prize cards. I would really love to be able to, like, aggressively hunt the Switches. I probably should have waited on the hero cape though. Yeah, best. Best in my while still dies that thing. Am I going to UIC? I uh, know. down there they're, i feel like they're lining up for the uh, pidgeot oh no they're just gonna ride up to be honest like how do we respond to this it seems kind of hard we have to mawile two more times We, we can rod back one, but how are we going to do it again after that? What about like sisters? Because there's no lacks in this list. One, two, five, six. I think it's still okay though. Like, if. Yeah, everything breaks right here actually i think i think we're okay the issue with their current setup is oh okay oh the ultra ball for us and sharon we have the the counter catcher i mean we just win the game on the spot if catchers are Whatever it's called. Art is in the apprises. And now, it, as long as, or for as long as they just sit there, we try to say lean back super rod. And if we maw well again, we we win. But yeah, in a matchup like this, a Snorlax would feel pretty good. That's the earthen vessel. And just having Heroes Cape at this spot would also be pretty good, but I kind of wasted it early. I was tried to get uh tried tried to get cheeky with it, but it wasn't worth it. Sealed. So say so lean next turn could be the move. It it, it probably is right. Do we just? But also they could collapse out of retreat lock though too. Two, four, six, eight. I have two energies remaining and also E switches as well. There's the last cards. Oh no. At least they're not playing boss, right? Huh. They bench Billy. I mean, that doesn't do anything, though. You still lose the retreat lock. <laughs> it's, it's all the same. Two, four, six, eight. 
New, okay. Has to be an Iono and Prey here, I think. There's a Silene. But it's just too likely that they have boss for a game already in hand. Iona's prized. Oh no, oh no. I knew that. Well. And we don't, we don't have, have a counter catcher left either. This feels kind of cooked then. Yeah. Feels bad. <laughs> okay. I mean, okay. <laughs> All right. I mean, they win with boss's orders, but if they don't have boss, we win. They're pretty odds of having, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I definitely played that wrong. I went in with Mal with Malwell a little too early, and it's also not having sisters was was pretty crucial. Uh, I think I still go second. Or having Iona there at the end would would have been pretty nice. Like Iona plus Mimikyu. Oh, did, 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 did he pokey gear for it? They might have. I don't remember. <laughs> My braids fried. Okay. Well, then I was cooking it. Cooked no matter what. Yeah, then I mean, like. Yeah, not just not having sisters was the uh, main thing. Okay, I remember that. Okay. Oh, yeah, let's um. We said a little bit better. This is not it. This is not it. They open with the silly giraffe. I guess he's not their best attacker. Where you kind of need this heavy ball to help us out again. <laughs> like we have airy, we have stuff. Like they probably have enough switches though that like raiding Greninja is like probably okay to bench. I mean it's close. It's 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 really close. But like with my list, it's hard for me to maul while more than two times. They just burn one straight away. But I guess like if with this kind of board state. It's, it's, it's fine, right? Tough isn't a thing? It, it potentially could be. I kind of have to take Mimi. Tough is definitely not a thing. That card is prized. Like, that card's always prized. I swear. Oh, gosh. They're popping off. Yeah, they have why didn't they attach for us last turn? Because they could get Iona away. This team's kind of silly. Fleet foot into the Sada. Okay. How would Slitherwing just be be prized? Do they play heavy ball? Like if if Slitherwing is uh, prized, oh they do play it. What if we milled the heavy ball? I swear I prize tough like every single time. It's so annoying. Like the, the the percentage that that one of his prize versus like any other one of it in the deck is mind boggling. Like imagine if Rotom was prized that often, <laughs> we'd be cooked. This is definitely a match where like the more classic like heavier block Erica's that would definitely be better. They're no Prime Catcher KO Buffalons. Playing very aggressively. Um, 
So we'll have to see how this goes for them. Yeah, unfortunately we don't have like any any way to punish, but I mean that that's a start, I guess. But yeah, nothing else. Then we done two cards could be kind of good. Like if we can keep putting Mimic you down and dragging up Raging Bolts. It's pretty inefficient to keep pivoting out of. Pokestop is actually pretty nice, so that we can push closer to Nest Balls, hopefully. And it just <laughs> destroys their good cards, too. So. That's the Raikou. Yeah, how about just one time uh, <laughs> Heavy Ball and the other thing, Prize? They do go Ninja as well, and there's only one card left. That's definitely an angle as well. Let's spin the Pokestop. Ultra Ball. We in here. Yeah, we could get Lumin. We could get Luminion. I think I'd rather get Rotom. The need of Lax is keeping you away from control? Well, you don't need lax it feels nice sometimes but like there's only been a couple times throughout the course of the tournament where i felt like you know what lax would would be good what else did we uh focus up away a oh, forest and a yakimo i should have probably price checked my well no i i saw my price already okay they have the boss pull up on Rotom, that would feel pretty gross. Yeah, looking like it. Do they play Power Pad? I assume they do. Yeah. This is looking kind of sketch. Like, the good news is we are in a pretty ad, like, we are far ahead. Uh, not far. We are, there is there is a win condition. So go for that belling thunder. I know, right? The thicker wiggly tough would has, would have been clutch so many times. All right, we can use lead. That's Pidgey. Okay. We even can, yeah. All right, lead. Give us Arvin. They only have that one pad left. They have to solder this turn to swing again. Not too solder, but they probably have another one. Can't poke it here. The reason actually wouldn't be be bad if they been one off the active. Ball, yeah, that slither wing. Well, now do I go boss slither wing? And I mean, don't don't, don't put a mimic you or, or a, a two prizer, but that could force the cart or last sada. I assume they just discard it off the sandy shocks, or also just a pushing a mimic you. Also could bait them into spending the last card. That are hard retreating, and they don't have that many energies left either. So we get candy plus cape. I mean, cape would require so many energies to. But surely they just have answer right away to that. The thing. I also like an Aryan Sisters. Um, what do we quick search for here? This could be Counter Catcher. Um, um, um. 
It could just be nest ball for a while. Or Artisan for Mawile. It's probably better to get rid of their Pokey stuff. Uh, how many? I just don't want it to, it to get vacuumed away, but also we could just lose on the spot if they have everything all lined up. Let's get that down. It's just an another card for them to have to have. Retreat back. Repass. Let's see what they have. How, how, how many Poke Gears are in this list? There's three gears. Still have one left, so Palpad Gear could be really good. We know this we, we know that like one of the cards in the hand is like that town store. From way earlier, I'm pretty sure. Okay, they discard that. <laughs> Spinning stuff out. Uh oh. So if they whip this turn, we go Iona to, to, to two. And then just try to sisters and pick off that last switch. Then we win with retreat lock. Imagine our raging bolts. Oh, they could collapse the ninja. Oh, dang. Okay, that, that wind con's gone. There's a cart. Wow, okay. <laughs> so they can... Oh, they've energy split like that. I don't like us. Vacuum as well. They just didn't miss. I maybe should held the back. I was just scared of having pad. Did they whiff fighting energy? Oh no. Okay. <laughs> No. Two, four, six. Eight. Deck out very well could be our uh, win con here. So what I'm kind of thinking here is like they always pal pad if they have it. There's no reason not to. So what if we sister here and try to hit that pal pal? Because then their energy lines are sort of scuffed. There's no pad in there. That's two cards. That's helpful. Dang. But I feel like they always pad if they would have had it, so it could be prize. Or they could just misplay it and we get bodied for it. If Papa was a bottom card of their deck, I'm gonna be really mad. I'm gonna be pretty upset. Trek. They would have played the pal pad, there's no way. Yeah, they would just pokey stop to the bottom of the deck and then play pal pad and then they, they, then they just win. It has to be the last prize. Card retreats. Oh, energy switch. Oh, no. It is prized. Um. Dang it. That matchup seems really tough, actually, because they have enough switches and do deal enough damage and have a good enough Mimikyu answer. Couldn't and yes, yeah, almost got there with how bad our start was too.
Dang. Yeah, that 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 many switches is just kind of hard to 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 deal with. I probably should have held the vat. So. Huh. The energy for the Mawile wouldn't have done anything because it, they, they, they had one prize left. Dang. I think we have to try to like Luxray early and try to pick apart their resources a little more. Like take away the, the, the collapse or something. We just started way too far behind. I think I probably misrouted game one. Like I went too heavily for the Mawile win con when it probably wasn't ever going to happen. Without uh, Sisters Mills. Um, I should try to play more for like Buffalon, but Iona was prize and stuff. Yeah, e either way, it was sort of scuffed. Um, but the matchup seems hard. Um. Well, dang. I guess it had to run, it had to end eventually in Bracket of Lugia and a, and a Sable Zard. Uh, but yeah. All in all, successful run, learned some stuff. Um, this deck definitely feels pretty strong. It's just nailing down the right counts of cards is going to be sort of tricky. But we're we're getting a, a better idea of how stuff works, I guess. So <laughs> that other Wigglytuff could be the move. Yeah. Someone needs to go back and count how many times we, we uprised it. But yeah, I really, uh, I really like this list. There's definitely something here. Um, but yeah, it's, I guess that's one way to go to sleep. Just totally get rolled really fast in finals. But yeah, that's, that's all for me for tonight. Um, I might be back later today with Blue Ditto stream. We'll see. I might just be totally, totally crashed by then, but we'll see. Um. Thank you all for hanging out. It's super dope stream. Y'all are awesome. Join the Discord link below. I'll see you tomorrow. Today.